Hey everybody, welcome to Noir Bar Live from the shadiest district of Noir City in the year of our Lord, 1942. Come on in, grab a seat, get your drink orders in, get comfortable for a late night. Ah, right for the beginning. Uh, Laid back time of banter, booze, broads, and bullets. And joining me at the bar tonight, Far Zeus me, fresh on Aussie soil. How you doing, Far? Hi. Yay. I'm doing all right, thank you. Awesome. And Sam, Sam, how the hell are you? I'm I'm pretty good, Polly. I'm pretty good. I'm better now. <laughs> technical difficulties. I heard Far's here. Hello, Far. Yeah, hi, Sam. It's not as if we've been <laughs> talking this entire time about shit that doesn't really matter. Upside down trees. That's what we've been discussing. And technical difficulties. Don't yeah. break the shtick. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did upside down trees break the shtick? It's not like we've been talking this entire time. So far is the kind of person who would be invited for a role in a movie and then like, you know, right in front of the camera, turn to the director, you know, off camera and say, the lights are a little bit bright in here, expecting it to work. You know, it just no, far. You gotta <laughs> but, you gotta stay in character. Far. It's No, I, I would totally actually do that. That's the body. <laughs> far far is our Tom would. Bond. <laughs> I just wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> when I was Does studying my funny? lines yes. last night, it wasn't this hard. And expect the other actor to just be like, yeah, I know. You know it's like, Wait, what? <laughs> You're playing Look, a taxi driver. If it makes driver. it funny, I'll do it. <laughs> so, Fuck uh, you, I have a sense of humor. <laughs> do you know who also had a sense of humor? The people at Microsoft who designed an Xbox controller. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So I got my Xbox controller today in the mail. I have it in, in, in my hands right now as we speak. And this thing is confusing. Never having held one before. Because, you know, I'm an otter from 1942, so it's, this is really weird. I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm impressed you can even hold it with your little otter hands. Uh, right? Now... What what I found most confusing upon picking this thing up is that I was like, okay, you know, it's not like flexy. It doesn't feel like a piece of crap. So like I picked a good one. It's a good. It's one. I'm glad that I picked one yeah. that was officially licensed by Xbox. Uh, the little Xbox badge is a button, which is appropriate because yeah. this thing has so many buttons. It is a big pod of buttons. It, 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 Isn't it beautiful? I guess. Like, you know, it's got the two little posts where you put your hands around. I'm like, oh, that's ergonomic when I picked it up. And the, and the first thing I did was felt that I had to press two buttons by underneath the little grippy. Yeah, this sure goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm like, holy shit, just picking it up and you, and you press buttons. I just, so like, I'm like, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the little rolly deals. The D pad. Uh, we'll count that as 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 fucking buttons. Gee, do you think there's enough? No, have you, have you, more have buttons. You, have, you, have you clicked the analog sticks yet? Yeah, yeah you know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They also <laughs> clicked out. Isn't that great? I was just like, wow, there's more <laughs> buttons. And, and and like I said, the little the little Xbox badge in the middle, it's a button too. It's I just, wow. I, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, the button never gets used. I, I, I don't think that button ever gets used. It's like the most useless fucking button. Offset See, thumbsticks are not good. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what they're... It's like yeah. the start and select buttons on a DS. They very rarely get fucking used, let's be real. The hardest button to button. I, I like... like the, the buttons that are... like You said that you call the trigger ones. The ones that you depress simply by picking it up. So like, this is how I'm going to kill anybody with friendly fire that I play a game with that involves that. <laughs> <laughs> right in the back. It's like, I just picked it up. I'm sorry. Shit. I, I, <laughs> it's the, the two uh, buttons where your, your, your pointer fingers would go. Like, you know, the ones you would pull, use to pull an actual trigger. Yeah. Those are, th those ones are nice. They feel cool. And then there's the other trigger buttons, the shoulder buttons that are right above them. Yeah. Like, the sh I, yeah. Just buttons and buttons. One and L buttons. What's that? Oh, it, 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 oh, one yeah, and L2. Oh, one and L1. Oh, well, yeah, they, they, it's, it's one, you, you, you play with it for probably about an hour or two, and then it will just become second nature. It's, uh, I, uh, I really like the Xbox controller. All right. That makes well, one of us. Cause, uh, yeah, I get confused with the buttons. 
all the fucking time. Like, how are you supposed to? Look, get your, I, how are you supposed I, to get your thought? Like, everything is offset. The cure's not wrong about that. Yeah. How are you supposed to get your 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 the, the, your, the, your thumb on the D pad? We use your left hand to like hold the control like real fucking low down, yeah. and then your right hand is like real up high yeah. to get to the fucking. Oh, usually XYAB. you're using the D pad for like not what you not like controlling. That's what the triggers are for. Not the trick. The um. Fuck the sticks, yeah. joysticks. Really? See, I, 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 yeah. What the hell's the D pad for that? Uh, legacy? Oh, no, there is there legacy, are uses yeah. for it. There are uses depends for it in certain games, but it depends on the game. It really depends on what you're playing, if they even use it. Yeah. Quick select menus is typically what gets assigned to the D-pad. I mean, uh, Dark Souls, for example, when uh, when when you get oh, when God, you get yeah. by a guy with a pole arm, or Elden Ring, yeah, when you get blatted by somebody yeah, with a massive pole me. arm, that's that's where your sippy sip is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, gotta take a <laughs> God, <laughs> fucking hell! But no, I I don't like the way that they switch the A and Bs on on the on the fucking controls. So I'm used to, I'm used to Nintendo stuff, right? So it's always kind of like if I have to use the Xbox stuff or anything on PC, I'm always like forever unless I'm really paying attention to the controller in my hands. I'm like always switched around because i'm just used to a and b being in a certain spot it's not it's the opposite way fuck you sure what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> why'd you do it why'd you do that oh, my god this is yeah zelda's is just hold it as normal and reach i'm like okay i mean yeah but just... i mean you're probably gonna have a better time of it than i do i mean your hands are bigger than mine my, my otters know. have tiny hands. Tiny otter hands. What are you talking about? I mean, okay, all right. I, I, I mean, I'm assuming an otter still has bigger hands than me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> Look, I have baby hands. I'll have you know. Do you do do, do the uh, rollerball sticks? Do they ever? Uh, do, do the clicky clicks on them ever get used for anything? Sometimes. Sometimes. Again, it really depends on what you're playing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, uh... I insist God. on only using the, the, the correct terminology for these things, by the way. Yeah, the clicky clicks, yes. And the rollerball yes. sticks. Roller roll. Mm -hmm. They um typic typically speak. I mean, it, it does it does vary, but uh, one of the analog sticks is usually used for movement, and then the then the other one will be used to like pan the view around. And if you're uh, if you're playing something like uh, like a shooter, uh, clicking in like the right analog stick can can sometimes be used to uh, you know scope in or look down the sides. Uh, yeah, uh, Ryan Walters is saying, why not just put A B stickers over each button to trick yourself? That's not the problem. The problem <laughs> is it's not just the buttons of like. But it's not just the labels that are switched around, it's the function too. So I am forever accidentally quitting out of menus. <laughs> or like doing shit I don't mean to do. You have to remember, Far is so small that she could basically sit on an Xbox controller. <laughs> I'm not that fucking small. <laughs> Like she 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 has to like curl her fist up and slam her fist down on the B button <laughs> on the Xbox controller. She's that small. What am, what am I like actually a rabbit or some shit? Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like banging down on the controls like. Duh, 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 duh. Picture keyboard cat. Right, <laughs> keyboard. You remember keyboard right? cat? I do remember keyboard cat actually. <laughs> What is it? It's just a tiny, like, just this tiny little creature. Like, duh, duh, duh. Look, look at me, I'm playing Elden Ring. Fuck, I took a sippy and I didn't mean to again. <laughs> Alright, let's, oh, let, let's, let's, let's do some donations as they've come in. Shadowclaw. Ah, uh, thank you for the dollar. Hey, Ubisoft Games on Steam are on sale until the 9th. I snagged a couple for myself. Now, I'm very much aware of Ubisoft as a company. What games they make, I don't... I'd have to go look. I don't know. You, got, you, you guys interested in some Ubisoft games? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, same here. Absolutely. You are Sam? Sims, Sims Creed. Sims Creed. Oh, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Yeah, they... Oh yeah, that is Ubisoft, isn't it? Oh yeah. Hmm? 
Well, uh, 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 Bryce, the brilliant bastard that he is, gifted me Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Pretty happy about that. Oh. So now I get to <laughs> run around in Revolutionary War times and... Uh, Killing people in the Revolutionary War. It's, it's it, your dream come true. It is. Like, it, it, I'm, I'm hoping the game is... The, that the NPCs are highly interactive. And I'm hoping that the scene is reactive so I can just randomly stab out a British man standing there. Fuck you in your powdered wig. Yeah, yeah. Lost your back. Uh, fuck. Yeah, be Ugh. careful. Be careful if you do that. Oh my god. Why are these people <laughs> going to chase me? It's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm a trained yes! assassin. I they can... are going to. They are going to chase you, and they will kill you. They will fuck you up. I'm a trained assassin. I'll disappear into the crowd. It'll be fine. They will fuck you up. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to Polly playing Cutthroat Dogma. I really am. <laughs> 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 God damn. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so, and before we went live, uh, God Emperor Dingle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the $5. Won't be able to attend the bar this evening. Here's a uh, tip anyway. Godspeed, Otter, and Godspeed to you, God Emperor Dingle. Greatly appreciate it. Now, now, we should talk about what happened uh, uh, hours back, or, if you will, uh, dozens of decades into the future, uh, and I wasn't there for AAA today, and it was because of work and other things, and it's a long story, and uh, I'll, I'll tell it on AAA. It sucked. I wasn't in a better place, but uh, some donations that came up during that time. Let's do them. I'll, do, I'll redo them uh, live on AAA anyway, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Are you a lady? Do you have uh, suspender, garter, belts, and whatnot? If not, what are you doing? What are you doing? How we... awesome they are. I, I don't even know pole. where... I don't even know where you'd get garter belts in my life. I do. <laughs> oh, I do need to say. <laughs> a lingerie store far. Like either online or in, in oh, brick and mortar. Oh, yeah, I'm not going in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> a, a Crossfire, 4891. Thank you for the $16. Always like this donation. Enjoy your weekend, Otter. Well, you enjoy yours, Crossfire. Uh, and Festonia. Festonia. Thank you for the big fitty. Um, do, do we uh, want to play the 50? Yeah, this is in reference to something that happened on AAA, so I'm going to have to go back. But anyway, uh, send some love, no homo. Well, then, no homo love to you too, Pistonia. Oh, yeah! Mm. Hey! Anyway, moving oh, on. Hold on. I, I... <laughs> oh, hey, hold on. <laughs> F's in chat. For some reason, my OBS just con disconnected, then reconnected. There's probably only Lovely. resulted in a stutter for the stream. Whatever the hell. That can pack in. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So we're back up. That was weird. I'm not even sure what the fuck's going yeah. on. Yeah. See, this is why I... No, no, we're back. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, we're back. We're good. We're yeah. fine. It's it's all good. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I... I... To... <laughs> Never update anything. Ever. Agreed. Yeah. You should be running Windows 95, all of us. Don't update anything ever. I... Well, I'm on Windows 42, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for chat to catch up. Is it still actually? Are we actually live? Are we actually live? Yeah, um, you're alive. We certainly oh, are, yeah. Good. yeah, no, the, the yeah, universe only blinked out for a second then. Uh, don't update anything. I updated the fucking firmware for the time machine. Yeah? Yeah, you think we landed in the right time? No. It's World War One. Who wants to be around for that? I, oh, I don't God. really want to be around for either World War. Jesus Christ. Well, we're, it's 1942 far. We're in the midst of one right now. I know. I, I know. That's what I mean. <laughs> Can we ever just go ahead? It's like, you know, 1950. I hear 1950 is a great year. It's not, though. I mean, to be fair. I mean, the Korean War starts, like, you know, right quick. So... You, you, you don't avoid a lot of wars for very long. <laughs> and, and Australia was involved in, in the Korean Wars. Well, yeah, we were involved in a lot of wars that you are also involved in. I'm just saying. You don't get to avoid them. You were saying, Sam? <laughs> was good. No, I was just going to say, I mean, 1942, yeah, sure, in the midst of the Second World War, but we're in America. We're, in, we're not at any risk of getting bombed here. <laughs> Well, interestingly, there was that one Japanese balloon attack during World War II. <laughs> it's true. I'm not even making it up. You guys have a lot of close calls. That's the funny part. It's like, yeah, I'm sure the war didn't come to your shores, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That was that was nowhere near Philadelphia or the outskirts of Philadelphia, where Noir City is located. Uh, right. <laughs> I, I mean, there was the, you know there, there were for for there were a few <laughs> uh, yeah damn furries and fucking <laughs> the, the, there were some U boats that got a little 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 too close yeah. to comfort, but other than that, no, not really. And uh, technically, Aust Australia. Technically, uh, 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 I mean, we had bombing in Darwin in 1942. By the way, did you really? <laughs> yes. From who? The Japanese. The Japanese bombed Darwin. Yeah. Oh, in 1942, did you not catch the year that well, happened? No, I caught that. I was just like, no, you said the bombing, and in 1942, and I'm like, who bombed you? And you're like, the Japanese. I'm like. like bastards yeah but forget <laughs> never forget never forget i'm i'm i'm, 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 I'm putting up more make or drawing up some memorial post posters remember darwin never forget <laughs> never forget vacation there consume their 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 fucking mangas and their I... hentais and whatnot but never trust them they bombed darwin <laughs> Yeah, that's why you don't trust them. They bombed Darwin, not not anything else. No, they never bombed anywhere else. No, I'm talking about for you. Yeah, I mean, we remember oh, Pearl Harbor. Okay. I mean, is there a national day of mourning for Darwin? Is there Darwin, for... no. Not really, no. You just really don't care about anything, do you? I, just... I, w I mean... They've, they've evolved past it, Polly. They've evolved. Yeah. Were, were any, were any abos it killed only... so like the government would actually give I a damn? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, during World War II, are you insane? They probably wouldn't have given a shit. You didn't have abos in World War II? No, is it like the time period? They, like, would not have cared. Abs they legitimately would not have cared. Ah, uh, back yeah. when men like, were men still, and like, women were women and, and abos got run over in the street if they slept there. That's right. No, and, uh, and aboriginals getting stolen from their parents, yeah. Stolen generation times, you know, like they, they probably would not have. Cared. It wasn't all of them, it kind of was, it was just most. <laughs> Don't overstate things. I I will overstate whatever the fuck I want, <laughs> Mr. Dobbinstein. <laughs> Get right. Uh, Cynic fuck says you. that uh, subs also attacked Sydney Harbor. I didn't know that. Oh, they did, yeah, okay. Holy shit, you were under non-stop attack from these people and you needed to consume their media and go vacation I mean, there like I it's knew, nothing. I knew that they had set up like um on Right Nest Island, right? There's things you can go see there where they set up like uh, actual army posts. Like this machine, like these giant fucking guns up there you can go see if you want. So like, I was I was aware that they had things set up just in case. I didn't realize they'd actually gone to Sydney. <laughs> but that makes sense. We're some good old fashioned intergenerational beef holding, like you know when they're playing. Uh, I, when they're playing I don't football give a and, shit and, enough. Like in the FIFA games, honest, when the English fans enough. were yelling at the German fans, "My grandfather killed your grandfather." It's great. It's great. I honestly, personally, I just don't care enough. <laughs> it's more like I look if I if I hate someone, if I really have a beef with someone, it's because they fucked with me or someone I care about that's actually alive. <laughs> you know. <laughs> If it's someone that's, if it's like something like that, it's like I don't really care enough. Right, Ryan Walters like, in chat says they're not involved. Says, they're not involved. I'm, I'm not involved. Whatever. Sorry. Ryan Walters in chat says Abos versus Samurais. I'd watch that movie, then ask for my money back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so would I actually. Well, I'd love to see that movie. Someone make that movie. Was I it? I don't think you would be able to make that movie. <laughs> Are, uh, all the abos don't have fucking uh, uh, skills with the boomerang, do they? Because like, just like certain tribes. I think it depends. Like, there's so many different kinds of boomerangs, too. Um, like it's not as if there's just one set thing. So I think it would depend where they're from and what kind of boomerang they have. God help you if they had the giant kangaroo killer that doesn't return. Yeah, there's some boomerangs, by the way, that they're, they're not designed to come back to you. They are literally designed to hurl and fucking break a neck. God have mercy on your soul if you get attacked by one of those. You're probably not making it out alive. Yeah, that's... 
a boomerang that doesn't return it just breaks necks and like big old kangaroo necks too that's a yeah like they're yeah. giant fuckers like that's the design like the ones that actually come back those are toys those are specifically toys really yeah most of the time anyway i'm pretty sure i'm uh I i'm remembering in the uh the original mad max films the kid with the with the metal boomerang where he throws it and the uh the one of the one of the raider guys tries to catch it and it takes his fingers off right 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 yeah moving moving the future they, they never had those right razor the future sharp is boomerangs razor oh sharp god no they wouldn't have no no they wouldn't have well how the guy's fingers get taken off then well that would be that would be a mad max thing wouldn't it what are you trying Modern to say I, I mistook a movie for reality is that what you're saying yes oh yeah. oh god paul what if you put up on stream what do you mean a, a visual I... reference so people know what we're talking about oh my god probably no how else are they supposed to recognize the the, the, the bold aboriginal peoples of australia probably <laughs> Recognize the Ebo in his native habitat. I, I am unironically kind of terrified that this stream is going to get taken down with just how many times you said Abo. <laughs> they don't even know Fucking what it hell. means. It's fine. It's just it's no, a term it's of endearment, like, Far. No, I don't know. I don't. I genuinely don't know where that term stands. If it's offensive or not, I just kind of go automatically. I'm not saying. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I can't it, just it's sounds, it doesn't sound good. It's fine. I have Aboriginal friends. I have spoken to them about this at, at great length. Uh, do you? Do you? Look, look. We all gathered round. We all gathered round a burning barrel and with with with, oh a, with a can God. of petrol each, and we had a long conversation oh my about God. this. <laughs> Did you watch their Billy Boil? Is that what it is? Sitting around the campfire oh, by a billabong. A man does not watch another man's billy boil. That's just rude. That's a that. Don't worry. I've got it. I... For anyone who doesn't know what a billy is, it's gonna sound fucking weird, isn't it? But there, there's lots of strange things that happen. In, do you, you remember that episode of uh, the original Spider-Man series that had Spock in it? Like, oh, oh God, I think so. Oh, there he is. Well, I mean, it's no. it's 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 not Why? it's not Spock actually. That's uh, Mysterio. But it's totally Spock. Yeah, yeah, it's Mysterio with his helmet off. But it's totally Spock. It's just somebody was watching an episode of Star Trek, and they're like, "Yeah, look, Spock. Why not? Let's just do it." I. <laughs> yeah, I just literally that's just Mysterio with his helmet off. <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay. <laughs> Ironically enough. His powers are not logical. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Does, does anyone remember that episode of Spider-Man where he got drawn into the fifth dimension and he was attacked by interdimensional uh, haunting beings that were insinuated as to be for the depths of hell? I do not. No? Well, they're, 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 there's their leader. Why does it have like some charge man Ken bullshit? Yeah, right? Like this is this is what the Spider-Man got this, downright that's... psychedelic at certain points, man. Like what the that's fuck? That's some charge man Ken shit. Come on. <laughs> it's with the undead Frenchman on the left there. <laughs> <laughs> What's that all about? Oh. <laughs> oh, these... oh good times. I got an entire folder of nothing but the uh, Spider-Man stuff. And, and and it's all awesome. I, 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 he... <laughs> oh, son of Jet says, charge Spider-Man Peter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Charge man Peter. <laughs> but in, 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 in this scene, you know, J. Jonah James is talking to Betty Brant, and then the guy pops up in the window, and Betty Brant goes, oh, my God, there's a horrible creature behind you in the window. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, <laughs> and Jason turns around and looks at it. Miss Brent, what are you talking about? He goes, no, he was there. He had a bone through his nose and big puffy hair. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good times. Good times. If you want something that's not racist, uh, donate to one of us. There we go. 
It's not anything that's not this. All three of donations. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't think they're quite as bad as, uh, oh, God, there's a monster over there. Oh, but I mean, dude, it's modern. This was always one of my favorites. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Uncle Ben jokes, they can be funny. Yeah, they can. They can be funny. Oh. They can... oh. <laughs> it's Diglett. <laughs> Fuck yo. Oh, I love Uncle Ben memes. Best ones rise to the top. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, hentai. Oh, God. <laughs> you know the funny thing, Polly? I, I'm pretty sure that this exact Spider-Man, like, this series actually used to air in the mornings when I was a kid. It, it did It did for me as well. It, it, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, I think I actually did catch a couple of episodes. I only vaguely remember shit, though. Mostly just, like, him swinging from, like, going to building. That's it. Well, that was a. They really padded the fuck out of the time. It, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's what I noticed. I think as a kid, it's like, wow, they really loved using the same shot over and over of him just swinging about. Yeah, and it worked well. Yeah, it's uh... yeah, like it worked. It's just, it's like, wow, yeah, they really use that same. Yeah. Oh my god. And and, and speaking of, speaking of Jameson, I mean, don't fuck with him. He'll he'll blast you, man. <laughs> oh he, my god. He will. Like he fuck. He'll just let loose. From an NYPD what? fucking van, man. It's just this, yeah, fuck me. And it's He's... it's Spider Man chasing him too, and he just whips out his revolver and, and lets loose. Woo, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's catch that vigilante Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. With vigilante justice. <laughs> oh sweet. They don't believe you. What? <laughs> What's he saying? He says that it's wrong for one man to own all this. He says you should share it with all the people. Yeah. <laughs> this is America. We don't share land here. <laughs> John motherfucking Dutton. Hell yeah. Akira, thank you for the big $40. Greatly appreciated. Very generous, thank you. Uh, isn't it adorable that other countries think they're special? They dare not ask about their histories or genocides. America is the only one that has done that thing, even though they didn't. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not I, saying that we never did genocides. No lies detected, I'm fully fucking Akira. aware of that. I, <laughs> it wasn't genocide. There's just some around. Here and there, yeah. I mean, but if you, you kind of, you know, if you want to see them, though, you got to make reservations. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Badum and furthermore, Tish. This is Nawaba. We don't share sauce here. <laughs> am, I, am I on a speed run to cancellation tonight? I don't even know. <laughs> it, aren't you always? Oh, this, this, is how, this, this is how Polly gets his gaming time, right? He gets cancelled on YouTube. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So far. Yes. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I uh, see uh, what you have here. Oh well, yeah. This is uh, this is just up for uh, when we eventually get into it. But what I'd like to uh, hear about now are your uh, international jet-setting adventures on your way back to the land down under. How did it go? Oh dear God. Um. So the first. So I had to take two planes. Right. Mm -hmm. The first one, seventeen hours long by the end of it. Hi. That was fun. I'm, I'm speechless uh... at the notion of a seventeen-hour flight. Yeah. That when you, was, when you that told me that fun. earlier, my That's first great. thought was like, I don't think there's a mechanical device that I trust to run for 17 hours. Like a car or something? <laughs> yes. But like a car doesn't drop you out of the sky when the engine fails. You know what I mean? It, it, yeah. Yeah. I, so yeah. anyway, you're, you're on a 17 uh, hour death anyway, trial, right? So the second one, the second flight should have been the easy one, right? 
Because it's only, what, five hours tops from Singapore to Perth. Um, so I get to, I get off the plane, right? Uh -huh. I look around a bit, you know, just looking around, get something to eat, something to drink, all that sort of stuff, right? I go to look at the time board, you know, that has all the um, flight times and shit. Uh -huh. Look at the one for my my flight home. Oh yeah, you're in Terminal 3? Ha ha, get fucked. We're seeing you're in Terminal 1 now. What? How far away is that? <laughs> really fucking far away? Okay. <laughs> so I, I haul my ass over to Terminal 1. I'm like, well, I don't even, like, just looking at the boards as well, it's like, I don't even see it on here. Um, I don't even know what fucking gate it is. So I go, like, to ask for information, right? On, like, and I shit you not when I say it, all right? So at the information desks, there's no one there anymore. But they had this iPad screen that's just standing up on the desks where it's like, Hi, yeah, call someone to help you. So I end up talking to a guy on this fucking iPad screen who's like obviously standing in a room somewhere with like a background and stuff. I'm like, hi, yeah, how can I help you? Um, yeah, can I... You know, I this is my flight. Uh, I'm getting contradicting information. Which ter like, where is this flight? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's at um Terminal One, uh this gate. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay. That gate was at the very far end of the airport. It took me like fifteen to twenty minutes from that information desk to where the gate was to just walk there. Hmm. So I'm sitting there for a while, right? Like, maybe a couple of hours. This layover was, like, maybe six hours long. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sitting there for a couple of hours. It's getting closer to the time. Like, maybe an hour before boarding starts. And I'm kind of looking around, like, this is... I don't... This seems really odd. Because um, all these people are now queuing up to go through uh, the security gates there. Because <laughs> there's a second set of security gates if you're doing certain um, flights. And I'm like looking at the information screen for the gate, and one of the gates is saying it's like a flight to London, so that's like what all the people are going there for, but the other two screens are blank. So I decide, like, okay, I'm going to look at the information board again, like the time board, like the actual one, not the ones in front of the gates. Right. Go and look at it again. It's now saying back at Terminal 3. <laughs> You have to understand, I'm picturing you as like, you know, relatively the same size, if not smaller than your luggage. So like this, this mental image of you running with it. <laughs> you know, Sam, you know the regular pieces of luggage, right? Where the handle extends off it and then you lean it and it's got the little rollers and you carry it behind you, right? You know, I, I, I picture Far yeah. putting one of those things on like a backpack because she's like, you know, around the same size as it and just uh, it running or her running with its wheels behind her. I just, I don't know. That's... What is with this weird image of my size tonight? Oh my God. I can just hear like a didgeridoo rendition of, of like, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I end up like going from fuck it anyway i end up like walking the entire fucking way right across and like looking at like all the time boards on the way just like is it still there yep it's still there yep 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 okay i arrive there and i see like on the actual thing that's describing all the terminal three stuff because they were technically separate boards technically <laughs> right and like when it's like the actual terminal three stuff it's like yeah now it's at this gate Great, thanks. Okay, cool. So it's still Terminal 3, but now it's just telling me the gate. And I'm standing there just, like, in front of the whole thing, and I finally see it upon the actual screen for the gate. I'm like, oh, thank fuck. So I actually did find it. Thank God. Uh, get on the plane. And it's all fine. Um, so, because, like... Because this is the last one, I'm like thinking, yeah, I'll get a bit more sleep, right? And I'll have the meal that they give you, like, a couple of hours before landing. That should be fine, right? Yep. Right? So, because it's business class, because I could have, I, I could afford business class. So why the fuck wouldn't I do that? Um, 
I, I have the chair go all the way back, right? To sleep. It That's fine. Uh, so I'm asleep, then wake up for the meal. Try to put the chair back up. It goes up most of the way. And then it decides to go backwards again, no matter what button you hit. Okay. This thing had decided it didn't want to go back to the upright position. But you called for a flight attendant? No, I was sitting there, like, still pressing buttons, like, going... Because I'm still, like, I've just woken up, right? So I'm not right. really full. And and I hadn't even actually had my medication as well. So I'm, like, Woken. just sitting there, like, going, like, uh, what, button? Button? Button. Chair. Work, please. Y you know, like, not really fully functioning. Can you confirm, Sam, attendant... that when you're off medication on ADHD, you're just going to just press the buttons? I mean, I press all the buttons anyway, because I have buttons. <laughs> it's fun, right? <laughs> it's fun, right? But anyway. Like... <laughs> so I'm just like, trying to... Like, I'm just tired. Like, just working up. No, med no medic. Just trying to press it. Flight attendant comes by and, just, you know, they kind of go like, oh, yeah, you don't know what you're doing. Press button. And then she becomes confused, because it's like, yeah, why isn't it doing that? What the hell? Which then leads to, like, everyone trying to, like, fix this chair. I'm standing up in the aisle and they're like, yeah, let's just seat you in this um, spare seat over here. Okay, fine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and like, yeah, we'll just seat you down sit you down here for your breakfast. Okay. Fine. Um, sitting there and I'm watching like these people all come up to this chair trying to fucking like just get it into the upright position. Like, unjam it basically. Because they think it's jammed. Mm -hmm. at, and like at one point there's like three of them working on this chair at the same time. Uh-huh. Like just three people trying to unfuck this chair. And I'm sitting there just kinda like after like after the you know, I get food and stuff, just looking at it like, am I gonna be sitting here for like landing as well? <laughs> because here's yeah, and because here's the other problem though, right? So I had um two bits of luggage that I took like that I took with me on like actually on the plane by hand. Uh, I had like a, a little orange suitcase thing that's filled with like all my electronic stuff, you know, like uh, my laptop, my iPad, all that. And then I had a uh, you know a handbag, which just has everything else in it, including my purse with all my cards. Including my passport. That handbag is in that little seat thing, like you know, the little space that you put your luggage in front of you, in, like under yeah, the seat in front of you, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so that's in there. Um, fun fact when the chair is extended like that, like it's all the way back, you can't actually get into that little space where the bag is. Get into it? No, you can't get into that space, I mean, you can't take the bag out. Oh. Oh. And remember the position the chair is in. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like having this dawning realization, like as I'm watching these people like try to fix this chair, of like, oh, I'm fucked, aren't I? Yeah, but you're, you're, you know. Because all my stuff is in there. No, but I was fine though. You're Munchkin esque. You can be like uh, one of the rat. Uh, uh, guys in, in Vietnam <laughs> put a flashlight in your mouth a 45 in your hand and go crawling out. you'll get there so, yeah so like the only things I have in my person as we're landing right because they did not fix the chair really I was stuck in this one seat until like yeah it landed yeah it was stuck in the down position the in, like for the rest of the flight so the only things I have on my person are my phone and the USB charger cable that I had plugged in, like, next to me. <laughs> because I couldn't get my back. And so, um, they called the engineer while they were still in the air, right? Which is just how fucked this seat was. They had to call a fucking engineer. And they land, and, um, I'm just sitting there waiting, right? Like, I grabbed my, um, carry-on suitcase, right? Just to wait with it. And uh, they're going, like, everyone's leaving the plane, I'm just sitting there, and, like, one of the attendants come up to me, and he's like, yeah, you can, like, you know, get off the plane if you want, we can just bring it back to you. No. 
No. No. Never do that. Never. Mm -mm. No. All my stuff is in there. Why would I... Like, my passport is in there. Why would I do that? Yeah, okay, fine. It just walks off. It's like, what the fuck? Why would I do that? Why would anyone do that? That is, like, Engineer the worst Wilson. thing. That is, like, the fucking Engineer. worst thing you could possibly do. Engineer wasn't there to fix the seat, by the way. He was just working out the straps for the booster cushion. Right. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> Fuck it. But, yeah, it, yeah. So what ends up happening, right? What ends up happening, though, right? So, like... I guess by the end of it, they're figuring out, like, okay, we have this small space here between, like, the front bit and the actual chair bit that we can kind of reach through. And it's only afterwards that I really think, like, yeah, why didn't you guys just try this in the first place? To get me my shit. You know? And in this bag, I had, like, like, only maybe two bulky things. Like, like some books... And a blanket, right? And the guy's like trying to pull the bag through, right? And like it's not working, obviously, because yeah, those things are gonna <laughs> bulk it the fuck up. And he looks at me, he's just like, Yeah, could we take some stuff out of here so we can, you know, get the bag? I, I just say, Whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes. I just want my bag back. So he takes the blanket out and he tries pulling it again. I was like, Oh, yeah, it's still a bit bulky. Just take out whatever you need. Take it out. Just hand it to me. Fine. Put it on the seat, even. I don't care. Just get my bag out, please. Yeah, why didn't you put in overhead storage Ryan Walters' assets? It's a damn fine question. No, because... You couldn't no, you, you, you could reach put, up there, could It you? doesn't... No, I could. It's just, it, I only want the suitcase up there. Uh... Because the handbag has actually got stuff in it I want to grab mm. out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, there's a reason why I don't put it up there. Ready access, I understand. Yeah, exactly. It's like ready access stuff. Yeah. Like, it's got... Like, my meds in there, um, gum for, like, when you're, you know, taking off and landing. Like, things like that. Things that don't automatically look like weapons, but actually could be used for them in case somebody decides to get fresh. I understand. I understand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's stuff like my Switch is in there as well. Like, just stuff that it's, like, you don't want to take. Oh, you need your take. Switch. Oh, no. Well, no, just stuff... Shut up. But you get what I mean. It's like it's stuff where, like you want to grab it through the flight. You don't want to have to ha have the hassle of getting get through it. the overhead luggage stuff. I remember the first time I saw a sign at an airport at the uh, uh, boarding gate where it said, uh, make sure that any uh, vape mods or battery packs are in your carry-on luggage and not in your stored luggage. Oh, sweet. They don't believe you. What? There you go, Zelda. You distribute the wealth. Oh. What's he saying? It says that it's wrong for one man to own all this. It says he says you should share it with all the people. Yeah. Yeah. Fucker. <laughs> this is America. We don't share land here. <laughs> John Dutton! Akira, thank you for the $40. You laid your chair all the way back. One for your flight. A, that's not okay. B, passport and wallet. Why can't people just be American? I don't have time for chair fuckery. Don't fly. Or, pack better. Well, I mean, this was business class, so it's not like it's affecting people behind me. Like, if this was an economy, I wouldn't have even done that. Hmm. Like, for starters. Like, it's not as if, like, it's affecting the people around me. Right. Or at least it shouldn't be, you know? <laughs> it shouldn't be. But, um... But, like, also, it's like, who the fuck expects your chair to just not work? I, you know? And no, for no, everything to be, tra yeah. like, trapped down there? Like, that's not a thing that usually happens. But point is, I got the bag back, though, after they took things out of it and just pulled the shit out, which I'm, like, I'm still shocked that they didn't do that before. Like, no one thought of doing that. Yeah. You know? Like, could I, like, that's a bit concerning. You know? Like, again, like, I even mentioned straight up, like, my all my stuff is in there. Like, my passport is in there. Every single point of identification I have is in that fucking bag. Billy Savage asks, why are names not lit up? What, I what do you don't... What do you think he means by that? Uh, I don't... I think he means, like, the rainbow colors that were there for a while back. I don't know. What rainbow colors? 
uh, a while back um, on YouTube for some reason, some of the some people got these things where like they'd look in chat and color certain names would have colors. Like it was a Twitch chat for some reason. Oh god! Don't really know why. Nobody. Yeah, I had it too. See, I had it too. I, I, okay, look, I've been to Twitch a number of times. Well, I mean, in my life, yes, generally, but more often than I have been, I think, in my entire time having a Twitch account recently. Because I want to you know, get used to it, whatever. Go look at the settings and the in, in the back end to see what I can do. Because I'm getting ready to to be Twitch mummificating, and holy fuck, Twitch chat! Especially when you go to like large channels when you go to Amaranth or whatnot. Holy shit! They, they, Twitch has managed to turn chat, like I've said before, into a fucking video game. I, you look at it, and like, I hope yeah. you, I hope you're not subject to fucking seizures. Because that chat's going to give it to you. There's jumping, flashing, light bulbing, strobing nonsense constantly. I've been looking at it. Which oh, is wait. <laughs> yeah, people have turned Twitch chats into uh, games. As in, like, the Twitch chat plays the game. So, uh... Yeah. I don't... I, I, I... I just have to become Which desensitized. Like anyone? That was Zelthor's thing. He's like, man, you just gotta like, you know, it's like playing a Final Fantasy game. There's there, there's numbers and shit popping up on the screen, and you just kind of have to train yourself to ignore it. And I'm like, really? Like, I can't turn it off for me? And he's like, <laughs> no. I, I, oh my god, it's it's really something to look at a Twitch chat. It is not like a YouTube chat at all. I mean, so here we we have, we have uh, you know. Late night chill stream. We got a nice candle over there. It's, it's fireplace. It's, it's golden lighting. It's all very low down and chill. Where Twitch is like, we're in your face. We're twitching. It's the, the exact <laughs> opposite of it. I just, whoo. Okay. Oh. Uh, got a donation there, Polly. I was just popping over there. Mentrix, thank you for the fin. Greatly appreciated. What's the difference between Jesus and a picture of Jesus? I don't know. Is it your possible reservation in hell? Let's find out. Uh, it only, <laughs> you motherfucker! It only took one nail to hang the picture. What? For God's sakes! Literally. <laughs> Did I... Okay. Awful. I mean, Jeez. there was that interstitial layer that Dante described in hell for people just like you. I. <laughs> so then, chat says, "Chat's gonna give it to you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waiting for you to get it on your own. Chat's gonna deliver to you. <laughs> Absolutely. See, I can't do all of the. Uh, I have a bunch of new donations, uh, but they're all uh, AAA esque. I haven't finished uh, the new no uh, English. I'm just gonna back off of that car well, wreck and try that you corner know, again. You know who does have new donations, though? Who does, Far? Me! No I shit! Do. Cool. And? I, yeah. Are they awesome? And I, I, can, I, I think they're hilarious. And and and, I can and personally, personally recommend the one at twenty five bucks. That's a great one. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, that's not new, but yeah, that, I just showed Sam that one. <laughs> Found it funny. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. I also have new ones, but they're they're yeah. only one dollar and ten dollar because I because I haven't I haven't had a lot of time to work. Well, I say I haven't. Had, I've had a lot of time to work on them. I've just not been very productive. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the, the, I'm new. The odd thing about new donations is that you can never tell what uh, what people are going to like, and it's it's it, it's up to them. It's like people come in and they order the drinks that they want, and you know, Valine will come yeah. in and she'll order this ridiculously girly uh, 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 daiquiri, a virgin daiquiri. It doesn't even have booze in it. Now. I think that's a giant waste of money, but it's her money. That's the point. She can waste it on whatever stupidity she chooses. So, I make the drink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the way it goes. Now, I personally think the Winona Ryder Sugar Cube is awesome and sexy, but it just sits there. But again, it's people's money. They can do with it what they want. Yeah, and if they want to uh, donate to me or Sam to see donations, uh, that's on them. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And you uh, should donate to the uh, regular people who keep me company at the bar because, the, well, it just wouldn't be the bar without them. They're like furniture. They're always here and then, you know, adding the entertainment and keeping the bartender excited. And... Yeah. You just don't treat me like furniture, please. Don't kick me. <laughs> don't, don't treat far <laughs> like the furniture gets treated here with jackknife stabs and gum stuck yeah, to right. it and <laughs> spilled drinks on it. And you people are fucking disgusting the way you leave this place. Every night I clean up and it. And who keeps vomiting in the corner? I, 
Yeah, who does do that? <laughs> Jesus. You know, just, I'm just picturing Far being picked up and used as a weapon in a bar fight now. <laughs> quick, quick story. I remember, I remember, okay, so this is... This is, oh, God. A, this is an undergrad, right? We're, we're at a bar, oh. and, and a friend of mine actually did this, okay? A, a guy orders a round of Jaggers, of double Jaggers, chilled. So, you know, the, the extra oh, tall cylindrical no. shot glasses of Jaeger. So they, the, the, the waitress comes by, they're all on a platter, and there's, I don't know, five or six of us? It, so, anyway, she's got a, a bunch of them on there, so everybody grabs one. He turns around, throws up behind the table. We were saying a bunch of those tall round tables with stool, tall stool chairs. Turns around and goes, yeah. wow, like real loud, too. Like, it wasn't like, like a quick little yeah. barf. Like, I mean, he was heaving. Right, and then he turns around, wipes his mouth off, and he's the first one to have a glass up in the air. And goes, "Cheers!" Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. Very nice. <laughs> Should turn the volume up on that a little bit more, Sam. I didn't quite hit the roof. I just got close. But... I I died left it at a hundred because I thought it was quiet. <laughs> well, I will manage that. <laughs> Holy shit, Sam. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it is possible to uh, drink yourself sick, just throw up, and keep going. He demonstrated that. Great, lovely. Yeah. What a great friend. <laughs> what a great person. <laughs> yeah, he's a gift to society for sure, that man. <laughs> All right, Akira, thank you for, thank you for $10. Uh, he says, uh, I understand where Farah's coming from, but your personal ID should never be anywhere except on your person. Your personal ID should never leave your person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the, at the same time, it's like... Where am I going to have that on my person? I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, women's pants don't really tend to have pockets that can keep stuff like that in them. Do you remember when that was made a big feminist you know? thing a few years back? I do. What? Oh, man. 20 donated 10. <laughs> I don't know. I just thank you, 20, for the 10. Uh, hey, man, love your content. <laughs> 4570 is pretty much the end all be all of calibers. I l own a legit a 20 uh, ugh, English. I legit own a 4570 trapdoor and it rocks. That's I that is pretty sweet, actually. Fucking vintage gun there. I know going through my reloading manuals and looking at it, there's like three different 4570s. There's a, a, a traditional, trapdoor, and modern. And, it, you know, the different pressures that you can actually load them to. And I'm like, who actually owns a trapdoor? Like, you know, like the few people that managed to have had one in their family or whatever the fuck were lucky enough to find one at a gun show that they paid an unbelievable amount of money for. Well, 20. 20 owns a legit 4570 trapdoor. Far, it's a big old fuck off caliber. It's awesome. Hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Hello. Right. We were just talking like, about just gun nerd shit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No. Like, okay. I was, I was people. Okay. Like, sorry. Like. Okay. <laughs> people in the chat. Just more of like the fucking ID shit, right? Like, I, I'm going to say this, and that's going to be it, right? Okay. All right. All right. Not yeah. everyone has. Not everyone is going to keep stuff directly in their pockets. That's why. Bags are a thing. Why? It's not as. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, like, I'll get to that in a moment, but just. Again, like, I don't understand, like, what the big deal is, really. It's not it's as if I was keeping it in the overhead luggage, which would, which would be way fucking worse, let's be real. Handbag, that's fine. I don't see the problem. Mm hmm. The other reason there was a problem here is because the seat jammed, and that is not a usual thing that happens. And also, cute cynic that you think I can sew. I know. You can't sew? No. Not well. Like, I can sew basic shit together, like uh, if I'm knitting something, I can sew it together where it's not going to fall apart, but... Well, see, I can't that, sew in the way that you think I... Like, I can't sew in the way that you think I would be able to start. That's what, okay, why that's amazing to me is that I've seen some of the stuff that you knit and like chat, like legit, like farkin' knit. Like the, 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 I know, I know it's girly stuff, but it's, it gets complicated when you're not just knitting a pot holder where it's a square, like rounded corners and hats and socks. And like, th those are difficult yeah, things but to the knit. Thing but, is, yet, yeah, but the thing is, like, when you sew it, well, the thing is when you sew stuff that's knit, it's like, you can't really see the stitches anyway. 
Unless you're really looking for it, which is how I get away with it. Yeah, but this is my po that's my point though. Far uh, to be, you can master the skills of that, but uh, uh, somehow a needle and thread just... elude you. I well, it's I, okay. I guess a better way of saying it's like I just never really went too far into the sewing. Like I can do basic kind of shit. I know you have to turn things inside out for the stitches to be on the inside, like basic level stuff. But if you're talking about putting pockets onto pants. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that and make it look nice. Okay, when I'm living on your couch, I'll show you how to sew. It, it'll be fine. Like, and, and, all right, all right. But anyway, I should get to that donation. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ghost Dog 999 for the $5. Money for booze after the airplane chair for help. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. See, Ghost Dog gets it. Ghost Dog gets my pain. <laughs> he understands me. <laughs> Like, that was supposed- the thing that kills me about that whole situation, though, right? And like, I can laugh about it now, right? Because I got all my stuff back, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't end up having to... I didn't have to end up, you know, going into the airport and being like, I am totally a citizen of this nation. I- I'm not lying to you, and, you know, I'm now living at the airport. Like, thank God, right? <laughs> but, um, that was supposed to be the easy flight. You know? Yeah, like, that I, was five hours tops. Like, that was right. supposed to be the easy one. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, donations and things of that sort... Oh, hold on. I have way too many tabs open to get to things quickly. Oh, yeah, there we are. Uh, uh, Billy Savage, being the badass awesome person that he is, uh, just gifted me Watch Dogs Season Pass, and Watch Dogs Conspiracy, Ooh. Watch Dogs Access Granted Pack, and Watch Dogs bad blood fuck holy yeah. fuck dude so it's the complete pack nice and i am oh, i am man. the excite and so people can watch me uh face plant and step on rakes trying to figure out how to play this game cool huh <laughs> yeah because <laughs> that's what I, I don't know it, 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 savage that's all that's gonna excited. be happening man i'm telling you <laughs> like people's like i want to watch you play this game you want to watch me noob my way through it okay yes i continually opening up the fucking inventory screen where it's like it's gonna kill you okay hold on here we go and fire and it's, it's, it's boom inventory you don't have that like you know, that sort of thing it's just it's gonna be non-stop i figure three four months where i even can like not make an asshole myself that's why i said the first game i was gonna play was gonna be pong i you know nice. i still think you should <laughs> Along with that one other game that we found, the um, you know, the one that's just it's an empty MO. <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah. The, the, tour. yeah. Far and I found it. Uh, uh, what was the name of the channel? Far the guy who reviews the worst MMOs. Oh yeah, ever. the um, yeah, Josh Hayes, it's Josh Stripe Hayes. Right. So he reviews yeah. the worst MMOs of all time, and you know, you hear that and you think, you know, clickbait, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, you know, no, no, some of them are legitimately yeah. just that fucking bad. Like, completely abandoned MMOs that the servers are still up for some reason, and it... Uh, yeah, it's from, like, the 90s as well, which is the wild part. Like, it's just been going on for 20-plus years. So thank you very much, Billy Savage. Greatly appreciate it. That is a... Uh, uh, thank you indeed. I, uh, I know the game only from um, Rizifist Arcade. Yeah. That's pretty much where I know about 80% of all games from is Razor Fist Arcade. Where it's like, hey, that game looks cool. Hey, so does this one. You know what I mean? That's why I got the Call of Juarez bundle. I can't wait to get into some Westernisms. People are like, well, why don't you go play Red Dead 2? Hey, man, I've watched some Red Dead 1 and 2 playthroughs, and yeah, it looks epic. But the Definitive Pack or whatever it's called with the DLC and the online content for Red Dead 2... Holy shit, that's a pretty penny. That Call of Juarez pack, on the other hand, three games, 30 bucks, what a fucking win. And besides, it looks like a game for a new... Yeah, you start there. Like, why why, why start, you know, sprinting? I, I think I should learn how to walk first. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so Absolutely. Pong. Yeah, that... So Pong. No, I, I mean, in Western <laughs> games far. Like, I think Call of Juarez... Uh, Pong uh, is a Western game. Is... is, is, is... <laughs> It's a good Western game to start with. So yeah, that's a, Akira, thank you for the $10. Greatly appreciate it. So she can knit everything set pockets. Yoga pants come standard with pockets. The illusion of females existing with no storage. I'm just not buying it. It's the size of pockets, man. Like, I don't want to keep going on about this, honestly, but it's not the same size. Like, men's pockets are just way deeper. 
I have Call of Juarez for my Nintendo Switch. I didn't know it was on Nintendo Switch. Is that true, guys? Why, why don't you and uh, Zopor have it? I can go check it. I can go check it. Why do you guys if play, can, like, my you know, Hello Kitty Island Adventure on your Switches if Call of Juarez is there? Because I like I like Hello Kitty Adventure. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem with the choice of games, Polly. <laughs> I told you I would play a Garfield Kart with you. I would play. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Actually, that's a that's a DS game, isn't it? Uh, there's a DS version of it, yeah. Uh, but the, it is on the Switch. I do own it for the Switch. I don't know. I am I so fucking. I am so fucking curious about that one though, because apparently it does have online play. I am so curious who's playing that, that, fucking God. That was my question. Is like, is like, can you play like in cooperative mode or whatever online? <laughs> Yeah. So go yeah. for chat, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, uh, FAR collects horrible, horrible, shitty games, obscure, shitty games for um, Switch, DS, uh, uh, and her crown jewel, for some reason, is it's, Garfield it's Kart. Garfield. I just <laughs> love the fact that that is, like, look, here's my fascination with Garfield Kart, right? But like, just to begin, okay? Like, it's the fact that it even really exists as a property. Like, they thought they want to make a racing game. But with Garfield characters. It looks so bad on the cover as well. And then you look at the back of it and you just, it, you get the sense of fucking dread because it's the same paragraph five separate times in five separate languages. That's never a good sign. Mm -hmm. That is never a fucking good sign when they do that. And then, and then the company that published it it's called microids and then if you ever go down the microids rabbit hole it is hilarious because they are a french company sam your country is the reason why we have garfield cart my country is also the reason why ubisoft exists and why those wonderful yeah. assassin's creed games are a thing yeah but you also have uh garfield cart and their um fucking microids their fucking company like <laughs> the fucking slogan is like a part of their thing is their mission statement that's what it is their mission statement literally says in it on its website all right and we want to provide players with unforgivable experiences <laughs> and mission achieved they mean unforgettable they mean unforgettable but Same it's thing. unforgivable Same it's just i find that hilarious garfield cart is certainly an unforgivable experience <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just the whole package. I just love it. I'm going to send you a copy of Looney Tunes Racing <laughs> PS2. Please I'm going to send that to you. Please do. And I'll, you I'll will see how far it. my people brought forward animated character racing with Garfield Cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please fucking do. I, I, look, I've shown you, Sam, like, some of the trailers before, right? Look, that one specific microids one, right, with the, um, oh, God, what was the yeah. guy, what was the name of it? And I'm, like, going, why does it sound like a slur, <laughs> like, parts of it? We, we, do have, I, we do have a lot of yeah. like that. Yeah, because I was, like, I was curious, because I don't think there was an English version of that game, because it was such a French property, from what I understand of it. Yeah, we don't like to but, translate yeah. our things into English. Yeah, like, why would that even exist in English? So I think I sent it to you once, like, as a... What are they saying? Because <laughs> I don't know French. Probably, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, chat, I'm the exception when it comes to my... I'm an ambassador to the foreigners. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had, like, five things going on, and I just wanted to get some of the things we're going to be going over. As the bartender here, you know, I'm going to keep the people entertained that are sitting at the bar... And so I just wanted to get some of that stuff organized, and so I didn't have chat up. But uh, now that I do, um, valid questions in chat if asked a little sharply. Nonetheless, hey, drinks are happening. Uh, did you quit AAA? The answer is no, of course not. Uh, did they fire you? No, of course not. Uh, I don't know who they is. Uh, AAA is Sinatra's thing, and no. Uh, come on. Uh, I tuned in halfway, and Sin was alone. Why? Uh, I was working and I've already talked to Sin about it. Um, he understands. Um, it's what happened. It was unfortunate. Uh, got busy, but, uh, yeah, I had already talked to him about it. So suggesting that I was fired or something. That's just weird. 
Um, I thought you guys were his co-hosts, uh, so why did you leave him alone to do this? I didn't leave him alone to do this. Uh, Sinatra's very well aware that we're doing uh, Noir Bar tonight, and as a matter of fact, he might stumble yeah, in drunk. Yeah, he's been invited. At, yeah, he might stumble in drunk at any time. Yeah. Uh, he's out and about with Shelly tonight. Uh, I'm not sure where they're at, but uh, we were talking while he was out, and he said, all right, man, I got to get back to this. So I was like, okay. Uh, you guys are his co-hosts. Again, I don't know what happened with Drunkle because uh, I was really stuck at work, and it was pretty fucking tragically unfortunate. Uh, we were told he slept through it. Uh, that was a misunderstanding, that somebody had thought that uh, I was there and at home sleeping. Nope, I certainly wasn't. Uh, I was talking to Sin from my car from campus. So, yeah, there. Hopefully that uh, explains everything. I don't want people to think that uh, I would just uh, sleep through AAA. No, that's not something I would do, and I wouldn't leave Sin hanging like that. That's my man, so I got a hold of him right away, and uh, there isn't a problem. And it, I don't know. I don't think you were trying to stoke things up by saying it like that, but I think some people might see it that way. So just to not have it be that way, I thought I'd answer the questions. And so there we go. Yeah, man, people people like the AAA. They they can get a little they can get a little frustrated when they don't get what they. Uh, Which is understandable. I can, I, you know what I mean? It's like, this is the show. I love the show. What happened to the show? And it's like, yeah, fair enough. But, it, uh, you know, I, especially because who doesn't love Sin? You know what I mean? I don't want anyone thinking yeah. that uh, Sin was left in the lurch. He most certainly wasn't. And, uh, you know, he gets it. So, yeah. It, uh, it, like, it, shit it, happens. It, it ended up working, like... unfortunately. But, you know, he's not mad. So, uh, and who would want to make him mad? He's so likable. So there it is. Sweet uh this is one thing yeah. that i did want to show because it came to mind seriously you really could buy a tommy gun through the mail in 1942 what a, what a wonderful magical time it was i jesus <laughs> what sam are you against what? this it's like I... uh, no 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 <laughs> i love this are you kidding me? What? it fires my favorite round polly <laughs> <laughs> am i too the 45 acp on forever am i right i it's the round <laughs> and so yeah the, the, <laughs> not only this one not only this one but then like look you have your choice <laughs> I, this this okay don't look at the prices you'll just get mad <laughs> oh, oh, I caught it in my peripheral vision. Why? What happened to this world, Polly? I'll tell you what happened to this world. Oh, no, we won't get political. But just what a, what, what a pain in the ass. I just... It's... Albert Betty Spaghetti! What? Why is it playing that one? What was it supposed to be for two? That's a good question. Coins are back? Uh... No, did it play coins back? No, it didn't. Not for me. Oh, it did for me. Uh, played alphabetty spaghetti for weird. me. Weird. Okay, thank God. Thank fucking God. I, I'm just gonna play it again. It's, you know. Dude, it's great. Some of it. So I just want to see. It's like, is that actually doing that? There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it. Thank you, Gil Carter, for the two dollars. Coins are back. No, they're not. Just like far. Welcome back to Australia. Have you gorged yourself upon the native fare of Tim Tams and actually decent coffee? Uh, no, and no, because I don't drink coffee. Um, I have been eating goldfish <gasps> that I brought with me. <laughs> and I said eat coffee, didn't I? I'm fucking yeah. No, I'm dumb. Uh, I meant drink, but I also don't eat coffee. You know. Because people shouldn't eat coffee. I, she, she, says you. What are you going to do? All you have is beans or grounds. No hot water. You do what you got to do. Sam, you were in the Legion. If you got stuck without coffee, what were you going to do? Were you, were you just going to swallow the fucking powdered uh, instant coffee? Or are you just going to go without? I'll swallow the powder. Well, yeah. You do what you got to do. D fucking give me the beans. I'll chew them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Go bear grills on that bullshit. Heat up some pee. Oh, Jesus <laughs> I Christ, I I do do <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, speaking of which. Uh, in but yeah, that's one of the new ones, though, by the way. <laughs> speaking of new ones, uh, if, <laughs> if anybody is so inclined, uh, I replaced the uh, 
Ava Gardner, just for tonight, uh, lighting a cigarette at uh, $8 with a new donation that uh, Sam and I collaborated on. I just, I love it so much that I had to throw it in there. It's not very noir-esque, <laughs> but I couldn't resist because it's so good. Plus, it excuses my lateness for good, obvious reasons. I simply can't be late. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Spoil it, they'll they'll love love it. Oh, for Betty. <laughs> Spaghetti. Yeah, so it's in there at 8 bucks if anybody's interested. <laughs> Either way, speaking of which, uh, if you are uh, interested, uh, you do not need to donate to show your support for the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate it if you do. Don't make no mistake about that. But you can lightly tap the like button in Omegon's words or share us on social media or leave a comment below. And if you're listening in the future, certainly leave a comment below because I get a chance to read them all and respond to most. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Would you like to go on to, um, hmm, I don't know. Old bar is going to have to end up listening to it. Let me just poll chat generally. Oh, you know what? I did want to, uh, before we get uh, into anything too far, Valine mentioned a while back about the emu farm that they have in Montana. Yeah, I looked it up. What What is this, Valine? Uh, what? What is, what, what is emu this? Emu treatments. Why? What <laughs> it, the fuck? I have to ask, what in the ever loving fuck is emu um, oil? What do you What do? You do? Squeeze an emu until it drips oil? Immugency. What do you say? I fucking hate it. Look, look at one of the things above there, right? There's Montana Emu Ranch, yeah. Emu Plus, and there's Immugency. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Is that is that a fucking pun? On emergency. Yeah. I yeah, look at the next one. Immutrients. I love it. <laughs> I fucking hate it. What the fuck? I, I got nothing. I got fucking nothing for you, Billy. I, Look, I don't know what you mean by invasion. Like, skin, skin spray and deep. This is rub. all on you. Er this is all on you guys. You guys are the ones importing this shit. What the fuck? Hot spice and ice body rub. I came here for emu breast. For 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 emu wings. I came here for food. What is this? Uh, Explain yourself, Feline. Drink hey. the oil, bigot. <laughs> <laughs> Cold pressed emu oil, right, Cynic? Like, I mean, this is not what I was expecting at all. I, I, oh, right. they, they, they've got emu lip balm. That's right. I want to put oh my god, emu really? balm on my lips. It, it, emu oil balm. Uh, emu Gency, There it is. Fuck me. <laughs> it's a lip balm. Pocket stick. Fuck off. <laughs> it's only ten the bucks. It's. <laughs> What? I don't even know what emu oil is, and I bounced around reading, and they don't explain it. They just keep calling it natural and, uh, you know, hypoallergenic and whatnot. And I'm like, you haven't said what it is. Like, seriously, is it just like, yeah. e e <sighs> like emu fat? The way, like, the duck fat? Is that what it is? If so, just say it. I, I guess yeah, so, yeah, like, what is it? Akira, thank you for the $10. I don't mind being the douche. So here it is. The AAA... Uh, Oh. Okay. All right. I just wanted to read through that. Okay. Akira, thank yeah, you for okay. the time. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> say We're good. That. We're good. I was, that was my misunderstanding. It's fine. I don't want to be the douche. I don't mind being the douche, rather. Uh, so here it is. The AAA ain't going nowhere. The trio actually have lives. Polly has works and has family. Drunkle has a combo of both. It's not drama. Life happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty succinct, and there it is. Uh, that, and besides, I like Sam said, I understand the concern of like, hey, look, I like the show, and I want it on when it's on, and we like to put it on when it's on. Greatest chat online. Um, well, except for, you know, the coolest people mm -hmm. in the world who show mm -hmm. for a noir bar. But we can't expect everyone to want to stray to the shadiest district of noir city. Motherfuckers get killed here. It... I've been killed three times this week. <laughs> Time machines are so useful. I know, and luckily we're able to go back and make sure that it doesn't happen. Usually by some knife-wielding vagabond. But it, it yeah. you know. I'm but, not going to lie, though. I, I, I did feel a little holier than thou. It, don't get me wrong. Uh, Akira <laughs> isn't wrong. It's very true. There's, there's nothing going anywhere, and there's no uh, changes that are readily going to happen when things happen like that. It is uh, out of the ordinary and unfortunate, but uh, the show must go on, and does. So, yeah, there it is. So yeah, emu, uh, emu Gensi stick. That, emu Gensi. Emu. Tell me that doesn't sound like the new fucking animu import. 
<laughs> it fucking hell. It does, doesn't it? It sounds oddly, uh, oddly South African for some reason. I'm tired of these fucking phone games from China. That Emu Gensi? What, are you kidding me? It's a fucking <laughs> money pit. <laughs> you believed it, see? I, <laughs> yeah, no, no, totally. Angry Birds, Chinese edition. Fucking hell. If you think about it's it, it's emus, so they are angry birds. So I, I don't know. I, I, I am really actually, are. I am actually legitimately kind of upset with Gamer Valine over this. Like, what I, I feel very lied to. But she's also, um, she's also going on about them having Milo on the shelves. Yeah, that one I'm actually kind of curious about because she put a photo in here, right, Wait, okay. of her seeing Milo on the store shelves, right? Right. Um, do they still have the, like, I, I just want to know, right? Do they have? They still have like the metal foil under the lid because that doesn't that container doesn't look right. Even Sam agrees like that container doesn't look right. It, sh it shouldn't have a plastic lid on it. Yeah, maybe this is the like, one that she meant. It, far, like, what the it, fuck it, is up with your Milo? Oh God, look, they've given him a pompadour. Well, I mean, you <laughs> just come like that. <laughs> See, Sam gets well, it. He's kind of just do that. He's been quaffed. I... <laughs> I... That one's famous on TikTok with that hairstyle. Well. Oh my god. Seriously, it looks like the noodle haircut that all the fucking polywords on TikTok have got. <laughs> Emutrients. Wait, do they, do they Emutrients. Really? Thank you, Sam. Uh... <laughs> I. I didn't even think that this was going to happen when I brought this up. The quaffing thing, yes, but like uh, uh, Zelthor and some other people that I know are very much into dinosaurs and the whole relationship between birds and dinosaurs. Looking at that thing close up, I could see a dinosaur here. I see a velociraptor looking at this thing. Look at the way its yeah. beak connects like directly <gasps> to its face. Like It just looks lizard lizardarian. What's the word? Lizard-like? It... Tillian. Quamid. I guess, if you must be more accurate than me, fine. You remember a few years back, the, uh, the, the, those, those geneticists, they disabled the genes in chickens that, uh, makes them grow a beak, and instead they ended up getting, like, a, uh, a, a very distinctly dinosaur-esque muzzle instead? This isn't no? the fucking conspiracy theory that Kentucky Fried Chickens was actually Kentucky Fried Clones and they ain't had no beaks or feet or nothing because they didn't cook those? No, no, not those. No, no, no. They, okay. they, like I say, they. I'll, I'll dig out the article. I'll dig out the article. It's right. fantastic and creepy, and oh my god, Jurassic Park. Because <laughs> look, I've seen these things run, and I understand. Okay, I don't understand how you lost the war, but I have a better sense of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, because you okay. see how dinosaurs fuck they are. Well, I, yeah. I see how fucking fast they run when they want to haul ass. Those things just, you know, one foot in front of the other, and they lean into it, and just, oh my god, there's just a puff of smoke behind them. It's crazy. It's like a cartoon. You'll never forget a visit to Wild Rose Emu Ranch, a one of a kind farm filled with emus in Montana for eating. Ooh, emu eggs. They're big. They're blue. Oh yeah, no emu emu eggs are fucking massive. Including emu steaks, oil, leather, and decorated eggs. Okay, listen, if you can make steak, leather, and eggs out of these fucking things, why is that one company only selling everything oil? Lip balm and foot rub and... I don't... I don't know. But the... FDA approval, I'd imagine. I... Yeah. Oh, probably. I, I want an emu omelette. When you eat an emu omelette, I would. No. Why not? Because it's egg. Look at those eggs, though. They look like... Because it's egg. Oh, you know right. You yeah, know you're... how I feel about egg. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot. You are uh, opposed to eggs. I... It, it it legitimately can give me a headache. All right, let's just... Okay. I would eggs really rather like not. dragon eggs. <laughs> what I well... imagine a dragon egg would look like. Let's take a look. Holy shit. Look at the fucking size of that thing. Okay. Yeah, I told you they're big. That's like, there's a reason why they decorate, like, they do, um, like, carving stuff on the eggshells of these things. What? they're just that fucking big, you can do it. Yeah! Emu scotch eggs! Win! Oh, I want... I want six. <laughs> you want six? I love yes. the scotch egg, and that looks like... Well, just awesome. I... Fuck yes. You could feed a family of... You could feed a family of four off of one scotch egg. <laughs> 
Imagine the protein, Sinatra. I just... Oh, you could put this woman to shame. Look at the... She eats three uh, of those yeah. for breakfast every day. Look at the jaw on her. Holy shit. It... That is a very... Look at the arms. That is a mannish like, woman. At... I... Yeah? She's got those, uh, she, she's got those fucking, uh, Zen Buddhist monk arms is what she's got right there. <laughs> that's, that's wiry strength. That's, that's, that's muscle fiber right there. There ain't an ounce of fat on her arms. <laughs> Lord. That expensive ass shelf issue I had this week, I got all cleared up. Broke down two bookshelves the same size as the ones in my BG. Background. Gotcha. Okay. I love that one egg can fill an entire pan like that, as opposed to like you know cracking up six or seven eggs and you know, paying the fees that we do. Oof. Wonder if they smell though. You know, you know goose I, eggs when you uh, when you break them open, they they've got like a quite a quite a powerful. I've never had a goose nor a, a duck egg. Really? Yeah, hen and a quail. That's all I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I only have chicken eggs. Sam's just kind of like, oh, I, I picture him just like looking off into space, just sort of like blinking in confusion, you know? <laughs> like, it's just, you know what I mean? I really am. I really am. <laughs> Polly, well, when you're living on my sofa. Me, <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you, Sam. He's living on my sofa. <laughs> Okay, now you're claiming me. Fair, fair enough, There's fair enough. plenty of mooch to go around. Don't fight over me, okay? <laughs> What's he gonna, gonna do? Of, like, buy a plane ticket, like, every few months to just couch surf on both our couches? Going to repurpose the fish cannon to fire duck and goose eggs to Australia. <laughs> I, I don't want them, thank you. Like, I, I don't really like egg that much. Again, gives me a headache. It's for Polly! I... <laughs> what? You're assuming he's gonna come here? But I bought so the quail eggs I bought pre-COVID time when they were cheap as hell, and you get like a 24 pack, and it's half the size of a dozen chicken hen eggs, right? Because you know, they're so small. It's so, not like I bought them, the little speckled things that they are, just to make tiny little sunny side up eggs, because it was out of whimsy that I did it. They were so cheap, it was pre-COVID. So like, yeah, I cracked like like, you know, like eight of them in a pan, and it looked like I don't know. The Smurfs had been making breakfast or something. It was hilarious. <laughs> now I would never waste money on something like that. You have any idea how much those quail eggs are going for? I think people figured um, it out, right? Yeah, way too, way too much. It's like I could crack open a whole, you know, double dozen of those things. It'd be the same price as two hen's eggs. Let me just get a, you know, yeah, not anymore. The price is jacked accordingly. Sad. Uh, before we move on to other things, I do... I'm just so happy with this donation about how I can never be late that I'm just going to run it as a test. Here, enjoy. An otter is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> it turned out so damn well. It's... <laughs> it really did. <laughs> What do you mean I'm late? I can't be. Did you see the hat? I just... <laughs> and the pipe! Yeah! The church worn pipe and the adorable little walking stick that also shoots bolts of lightning, because, you know, wizard. But yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Fuck. <laughs> I haven't it. seen that one in a while. It's just... <laughs> oh. All right, so yeah, chat. We can go on to uh, any of the number of the things that we do here at uh, Noir Bar. We can talk about some regular happenings and stories and whatnot. We can explore a uh, odd house that somebody wants to sell and for some reason think people want to buy. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a number of lists of things. Hold on. Scotland. There. OBS disconnect. OBS disconnected chat. Sorry about that. No idea why. Uh, it keeps doing that. Never update anything. Ever. I, I, I'd i be running OBS 25 if I yeah. could. I updated 27.1. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. I never update. And stick with that. This is 
WS 27.1.2, I think I updated to. I had to reset everything, I'm redo everything, and uh, yeah, it just. Yeah, I'm still on OBS 25. I'm still on 25. Good, stay there. I I don't up. It's well, it's because like every time you give me an, like an update option, I'm usually going to go like, yeah, I don't want to update. Fuck you. This. Cynic this gave us a mini how... F. Yeah, that's what it called for. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, this is how I ended up with like uh, my last laptop, right? For the entire time I had it, and I was using it like five years or something like that. Um, every time it gave me an update, like, hey, you want to update? I just hit, yeah, remind me tomorrow. Mm. Five years, five years. I did that. I don't <laughs> think I updated it. <laughs> like at all. It was great. And just for something <laughs> to look at. Ryan Walters. <laughs> Ooh, Weebo legs. Fuck yes. Uh, Akira, thank you for the $3. I can't say shit about eggs. I spend $3.99 for 18 regular eggs. Just more proof that living in or near a city center is a bad idea. That's why having the bar where we do was not the best idea, but locations one and two are cheap. And now Far and I understand why we got them so cheap. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Well, she signed the lease. Imagine? I wasn't there to tell her otherwise but you know fuck here we are what the location too well i mean they're only a few blocks from each other and they're both on the shadiest district of noir city and now we know why it's as shady as it is no street lights rampant crime you know fucking nori bar bowery toughs the list goes on i uh neelix is cooking thank you for the three dollars a kiss is just a kiss a sigh is just a sigh but my makeup is ridiculous and my cheese nearly destroyed voyager Okay, look, there's inside baseball, and then there's the cork that is inside the inside baseball, and you just reached it, sir. <laughs> yes, there was an episode yeah. of Voyager where Neelix tried making cheese, and it, the bacteria for the cheese got loose and infected the biogel packs that run the ship's computer system the bioneural circuitry and it nearly destroyed the entire ship and nearly killed them all because this fucking idiot decided to make cheese oh my god and this is a show that i have to defend that's what i hate there's star trek episodes that are so bad that when people <laughs> describe them it's like what really happened and i have to say and they're like and you like this i'm like it's one out of like over 700 episodes across multiple series why is it <sighs> yeah <laughs> Surely there's episodes of Doctor Who that fall beneath the gold standard, Sam. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Every, every, everything. Yes. Like fucking Jodie, Whitt Jodie Whittaker, is that her name? Everything, I every episode she was in. <laughs> That's the new Doctor? Because I don't fucking know. I, I stopped. The I stopped doctor. a while. I stopped a while ago. I. Was it still black and white when you stopped? No, but I have seen some of those episodes. Mm, okay. I actually have some of those on DVD. <clears throat> shockingly. Just as an aside, while while this is still on screen and before we move on to something else, speaking of like bars and bar food, could you imagine a pickled emu egg? Oh my god, that'd be like half a gallon of vinegar. I right? just that you'd be ingesting <laughs> with that egg. All right, have a good night, Sinatra. Uh, or wait I a minute, is he? Think good night so to is he Akira? actually going tonight? No, I don't understand if he's he saying is, like yeah. goodnight to uh, Akira or goodnight to everyone because he's leaving. Man, stop having it's weird conversations chat. I can't follow. I... <laughs> God sakes. Uh, does Nori Bar still sell ramen? I don't know. The last time I went in there, I got ushered out rather unceremoniously by some rather large Japanese metal uh, gentleman, which sounds like bullshit, well, but well, they do grow well, over you five were feet. Screaming at them. You were screaming at them. So, not you, really shocked. You stick an Army 45 in one guy's face, and all of a sudden, everybody wants you to leave. I I, I may have hurled a racial epithet or two. You? I just, you know. <laughs> to be fair, Polly, as an otter, you're probably kind of lucky they didn't mistake you for a cat. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or a dog. I kept calling them yellow, red Nazi sellouts. They didn't like it. <laughs> Orange Nazi or <laughs> You orange Nazi stooches. 
<laughs> yeah, so anyway, they kicked him out. Um. So obviously he couldn't look at the menu that deeply. Uh. This is going in my food porn folder, by the way, people. It's just... Imagine oh, the yeah, nice, nice crust one. you'd be able to get on the outside of a scotch egg that big without <sighs> fear of overdoing the egg inside because it's just so fucking big. I... <sighs> Haven't so had breakfast yet, you sold probably. this? Stop it. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you think for? if you sold this at the Noir bar that this would compete with Nori? It might, especially if we sold like vinegar eggs. Or vinegar eggs. If we sold pickled eggs in a giant brine jar, we'd be able to get like two of them in there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like one per <laughs> jar. <laughs> Who would be generous? Uh, actually, speaking of uh, uh, eggs and jars. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Like this. Uh. There it is. The most useless bullshit. What are you talking about? This thing is in fucking genius. Chat, it's I give you the useless. egg cuber. <laughs> <laughs> well, I stand by it. Like, why would you want a cubed egg? It, what purpose does why this would serve? You not want the yeah, yeah, far. Egg. I want this. What do you mean, why? You get a cube egg when you're done. I, of course, I want it. What? <laughs> No. You know how big no. they are? You ever look at a baby and you're like, Fuck yeah, not anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't seen that one in a while. Thank you, Surfer21, for the seven dollars. A question for last week I went to Chicago to see Kimbra in concert. Since she was born close by to your part of the world, are you a fan? Thank you and have a good day. I have no idea who the fuck Kimbra is. I don't I don't know who you're talking about. So uh, uh No. He was on no. the uh song with uh what is it is it Gautier? Gautier, whatever or, um uh, somebody that I used to know. Oh yeah, I no, I again. No, I, I don't know. Like, I, I know who you're talking about with that, but that's, like, the extent of my knowledge of whoever the hell that is, so no. No, I'm still not a fan. I don't really know one way or another. And it, you know, I I try mine in my own. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Zelthor asked what a scotch egg is. I actually ah. tell you real quick, Zelthor. So, you know, obviously, hard-boiled egg, right, in the center. Uh, on the outside is a combination of, uh, Sam, help me along here. It's sausage meat combined with breadcrumbs, yeah. right? Very seasoned sausage meat combined with uh, breadcrumbs. And then pan fried or broiled and baked, right? Uh, you can pan fry. Uh, there, there's a couple of different ways of going about doing it. The original is just, uh, it's it's uh, breadcrumb, then egg, then breadcrumb, then egg, then breadcrumb again. So you've got like three good layers. Okay. Then And then, yeah, pan fried. Uh, you can also do them with like uh, so-called chip shop batter, which is uh, like a battered sausage uh, kind of batter around the outside, and that's deep fried. Yeah. So like, if you like breakfast sausages, it's a combination. Oh, it, yeah. It is like the carryable single item that is breakfast in a ball. I, I don't know. That doesn't make it sound good, but it just, like I said, delicious sausage meat surrounding a hard-boiled egg. It is fantastic. It's like all the protein a growing boy needs. Uh, Invented in 1851. And, and in London. there's nothing to stop you from having cubular scotch eggs. <gasps> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the thing. <laughs> all right. I I still don't see the point, but all right. You are the one who came to me all impressed with Japanese square or cube uh, watermelons. I didn't? You did. Did I? You did. I don't know. I, I, I remember that. Yeah. I guess I found that more funny because it's a plant. And you're growing. This is just like, it's so much effort. It's so much more effort. But, but think about it. It's three times as much egg in the same space because it's cubed. See? It's efficient. You get... Just, Fuck off. Get more egg per egg per egg. You know what you could do? Fuck right off with that, Sam. You could make, like, <laughs> like an expanding Borg scotch egg. Okay, so you create a cube of cubed eggs that have layers of the sausage in between them. Think about it. How efficient you could get with it. <laughs> What's up, baby? You haven't touched your, your cube eggery. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't touched your scotch egg tower. 
What? what what's what's the? <laughs> <laughs> it's the building block of our culinary arts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, far she's full of all sorts of uh, uh, opinions on things she likes and doesn't like. But what 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 is what did she send me immediately before that? This this is what far sent me. <laughs> because I wanted to disturb <laughs> you. <laughs> If I had to see it, you had to see it. Oh uh, yeah, she don't like the the cube eggs, but this, oh yeah, this should be sent to all her friends. Because I, yeah, because if I had to see it, you had to see it. I, it's terrible. I shared the pain. You sure as fuck did. I. And continuing on with the story that Far and I first talked about, I don't even know how, three plus years ago at this point. Uh, oh my God, the Garfield but, phone yeah. mystery has been solved. I. In, yeah, 2019. But, but yeah. But now they actually found the packing crate. Yeah. I, 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 well, this is good. What is going on here? I. I don't know. I, I Super Saiyan Trump. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That's what I. That's, just, that's what I'm saying. Wow, that did, worked out well in a horrifying way. Is this? Oh my God. I, I just saw. I just saw that picture <laughs> off to the side, and I'm like, I can't not look at that. What the fuck? I'm just big. Way more going, interesting. Garfield. Ah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Okay, let's get rid of it. Let's cleanse it with fire. Oh All right. Yes. Jesus. I do. <laughs> Holy shit. Control all Dell at that. Okay, so we uh, were going to. So, what, nobody actually said anything from what I noticed. And, uh, yes. No, it's saying, fuck Ladies off. Ladies' choice, then, right? Y yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladies' choice. Right. So, what would you like to do? Oh. For a, a list, a house, uh, articles? What, what, what's your pleasure? I, I mean, I always have fun with the houses. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it may not sound like I have fun with them, but I do. We, we oh. love the heist around these parts. Now, I have been looking, as y'all know, for a, a marital home for Platy and Fart. Oh, God. And I haven't given up Number my one. search. Now, last week, we we, 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 we did a home uh, uh, that was a prison. Let's do one that is yeah, straight that up was wild. a fucking prison. Like another one Wait, what yeah this one i'm just telling you from it's the beginning another is, one? is a fucking prison yes it is in uh uh vermont is uh, it also detroit oh okay yeah. it's it's not detroit and it's kind of a giveaway that it's on courthouse drive I... <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh it was estimated to it was gonna sell at two hundred one thousand dollars and ended up closing at 150 grand um oh my god so we we I wonder we, you got so much crime in the country. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm not showing like. the screen. I'm sorry, chat. There we go. Whoops. There we go. So yeah, this is all we were looking at up until then. Uh, it is on uh, Courthouse Drive in Vermont. Uh, their Zestimate was 201 and sold for 150. So let's take a look at the uh, former courthouse or uh, excuse me, prison. Yeah, I. Oh my God. I I I want to see if they have like the same things going on. Nearly impossible. Far. You know what I mean? I mean? But yeah, I mean, but if you think about that house, remember like the little Elvis stage and everything. No, no, no. I, mean, I don't mean, I don't mean the Elvis stage. Cause yeah, that's kind of a um, that's a unique factor of that house. I mean, just the layout. Yeah. You know, like how it had the weird like vestibule. Oh yeah, the the, 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 the the portico, the walk shutter along that was like and... right up next to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're yeah, good. like shit like that. That's what I mean. I like, haven't actually. It doesn't have the same yet. features. I just uh, I, I try my best to find ones that are interesting, but not go through all the pictures because spoilage, you know that kind of thing, right? I want to see yeah. it at the same time. So let's let's uh, find out. Oh, um, I do like doing things of finding out what the fuck year it was built. What is going on? Start, okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. What year was this built? Yeah, I I like to know those things. Overview, historic home built in 1880. Jesus. Ooh, wow. Wait, so let me get this straight, right? Like, so this was already a house before it was a prison, but if you... Well, okay, um, 
Okay. Like, Built that's what I'm assuming in, uh, here, right? Guildhall, Vermont. You're welcome to this four-bedroom home. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Those that two actually works. Could not have come that in. That actually more... kind of works. <laughs> it couldn't have been more perfect. Holy shit. They harmonized. They, they yeah. synced oh up. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, Sam's with its like peaking gain overload kind of overpowered the whole thing. <laughs> It's a fifty percent. It's yeah. It's it, it's quite. Oh, Sam, your shit is looping. But maybe that's where I'm setting it. Oh no. It is too. It's looping for me. You kill it. Is it? it? It's not looping for me. It is for the stream though, which is unfortunate. Is it? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, go ahead and remove. Oh. The no. Stop it. Stop yeah, it. okay, I hear it. God damn yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's a similar thing that happens with the Platy's OBS. Sometimes she gets your donations coming through, which is just oh. like on the switch. Because that's how she uses it to hear through the computer. Yeah. Right? Right, great. And I, yeah, I, she just hears your, your donations go off on a fucking loop. I've already deleted Sam, so why is it continuing to loop? Weird. Yeah. Don't worry, the stream hasn't gone down. I'm just going to other scenes. Sam has to be in another scene. And that's yeah, why it's Yeah, okay. Uh, we're just going to jump in the time machine and hop over to... AAA. And there, there's the culprit hiding right there. Hey! You're going away. Goodbye. All right, and we're jumping back into the time machine. I'm going back over to location, too. <laughs> I, like how, I like how drunk was just defaulted to limes no 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 he's not defaulted to limes people have to choose for him to and they're not limes no no it's just they're on bergamot. the scene that's just i mean okay he's just defaulted to bergamot <laughs> as you switch over the phantom of noir bar exactly uh, sam if you could uh resend me your streamlabs url link please and then i can re-add you sure can yeah. i'm just dropping this sand down even further that's fine uh okay so in the meantime uh before we re-add sam chat. i'm sorry sorry about that chat yeah, it, it, i mean it's not your fault it's, it's, just it's when we're doing OBS. uh cocktail hour and we was uh, thank you for your generosity thank you for your generosity over and over yeah. and over again and she can't hear it but yeah. i can because i've got weebo in multiple yeah, scenes thank you for your patronage patronage thank you that's right the yeah thank you for your patronage Oof. It's wherever you've got more than one. You have the same person's donations in multiple scenes, but it's not for every person. Oh. It's just, it's a bug. I don't know why, because it doesn't do it with everybody. Okay. Like, sins okay. are in multiple scenes. Uh, fars are in multiple scenes. Mine are, but they, it only loops some people some of the time. OBS is the unreliable. Sorry about that. Anyway. Historic yeah. home built in 1880 in uh, Village Green in the quaint town of Guildhall, Vermont. You're welcomed into this four-bedroom home that is covered... With a covered front portico overlooking the village green and the uptown kitchen electric stove, blah, 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 ample covered space, entryway, large windows to finish off. Yeah, see, I just wanted to see if it said what you were suggesting, far that it was originally a home and then changed into a prison. And then yeah, it's back. just, if it's, what, so what was it, like 1890, 1880? 80. Like around 80, yeah. So it's just, it doesn't seem like a thing that would be built in 1880, you know? Oh, here we go. Like a little prison thing. Many recent renovations to the house over the years have included radiant floor heat in most of the first level, insulation, some replacement windows, chimney, newer heating system, and the dormer has been repaired over the jail. This home is situated over nearly an acre of land, offering a large private backyard for gardening, a detached barn for plenty of additional storage and meth, host, uh, uh, meth creation. The main house served as the mm -hmm. jailer's residence and attached to the north wall of the house is the former Essex County Jail, discontinued in 1969. The jail still exhibits the prison cells and barred windows and the jailer's office. Bring your own ideas to what to do. You could turn this into your BDSM fantasy home. Okay, got it. Uh, okay, really specific. <laughs> so maybe it was built for that? It's, maybe it's, it was built, built like as that. The I don't know. As the jailer's residence, it's. I mean, if. Well, I mean, if it's like, yeah, all right, all right, weird. Yeah. The gallows were converted to a swing set. Jesus Christ, Ryan Walters. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is that really your Streamlab link, Sam? The alert box link? 
Yeah, it says Holy yeah, it's shit, that's one hell of a URL, man. Okay. It's, long, isn't it? <laughs> it's also Gethy. No, I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's that long. Now, if you want long. to drive Polly, now if you want to drive Polly crazy yet again, donate to Sam. No. <laughs> right. It ran loop again. Oh god, oh, I yeah. hope not. But it, it shouldn't when it's only in one uh, scene, not multiples. I don't even understand why that would make. Uh, sorry about that, Sean. I don't know, now, if you want to make it a uh, loop for for mine, you can try it and donate to me. Let's see if you can get it. Yeah, because loop out ready two, spaghetti. I got two play at the same time. I got one uh, one for me and, and one for one for Polly, and and Polly's one played twice, but mine only played the once. I don't know. Huh. All right, there. Okay. We're back to normal. Good. Sam's donation should come up as per normal. Everything should be fine. Uh, two seconds. Let me actually turn those back on because I disabled them while we were dancing. Fair enough. Okay, let's look at the home. There it is. Jailer's house. <laughs> Boom. All right. Yeah, that is uh, certainly a house. It still looks like one. Yep. There's where they make the math. See? I knew it. Oh, I see, I see. Seriously, when you look at it from the front and you look from the side, this, does this look like it's situated on an acre? When they say the backyard, they really must mean this forest behind it because the other homes yeah. around it seem kind of close. It, it has to be the forest. Or maybe it's behind the barn? Do you think this is a barn? I thought this was somebody else's house. I, well, they said there was a barn, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, they did. They said there was a barn for, like, extra storage. I'm drinking. I don't know. Um, yeah, um, ample covered counter space, much covered portico. Uh, Meanwhile, there's somebody out in chat yelling at the screen. Yeah, there was a fucking barn, you drunk fuck. Uh, Polly's looking for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. Yeah, okay. large. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Thank you for the ten dollars. He says, okay, so you make a cube egg, then you quarter that cube, then you quarter those quarters, and what are you left with? Ants. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here it is. Um, and a detached barn with plenty of additional storage. Yeah, I think that's the barn. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, act. God damn it! Stop doing that, Zillow. You shitty. Okay. So look, this is actually pretty cool. It is on a full acre, and there's your meth barn right there. Or or, <laughs> rimfire shooting range. No, you want to make that the underground bunker. Good. Yeah, well, this is in Vermont. It's not like the police are going to come steal all your guns that you legally own because you didn't get a permit for the fucking hole in the ground. I'm not all mad. Right. All right. Um, I'm furious. Oh, my God. Okay. You put the nursery for the children in the, in the barn. I'm Polly. still mad about that. Oh, they can go in, in there week. and play, and you can be elsewhere. <laughs> this is the house. Is your alibi? This is the place for the mother-in-law. See, look, Fart, like I said, this could be your marital home. So, you know, you and Platy live here, and you can come and visit me here in the main house whenever you want. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why are you getting the main house? <laughs> Fuck, man. Wait, wait, wait. Something's gone backwards here. This is the way it's supposed yeah, to Yeah, something, <laughs> something is wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so there it is down the street. This actually is a beautiful area of Vermont. Look at that. All jokes aside. Fucking hell, huh? It is ro rolling hills, guess. big wide skies. Right, this is what freedom looks like. You were just here. What does it feel like to return to a police state? I, well, I haven't run into any police, so it's fine. <laughs> Dig a hole in your fucking ground. You'll run into them. <laughs> They're just lying in the ground. <laughs> what do you think I do with my free time? Jesus. You got a license for that hole? No, why would I need one? Well, we're changing a whole bunch of laws. I just can't even. I mean, that happened in Western Australia. My fucking God. I oh, even, I know. I even dropped a poly word over it, which I meant to edit out. And I totally forgot to now that I think about it. Moving along. Um, <laughs> oh, sweet. Look, it's a true backyard. I could. I, I just. Oh, man. This Told you really it was probably nice behind grounds. the barn. Yeah. Like Sam, like I, I'd be, you know, imagine the fun you could have back. You could have a rimfire range back there, a treehouse. This is, uh, I'm a child at Thanks. heart. This is awesome. Uh, you know, <gasps> Bar could sit in the barn and knit and complain. Stitching bitches, we call it. <laughs> Fuck 
fuck you too. Oh my do. god. <laughs> you never heard that phrase far knitting stitch stitching bitch? Probably from you, like maybe years back, but oh my god. What the fuck? A friend of mine got <laughs> bought me a pattern guide and it was stitching bitch three. Like there's like seven, eight volumes of it. It's just patterns, knitting patterns, but it, the series is called Stitching Bitch. Speaking of knitting, though, when's the last time you knitted something, Father? Father? <sighs> you know, it, it has been a while. I will openly admit that. And people are like, move on with the house! No, just hold on. She asked a question. Um, I'm, I, I've got all these... Okay, I, I reinvigorated my uh, miniature painting because I hadn't done that for a hot minute. So I went to my hobby shop and I bought some new paints that I've been left out on, including uh, the Valley Joe natural wood grain paint, which I'm excited to use. Um, and, uh, 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 36 new minis. I've ignored the Panzer of the Lakes wisdom. Paint all the minis you have before <laughs> you buy new ones. I ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and bought a new set. It's a, a 36 minis of, uh, Colonial Infantrymen and, um, Militiamen. The fools, the fools had it on 50% off. I couldn't not. It was so fucking cheap. Because we're not talking Warhammer Games Workshop expensive. We're talking Warlord Games and it's it, so hell, man. Thirty six minis for fucking get this sixteen dollars. Yeah, I was all over that. Yeah, okay, um, that is a bargain. Okay, so I I bought that and uh, and just reshook my paints up and put my brushes through conditioner and and whatnot to sort of like get back into the thing. And then on top of that, games because you know went and got my GOG account and uh, my STEM account and my controller, as like I told you earlier on, arrived today. Uh, the controller I bought with, uh, whatchamacallit, um, somebody gave me an Amazon gift card for Christmas, and it had been sitting on there ever since, and I didn't want to waste it on something stupid, so eventually this came along, and everybody had been <clears throat> generous to buy me games, and I'm like, well, I have to buy the controller now. You know what I mean? So, I've, I've, had, I've got like three, four hobbies up in the air that I'm juggling right now far, so uh, how long has it been since I've knitted? A while. Been a while. Yeah, we we should have set up a knitting club. Yeah, that could have could have kept it going. A knitting club. Well, do, do, yeah. you, do you know what you do with it during a knitting club? You get together, you knit, and complain. Stitching bitch. Stitching bitch. See. <laughs> and I'll tell you something about my woman. She's always you know disrespecting me and whatnot. Like that's what you do. You know, it's just. But you know, as as, as as a man, you'll be complaining about not being able to find <laughs> the proper. Oh, twenty one. Holy shit! What's up, my knitter? <laughs> I feel like the past tense of knit should be nat. Oh my god. Cynic's like What's three up, or four hobbies. Up? Lol, weak. Those are three or four hobbies I'm currently doing right now. I got like Yeah, like there's more. There's there's always more. I, there's always more. I have never there's always so much more. ever had time uh, trouble filling my time, believe me. It's it's not a problem. The uh, what was I saying? Wait till you hear about it's beating. Well, yeah, there's beating. That's that's the yeah. Well... See, I could just go, I I, I won't though, because we're looking at he could house, go on, but... on. Yeah, I've never had trouble filling my free time, it's never been a problem. The only problem is too many fucking hobbies, and then they end up languishing behind. That's why I sincerely respect Quiz's ability to uh, inquisitor, I mean, for chat, uh, for yeah. a friend of all of ours. He paints and he does Warhammer 40k. It's not like he falls off. The guy's been doing it for years, and he keeps yes. at it. Yeah, he just keeps going. Yeah. He, he just keeps going. He paints friends' armies. He paints new armies. Oh, I'm into orcs now, so he buys a whole bunch of orcs. He sets it up. He uses the money he makes from other fucking paint jobs to buy new minis to paint for himself. I just, I wish I had that kind of work ethic, man. Fuck. Yeah. I, it's, it's something And he's else. good at it, too. That's yeah, he, the wild part. Like, he's seriously. really fucking good at it. Yeah, he's the guy who, well, first of all, he's the guy who got me into it, more or less, and taught me, like, half of everything I know. The other half being from, like, YouTube tutorials Videos. and shit. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely. But, it, see, if it would be all the more dangerous if I had this backyard, because, Sam, I really would build a treehouse back there. Absolutely. Oh, God. I would. I'd be and running like around there dad, like a woodsman. You would finish it. Oh, you know, you, could, you know what you totally could do as well? For for in the summertime, you could get you could you could do engage in some micro landscaping and build like battlefields for your minis. Absolutely, I, I'd be making I, that done. I'd crack Amazing. out all of my uh, uh, Boy Scout 
techniques that I learned that I got the merit badges for? Merit badges for? It's like, yeah, I know how to make a lean to. So I'm going to go back there with my hatchet and make a lean to. Why? Because I can. You know, it's... <laughs> It'd be fantastic. I'd you know, set up all kinds of like fucking traps. There'd be a tunnel from the main house that would go under the ground to a fake little uh, well right back around here. So in case I ever needed to get out, I could just hop out and be off into the forest. <laughs> a little tree stump with a trap door top. Yes! You'd be just like the gummy bears. I'm just imagining this little otter, <laughs> right, just going down into his secret little basement and just running from the cops through this secret tunnel. They'll never catch me tunnel. alive! <laughs> Secret tunnel! <laughs> and there, there's ammunition, survival gear, and firearms strewn throughout the tunnel for me to grab on my way out through the uh, little tree stump exit. Of course. It's not strewn, it's magnetized to the wall so you can grab it as you go. <laughs> <laughs> I need this, this, this. All right, I'm out! It, it's like, where did he go? I don't know, Bob. It's like, while they're knocking on the back door, I'm like, running off into the forest you know it's fuck you guys okay moving along <laughs> oh, knit a trojan horse for the minis to hide in oh god <laughs> oh god I, maybe a trojan squid or i i would feel far better doing that than a horse oh my god do you know the insane do you know how insane that would be to knit a fucking horse like a whole one yeah like not even an anatomically correct horse just like a thing in the shape of a horse. No one wants to knit a horse dick. Why'd you put it that way? No, I mean... I didn't even mean the horse cock part of it. I, I meant just, like, the, the legs and everything. Just no. Like horse cock. It's been a minute. It has. Yeah. Fuck. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, the, do you have any idea, though, how just much of a nightmare that would be? You know, Far, I'm trying to picture what you're saying, but all I can think about is that woman that knitted the 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 oh, the kid. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> yeah, the, the wool boy. The <laughs> oh, yeah, we actually, yeah, and the kid was actually inside. It was yeah. just like a wool skin. And we found out later on that it was he was in there. Yeah, he was in the wool suit. It was frightening. <laughs> like, chat, you think what the fuck are these two people on about? No, that happened. Everything we just described. A lady knit a, a fucking wool kid. It turned out to be just a suit for him to put on. And then after he left, she hugged it. <laughs> like, she, he went off to, like, college or whatever. And she's like, now he's mine forever. It was... It was like, weird. A little bit. Filthy but Frank's impressive. Grandma. No, no, but impressive. Because this woman, like, she had, like, a whole knitting thing online. Like, a whole knitting thing that you could buy. You could buy her knitting stuff. And all of it was, like, impressive as fuck. Like, oh my god, this woman. Look! Yeah, there we go. Like, Behold. it's impressive to look at. I, I like... That is terrifying. I am impressed on, like, just a technical level, but at the same time, it's like, Jesus Christ, woman. Dude, oh, god. Th there's a kid in there. Yeah, there's a kid in there. It's not like it's, um, like that one Sally doll where it's just, like, actual human bones inside, which, yeah, that's also a real thing, um... I wish it wasn't. Need you to it's make it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that one. It, it, it's like there's a, the actual kid is inside. I'm sorry, I got caught up with the uh, push pop gummy poppets. Cool. Pop it. but anyway, enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't believe you. What? Where should they? What's he saying? says that it's wrong for one man to own all this. He says you should share it with all the people. Yeah. <laughs> this is America. We don't share land here. I, I really should have left the whole cut in because it's, it's John Dutton being Dutton, right? They don't he goes, believe you. you see that mountain there? See that mountain there? Everything in between them is mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you. I think you got the. I think you managed to condense it well. <laughs> but I mean, the idea of naming two. Like, you see that big thing over there? That thing over there? Yeah. Get on my land. I, I love me some hey, costumes. Get off my land. Uh, oh shit! I'm sorry. From 20 minutes ago. Excuse me. Uh, uh, Janeway's house of pain. Thank you for the three dollars. If Far is oh. back in Australia, she needs to move into the Sydney Opera House and make it an anime house. I. I. 
you know, I live on the opposite side of the country to Sydney. Yeah, <laughs> like she's Sydney literally on the other right? side. Like, I'm yeah. nowhere near it. I'm, just, like, I'm picturing, like, carrier <laughs> ships coming into, like, Sydney Harbour and all that kind of thing. And all the captain can hear is, like, this resonating, you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, it's like, it's not like the, the fucking, like, horn on a ship. It's just like... <laughs> See, I have been a long-time supporter of an independent Western Australia. A, a long-time supporter of it. But that video mm -hmm. that we watched mm -hmm. last week where they raided that man's home because he had put the shooting range under the ground. Not because the guns were illegal, but because he hadn't applied for a license to construct a hole in the ground. And therefore seized all of his guns and made a bunch of fucking laws to make the guns he owned illegal. When they never were before. Yeah, it, yeah. like I am that now, sounds about right. Like they get weird about. Like, I, I am now a really larger supporter of an independent arm. Western Australia, because all of the people that are in governance there need to be yeeted. I that just yeah, I don't think that's gonna change. Like that's one of those things where like, I don't think that in particular would change if we actually gained independence, just because it's not part of what that would have been. It's not just the government going in and being like. You got a license for that underground bunker. It's also because of um, the councils around, right? Where you actually have to go and apply to the council, like the local council, to make a change on your home. Which is why you see a lot of the time people just making illegal changes to their houses. Because it's so fucking annoying to have to go to your local council every time you want to make a modification on your home. Yeah, Shadow Claw is absolutely right. Moving goalposts in Super 21. Yeah, Quigley would set that, set that shit right. And I'll tell you something, Far. Okay, you're right. Just independence on its own wouldn't do it. But if I let it, it would. Because we would change that council shit and we would reclaim Christmas Island. It's yours. You own it. Good hell. <laughs> and right is right. <laughs> you don't think get Western Australian TV programs there, right? They are actually within range for that, apparently. <laughs> that reminds me. Of, okay, I'll tell you after. Akira, thank you very much for the $40. Greatly appreciated. Very, very generous. Um, I can sew any kind of hide. I grow my own veg and fruit. I repair my clothing. And I still have time to build my own arm. Okay, I'm being judged. This is obvious what's happening here. Um, and I, I still I have... He, I think he's trying to enter a dick measuring contest. And winning. I still have time to build my own armies and work a 60 hour per week job. Your mind can handle amazing things. Hmm. It's, it, it's not so much dick measuring as I... Here's what I do. Why can't you? Hinted at it. You know what I mean? Like, I just... <laughs> yeah, so dick measuring. Yeah, I mean, I... I mean, I guess if I were to put it that way, it's like, okay, I do research contract. That's actually my day job. And then I'm in a doctoral program and I work at a gun store and then I do the online stuff and then a bunch of gang of hobbies. But yeah, shit slips through the cracks. It apparently sounds like you're better at time management than I, unfortunately. But that is, if I build my yeah, own Well, armies. you have ADHD. What are you going to do? Yeah, but you claim that we do. I know that you do. It's it. It's you keep saying I do. Come on. What? Come on. What? Far, we both know it. Far thinks I have ADHD and I... That's her affair. Oh, a squirrel. Sam, yeah. don't encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, you literally have... How many hobbies do you have again? I don't know. I lost count. Holly, you don't understand. She's just trying to find a friend. <laughs> That's literally an ADHD thing. You have so many fucking hobbies. But do you have sex with anything except your head? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, the temptation to drop a your mama joke. Yeah, so strong. right? Oh, it was oh. so strong. That's Ryan Walters. I love you, I'm Ryan. Not gonna, I wouldn't do that to you. I was going to lean into it. I'm like, who said that? I'm like, oh, it's Ryan Walters. Yeah, you, yeah you're, you're, you're my knitter, Ryan. We would never do that to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really love that. It's just, it's so dumb. Yeah, and then plus shooting, and I'm at the range twice a week, once a week regularly because uh, cost ammunition, and then reloading. I have a loadatorium set up for all my reloading purposes and so on. So I mean, but that's not a hobby. That's just engaging with freedom. No, that's a hobby. No, no, it's not though. Uh, it's a hobby. Well, it's when, a hobby. Once you move here, you'll understand. It's engaging with freedom. No, it's a hobby. No. 
We have a knitted child on screen. I mean, come on. (laughs) 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 Fucking hell. (laughs) Let's let's leave the knitted child back wherever it came from. No, 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 no. Let's look at more of this woman's stuff. No. It's delightful. No, it's really Seriously, I do actually have some respect for that woman. Just because if if you ever find her website where she actually sells stuff, and it's, it's like a group effort, apparently. But, like, these people are so fucking talented. It's like, oh, my God. I feel... I feel so inferior. You know one just thing that looking I... looking at this shit. You know one like, thing I will say is fuck. impressive. It's like, you know... Uh, 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 good. <laughs> no. No. There really isn't better than that. <laughs> because... We can't buy these Christopher Walken through the mail anymore like you could at that time. Christopher Walken with a Tommy gun just rocks. Am I right? I just... Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Pete, thank you for the $11. You say freedom? Well, here. To say far, we are off to Western Australia. Otters ho! See, that's what I'm saying. If I, I would reestablish... Firearm culture in Western Australia. You guys have a strong outback and 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 frontier tradition there. I okay. I don't. I don't ever do this, right? But if there's one thing I can request, right? I am actually requesting a fan fiction here. If anyone is up for it, a fan fiction of Otter Marines fighting for Western Australian independence. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you have to po- Polly going down to fucking Western Australia and launching an independency movement from Christmas no, Island. No, no, you, you're just... included in that. You're a leader of the Otter Marines. <laughs> Polly, now, the leader of the Otter Marines, comes to Western Australia to launch Western Australia independence now. He meets, like, the secret underground group led by a weird woman that likes juice boxes too much. The Fishbone Society. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to the Ottoman Empire. Morning, Petrosaurus. And uh, I... Pop-Tart shows up, and uh, what does she say after I haven't seen her in a good long time? It's ploy. You do have ADHD. I thought you knew. Well, shit. I do... Neither of you are doctors. You can't say that. No, but... No, but you have all the science, Polly. Just because when we were talking earlier and I was in mid-sentence and got distracted when a rabbit hopped by doesn't mean I have ADHD far. I remember that actually happened. Like I know. <laughs> That's the funny part. Like, that is actually a thing that happened. He's like talking to me about something and he's like, oh look, a bunny. <laughs> it hopped right by my car. When I was in the parking lot. I didn't expect to see a I rabbit on I mean, That's the thing, I'd be doing the exact same thing. But Polly, I have ADHD. <laughs> Think about that one for a second. <laughs> if I do the exact same thing in the middle of a conversation like okay, that. But- I'll hold, I'll hold the phone. Fr- Frank Cap in chat has made an absolutely excellent joke, and I have to read this one out. Sure. It says, Polly is Otter Style Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's say I Old request Dundee a fan fiction. Love it. Have you seen. Write it um... as seriously as you possibly can. Do it. Someone do it, please. It would make my year. <laughs> have you seen Quigley Down Under Far? No. Great movie. Is it? Absolute Tom Selleck as a, as a frontiersman goes like down to Australia. I mean, that's something I've never understood about Australia is the, ooh, people like, I mean, that's not ADHD. That'd grab any man's attention. <laughs> Weebo drops a negligee and legs are there to be seen. Weebo. All right. Oh. Now we test. We wait. Hold on. And What's that? Not and nothing. Silence. Perfect. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> how, how loud is that? <laughs> that good? That good? Or do I need to turn it down more? No, I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, hold on. It's not actually come through. Bloody history. <laughs> okay, Hakira, thank you for the ten dollars. He says the only thing that really matters is what you do with the time you're given. Far doesn't get this kind of thing due to her genitals. Far should watch peppermint. I. Okay. Sorry. What? What is peppermint? I don't know. What the fuck do you mean? Uh. Peppermint patty? I don't. I don't know. 
genuinely don't know. Hakira, we require clarification. <laughs> We're requesting clarification. Uh, in in the meantime, uh, hold on, let me just scroll back. I was doing something. Okay, uh, Quark's Hollow Suite janitor. Oh God, worst job in the sector. Thank you for the three dollars, Polly. <laughs> you need a Christopher Walken notification saying "fuck him too" from Heaven's Gate. Uh, you don't have to like the movie to know that scene rules. Now it's funny you say that, person who has the worst job in the sector. The I've seen Heaven's Gate. Um, so Michael Camino, for the short version, for those who don't know, uh, directed this movie, 1980, 81? Somewhere in there, early early 1980s, if not 1980 itself. Uh, Michael Camino, who uh, is a really, really good director and directed a fucking outstanding film that'll really stick with you in some overly dramatic, if not nightmarish ways, called uh, The Deer Hunter, starring Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, uh, uh, Dezunga there, um, the guy who played Fredo from Godfather, I can't remember the actor's name right now. It's an incredibly intense movie about... Uh, uh, the Vietnam War and uh, PTSD afterwards, it, wildly dramatic, really, really good. And because that film did so well, uh, especially at the awards and had such great public reception as high drama, and this was the 1970s, the era of the filmmaker um, storyteller, where they controlled everything, no studio interference, right? They're not getting notes from the executives telling them what to do. This is where Robert Altman came up and George Lucas and fucking uh, Francis Ford Coppola, you know, uh, it was Martin Scorsese, for God's sake, man, you know, directors with vision and that control over the project. Authoritarians. They were full <laughs> art tours, absolutely. And given free reign to be art tours, like, you know, dire a director's director. Michael Camino, unfortunately, was one of those men, and he decided to direct this film called Heaven's Gate with uh, Chris Christopherson starring. Christopher Walken was also in it, a whole bunch of other people. Uh, he bankrupted the studio, literally. They went out of business after he made that film. Because he spent so much money, it took so long to make it. Uh, William Hurt was able to leave that film in the middle of production and go film another film and come back, and they still hadn't gotten on to the next scene they required him for. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> he f yeah, I'm beginning to see where they might have ended this kind of era. Yeah, I could feel like <laughs> Camino, uh, uh, infamously, Chimino, Camino, I think I might be saying his name wrong. Anyway, the director. Uh, you know, El Camino there. He <laughs> he infamously, the story is so well known around Heaven's Gate, gets talked about. He, there's a scene where Chris Christopherson, the guy, the main guy, is coming to town. So it's a train pulling up to a train station. He had an entire small town of buildings, just the facades, the front of them, but an entire town constructed with the smoke coming out, the train pulling up, and hundreds of extras walking around. It's just an establishment shot to show the train pulling up to the town. He had this, like I said, the entire town built, hundreds of extra plates, and for four days, he sat there with cameras rolling until the clouds were right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> and it's that type of it's filmmaking that destroyed the studio. <laughs> Yeah, I fucking wonder why. Oh my god. John Hurt. Sorry, Serpent. Not William Hurt. Yeah, William Hurt was uh, Kevin Costner's imaginary friend in Mr. Brooks. Yeah, William. Uh, John Hurt. Thank you. Chim Chimino. Not Camino. Chimino. Thank you. Uh, Dick Hurts. <laughs> he, for those of you who don't know Chim John Chimino. Hurt, he's the guy who was the first chest popper burster victim in Alien. You know, the guy that's like eating breakfast and all of a sudden, oh my God, and he falls over and blah, that, that was him. That was John Hurt. <laughs> and if you ever need a man so white that he's indistinguishable from the background, hurt your man. Pal all right. Palest <laughs> actor working. So anyway, 1980 filmmaking storytelling aside, back to the house that's in jail. Yeah, let's get back to the thing we started originally before we went down that hole of madness. ADHD. Okay. What are you talking about? Moving on. Yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like that entire tangent it just really adds to my point. <laughs> you might think that it does. This is nice. It might oh, even you might even believe that it does, but you're wrong. Besides, who nah, wants a purple goat nah, on their right. counter? Well, blue, blue goat. I, I, 
I this apparently the people knife. that owned this. Yeah, I mean, I can ignore the goat, but yeah. I would, I would swap out the, uh, I would probably swap out the cupboard faces. For what? But, um, yeah. I'm not quite sure. Maybe uh. They don't match. Have you noticed they're that? Not, they're not. Yeah. They all. They yeah. don't all match. Like, look at how there's like, the one that's kind of uh, those two in the corner near the goat, and the one above the ovens. Uh, I think I'd, I'd, I'd probably they match, the, but the, the rest of them don't. That that sort of burgundyish, reddish kind of affair that's going around the uh, the, the kickboards and the uh, and the window there. I'd probably go for something like that. I, okay, you, you know what I, really stands out to me, and I'm not sure why it's so noticeable. The the, the purplish sash along the window it's painted on. Mm. You can see the irregularness of it. it it's just mm -hmm. it's just poorly yeah. poorly done. Eh? I don't know. I feel like the covered doors. I feel like the covered doors are way more noticeable. Well, what what I'm noticing more than anything about in terms of like the covered doors, if you look at them all back here, and then you look at the ones that are over the oven, they're not at all yeah, the same. It, it, no, that's what I mean. Like, and then you look at the ones in the corner there near the goat; they're the same as the ones above the ovens. Oh, you're yes, right, yeah, no, I yeah, absolutely see. The it. Rest yes, of them don't mm -hmm. match. Even the one that's above the, those two in the corner. Look at the one above it. That one doesn't even match with anything else in the kitchen. It's completely different. The cupboard doors yeah. just all... Uh, just they, it's like they only had a certain amount of doors, right? You know what they might For like have the majority done? of it. And then they went, and they were like, oh, we need more doors. And they just got the cheapest option possible, and they never fixed it. You know what they might have done? They might have moved into this place from another place and brought the kitchen with them. Oh, it happens like a lot in, in, in Italy and Spain. When you move out of a house, you will take like the kitchen units and such with you. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have beware. Just... If you're ever buying a house in Spain or, or, or Italy, the kitchen that you see it's, is not the kitchen. It's not going to come with the kitchen. Them. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to come with the kitchen, yeah. <laughs> BYO kitchen. I... <laughs> Yuck. I, I, except for the covered door situation... I mean, I really dig the wood floor. It, it's normally when I go over to people's like houses, uh, actually the kitchen in my house has the really thin, I, th I think the name is veneer, like really thin wood floor. They're not actually blocks of wood that make up the wood floor. It's just a layering over whatever the fuck is underneath there to make it appear as if it's a wood floor. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, it, it's, it's always like, like a bleach white, white oak. I like this. It's irregular. There's dark colors to it. it looks, oh, yeah. It, it looks nice. I would, like, this up on the cupboards, would that be, like, too much wood of the same kind? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it would. I think the one, like, the wood that's above the um the ovens there, I think that would work for all of it. It's just for some reason that it's only in two spots. The purple highlights would go. That's me. It just... You could yeah. probably just fix it. I think you could, if you fixed it, it would be fine. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I dig this kitchen. There's... and. Everybody wants an island in their kitchen. Yeah, islands are great. No, you but, don't. But, no, no, you, you don't. don't. Exactly. I think people, they like the idea of it, but the reality of it sucks because there's an island in my kitchen. And you know what? It, it reduces the kitchen to a one-person kitchen because once you're in there, you can't turn around without bumping into someone if someone else is there because yeah. the island takes up all the space. Yeah. Yeah. There is one, there, there is one excuse, no matter how small your kitchen is, to have an island is if it has a grill with a hood over it, then it's justified. Otherwise, no. Because in, yeah, if you just in, have like in, inside a, girls rock. an island in there and it's just a table, and it's just a table, that's kind of like really, come on, yeah, really. Mm. Oh, there is, yeah, there it is. I. It's interesting how when you just turn a camera slightly yeah, and step back, you it doesn't... and then you see it. Yeah, you see a lot more. It's weird. What is this metal thing? Can you guys see my cursor? It was in both pictures. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a I don't know, but the, the door up. there. But the door there matches the cupboard doors above the oven and the ones in the corner. Why? But your Why cupboards don't strip? match. Why? Well, the frames are around the window here, around the purplishness. Yeah, that's the same hmm. wood and style of beveling and yeah, whatnot. That's what's around that. Yeah. But then it's like, what's with these. Other yeah, what's with the did, cupboards? Did, did you go to Dollar Tree and get some cupboards? I don't understand right. why this... Yeah, that's what I mean. Because, like, the door, like, even the wood on the door, like, the door frame itself. Mm. Like, not the 
surrounding purple bit, like the actual wood of the door, matches those cupboards, but not the majority of the cupboards. Well, there'll what be going on. What is up with this? Don't be too quick to judge Akira. Remember, this house was built in 1880. They have. I mean, I get it. They could have been more consistent with the way they upgraded things, but they've been upgrading for, you know, well over a century. So, yeah, just saying. It, that just hurts, though, because that that's like you've been upgrading it and making it look real fucking weird right. on a centuries old house, like a century Whoa. old house. Like that's kind of. OK, two, two things. Enough. No one was expecting that oven. And two, everybody thought that goat was blue. Admit it. It ain't. It, that, is a... that looks blue to me still. I love the Arga. I love the Arga there. That's great. The, the what? That looks so Arga. strange. There's no augers here. Arga, not Olga. <sighs> this is Craig it's, Craig it's and that... all over again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Olga is spelled A-U-G-E-R. This is an Arga. A-R-G-E-R. -E it's a particular type of stove. Oh. Okay. I like it too, because it's really old timey. Like it's just, you know, throws Yeah, but it looks so strange next to the fridge. It sure as fuck does. Ultra modern stainless like, steel fridge the and then th this awesome piece of yesteryear. This... Now that stove oh, is probably know. original to the house. Uh, Dark side is probably is. Dark side is saying probably <laughs> well, original cabinets. Well, I don't know about that, but I know about the stove. I don't think, <laughs> no, I don't think the cabinets are original. Do those look like they're from the eighteen eighties? No. No. No, the they first don't. thing that came to mind seeing the stove and the fridge next to each other is you're hot and you're cold. Yeah, yes. That's in your no. And what fridge is complete, <laughs> I ask you, you without a bronze you. elephant standing on a ball? I... I... <laughs> All right. Well, look at it. I don't know. <laughs> look, look at that big brass ball on that elephant. <laughs> <laughs> the singular ball. Holy shit! Oh, now, now we only have you, one bowl. When you see the corner covered here, it really stands out as just oh, what the yeah. fuck? But fix that yeah, before you no, fix it, anything else. Just replace your seventies ass cabinets, please. Yeah, good lord. Okay. Oh, closer. Nice. Uh, it's got a wreath on it now. It didn't before. Oh yeah. I don't think it did. Actually. No, it did. I'm it's just, always I'm had just it. not paying attention. That's right. You ain't. Oh, yeah, back to the backyard. Uh, okay, so here we go. Yeah. He's distracted yeah, by this horrible back. cabinet. Oh, it's yeah. got one of those really expensive mixers. Huh. Well, really expensive for me. Some other people might not find them, so. But, yeah. I've never yeah, understood that. wrong. They're like 180 bucks. Y yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I, uh. I, I could use one of those things. It's like... Yeah, you know, mix your meringue until it has stiff peaks. You mean turn my machine on until it's done? Yeah, okay, I will. Have you ever whipped <laughs> your own meringue? Jesus. That's woman's yes. work. Yeah, I... Yes, I have. It's uh Well you're a woman, it makes sense. That's why that's what mixes are for. Yeah. Well, no, you you're the mixer. Look, you, you when you when you're making a meringue, right? If it's going especially if it's going atop a lemon tart, okay, it has to be Sam. the perfect consistency. Right. Sam? I'm from the country where we make meringues as cake. The country is wrong, and it should feel wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's funny hey. I, I, that I say that. It's like, it's like oh, meringue, stiff <laughs> peaks, and so on and so forth. I don't bake any, you I don't, had a pavlova? I, I, no, I, I don't bake anything. It's just lemon, it lemon, lemon meringue pie is my very favorite pie, so I've actually made it. Other than that, I haven't really. Pavlova is just meringue. Yeah, yeah we've talked about it. We've looked it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't, don't tell me I don't know how to make, like, fucking peaks and bullshit like that. No, I'm saying that's you do. I said it's woman's thing. work, and you said you've done it, and I said yes, and you said that's what the mixer's for, and I said, yeah, you're the mixer. Look at me. You are the mixer now. It... <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Moving along. Off to the kitchen. Okay. Right, the kitchenette. Okay, so this is looking a bit more... um era appropriate yes it does look uh, uh it, what... which makes me very concerned about the green and that wallpaper is this what they Not call a light. nook a breakfast nook i don't know but this i'm really hoping room. that wallpaper is not from the actual 1880s because then all that green in there is probably arsenic oh I just have to, yeah i just have to pull uh, that out uh because it is an actual health concern 
Because that is what they used to dye. Uh, no, I, 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 green I believe that. It's just why Jeff pointed out. Ooh, look at that clock. I just noticed that. I bet you that's from the era. Yeah. Look at that. That's wonderfully 1880s. Yeah. So I just, I pointed out just because I genuinely hope that they replaced it. You know what the, you know the wallpaper reminds me of? If anybody's seen the meme of the peas and mayonnaise pizza, that's what that wallpaper reminds me oh, of. Oh, what? Yeah. What the fuck? Tell Thor if you'd be so kind, my dear. Could no. <laughs> I don't want to see it. it. I don't want to see it. Darksideism <laughs> says that's probably a refurbished stove. I, I'm not going to lie. It's like, I just want to think that it's original, but holy shit, does that thing look clean? Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Like, I... Like, you have to figure out after, after to think of that. 50, 100 years of cooking fart. Like, where's all the scorching and the, just, just the using marks? You know what I mean? It... Yeah, yeah, it had to have been worked on a, at least a little bit. I mean, you've done a lot of metal work just far. Like, what did they do? Like, too. sandblast it down and then repaint it? I, I don't I know. I think it would depend on the kind of metal it is. I don't really, I don't really know much about refurbishing, are, to be honest. Aren't like, all of all these things cast iron? Typically. Probably. I, I don't really deal with cast iron, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, so like, there's it, the same... Uh, <laughs> room excuse me from the opposite direction yeah look at that like sideboard thing there yeah that looks nice and old and yeah the, the all this rat's nest of wires on the ground doesn't look like a fire hazard oh, at God. all no not at all wire yeah. management people <laughs> and you manage your fucking wires and you look out the window and there's the stars and stripes proudly fluttering in the breeze America. And right below it is some kid's toy on wheels. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, Zelthor is about to get mad from the different kind of exposure in these pictures. Stay calm, man. Stay calm. Clearly, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> like, this might not look like the same oh, room, but no, it absolutely Zelthor, is. No. It's because <laughs> they have oh, they God. really have trouble adjusting their color temperature because this is the same room, guys. <laughs> Oh, Great, God, never seen like peas 60. and mayonnaise pizza. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't... Uh, like, you say, I hope that isn't the original wallpaper because it's all like yellowed from God knows how many years of fucking smoking and whatnot in there and just cooking grease and whatnot. And now it looks like so much brighter and newer. And it's just because they don't know how to do uh, color temperature management. Nice. That's an old-timey sink. I... It's certainly something. And I want porcelain chickens on my bathroom cupboard. I... Doesn't everyone? No, I was kidding. I mean, There's no it works. Cock, light pot, cock. Oh. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you're a you're a you're a European. There, I said it. And I'm a pain. No. This is okay. This is the thing. It, every room in this house, right? Like, I'm not. Hmm necessarily opposed to knickknacks like so you got like a little yeah, you got, i think they're tastefully done here honestly the, like it's not over cluttering it this this is fine like you got like a little pot some yeah. flowers or whatever and you got some dishes whatever these are knickknacks not exactly knickknacks but they're there you know just to no, kind of put yeah. space but when you're put in putting excuse me a cut out of a goose on a table like find something else i, I hate this shit when i go over maybe to, put that somewhere else yeah, like the garbage, for example. I keep it thematically consistent. Is is the is the complaint I have? If if you're having floral flowers, blah blah blah, fine, fair enough. I mean, I won't sit in that room, but put your flowers around. Random fucking goose. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like we we've got this <laughs> goose. That doesn't mean you need to use it. It. I... No, I think it means you really do need to use it. No, look, they've got a stove. They need kindling. That thing's probably no, made no, of wood. The there thing. you go. You could, no, you could place the chicken, like the roosters here, right? Put the roosters here and put the goose in the bathroom. It's fine. No, I will not put... Th this is what started it. <laughs> You've got this stupid little house and these damn chickens. Why are they there? This is the uselessness of it. Put something up there like stack your hand towels up there or whatever, right? Like, this is space you need. No, like... I, I think the chickens are fine. I think the chickens are fine. No, they're not. That's fine. No, no, Polly. Out of all the house shit that we've seen, this is the least egregious thing I have ever seen. We will not play the lesser of two evils houses. on this this house searching game. I, I don't, I genuinely don't see the problem here. There, there's... Okay, so I mean, the chickens... personally, I would 
Personally, I wouldn't put chickens, but like, I don't see the issue. Sam, an opinion? The, at least the chickens are color appropriate to the room. Okay. Yeah, they, they've exactly. got that going for them. But should they be in a bathroom? No. No. <laughs> Keep I, food again, away I... from where I'm <laughs> disposing of the remains of my food. I'm kind of, all, I don't know. I mean, I was about to say, I'm assuming the toilet's not nearby, but then I saw the toilet roll. And it's like, oh, okay. But even in saying that, it's, I guess this is because I grew up like going to my Nana's house, right? And she had stuff like this around. So I, I'm not as weirded out syndrome. about it. It's I, fine. And Zelda no, nailed it. I, it. I, I, like, I feel fine. like my grandmother was in that house. See, this is this is like a grand. It's fine. I don't see the problem. Sam, we have talked about far suffering from lols, little old lady syndrome, many times before. Oh fuck off! You need to. But I don't want chickens in my house. I. I'm not saying I want the chickens in my house. I'm saying I just don't see the problem. She's agreeing with grandmother aesthetics. Like what the. F what it, the fuck is wrong with that? I don't see a problem. It's one thing when you have laws. It's another thing when it's on public display, Far. I don't see the problem here. Far, I only have one question. Would you be offended if I were to teach you how to suck eggs? <laughs> I don't... I don't even <laughs> like eggs. <laughs> okay, so, so yes. That wall doesn't even look like it belongs well, in this room. <laughs> Love that though. I love that window. Look, six Zelda's like taking my side here. He he sees no problem. I, look, look, if you look at this, this if is you, it's on my side, Polly. <laughs> this is Grandma's house. If you look over here. This is stylish and elegant. Look at the wood wood shutters and yeah, everything. This, this is stylish awesome. Stylish Grandma's house. I, <laughs> I don't see the problem. I, I I can't stand the white painted wood next to this this fantastic stained wood. Right, pick up. Yeah, panel. that is a little also, weird. That's a little look weird. Look at the fucking look at the end of the of the of the uh, of the the join there. The the bit of wall that comes out. Look at the panel that they put on the end of there. What are you doing? I also like how the shower has a seat in it. Oh yeah, yeah, grandma, grandma's house. <laughs> so right, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, it's yeah. stylish grandma's. My I old see hips. A I need to rest my old hips. Let me just sit down I, here. It's uh... look. I would be sitting on that if this was my house. I would be sitting on that. Why would you need to sit to... Oh, all right. I, I wouldn't need to sit. I would be... But I would be doing it anyway. You'd have the luxury of sitting. I get it. That's exactly. Funny. It's the luxury <laughs> of being able to sit in the shower. <laughs> and not having to worry about wasting water too much. Well, this is the uh, outside entertainment room or something, I'm going to guess. Okay. Okay. There's not much to it's see okay. here or complain about, honestly. It's just... I mean, I would never sit in that wooden chair there because what the fuck, but, you know, whatever. What, the rocking chair? It's wooden completely. That would... That's not going to be great for that's, long that's time. Just a regular, that's just a regular old chair, that. Yeah, yeah I think I, it is a regular chair. I don't think it should be in the sitting room. I think it should be on the porch for me to sit in with my shotgun, rock back and forth, and yell at the kids. I don't think that's a rocking chair, Paul. You sure? He'll rock anyway. Oh, He'll I'm be pretty sure. I, I could make it a oh. rocking chair. Yeah. I, mean, I don't have a problem with it being here. It's just I would never sit in it. Because it's a wooden chair. I do have a question for you guys. The thing that's above the television, is that meant to be like... Yeah, what is that? Three picture framed wood frame? Is that what's supposed to be going on there? And they just don't have no pictures in it? I don't know. It kind of looks like it's just a plank of wood that they've like used one of those... um Routers on? You know those things where like you bring it down and it cuts off like a perfect hole in it and it's spin... I forget the name of it. It's called a router far. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, one of those then. Okay. Right, like, th like they just brought it down on there, and that's it. Oh, I think bell saw is what she's thinking of. Bell saw, probably. Yeah. A bell saw. Yeah, it's uh, it, it typically attaches to like pillar drills, and it's uh, it's a uh, sort of a yeah, cylinder. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and on the bottom, that's it's it, got yeah. saw teeth. Yeah. It's called a bell yeah, saw. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to exactly cut a hole yeah. that big, Sam. Yes. You can. They ha they have different sizes. You're t a twenty four inch bell saw. I mean, why not? It's not 24 inches. Look at the size of the TV. What What do you think this is? The size the of a TV is probably tiny. You think it's, it's a, it looks like a small TV? It has to be the size of an eye watch far. I, 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 all right. I don't know. We're going to they duck, do duck, make duck Hold on. that large. I, no, they don't. I just. <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy shit, he's he sounds so pissed about this. <laughs> Extra large bell sauce. Okay, well it's none of these. Yeah, it's none of those. No, it no it isn't. Are you absolutely sure it isn't a R O U T E R? Because uh, a router is something that, no, that... No, no, it's <laughs> it's definitely not one of these for fuck fucking sake. I no, a, a router is uh, is uh, like a it's almost like a like a milling bit, right? And yeah, you can move it around. Yeah, uh, the, the the thing that let me see if I can find a picture of what exactly there we go. I'm talking about. <laughs> see, these are the, these are routers far, and it has a bit that descends <laughs> to be able to cut with the bit that's in the center, right? It, it's not quite what I'm thinking of. It, I I apologize, William. Not an eye watch, an Apple watch. Excuse me. Oh my God. See this little bit right in there. Oh yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. No, that's not quite what I'm thinking of. So, you, you, are you thinking of the thing that attaches to a fucking uh, a power drill? No, 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 no. Okay, then I'm, Sam's I'm of like, it, Sam's it, not just wrong. He's drop, dead like, wrong. It, it, I'm thinking of like one of those things. Where like it has like the spinny handle on the side. You just drop it down. It's not this though. No, an an auger serpent like A U G E R is the big circuit. Is this thing you go ice fishing with her to d d um, dig holes for fence poles and God. Posts. Americans just call them hole saws. I, oh my God! Well, it's what it does. <laughs> is that what you're thinking of, far? Yeah, yeah, that is closer. That is definitely closer. Okay, I suggest yeah. you look at the size of this thing, and Sam is suggesting that there's one that's two feet across. Well, I'm thinking of it, sorry, because across. I'm thinking of it because it's like it's actually attached to a whole thing, like it's on like it's not like you're holding it in your hand and you're doing it. Look at that's the, the ones I'm thinking of, but it has the same attachment bit though. Look at the size of this fucking one, Sam, and it's six and three eighths of an inch, and it's massive. That's not even close to big enough to cut those fucking holes in that plank on the wall. <laughs> It's a very know. small house, okay? <laughs> See, look at the, look, this guy's got a mega one, and it's... I, the... He's using it with a handheld drill, Polly! Oh my god, what the fuck is this man doing? <laughs> Holy shit! He's in the middle of a heist, Far. He's got to get to that. <laughs> this is... I don't know how to feel about this. This looks he so... It's like an industrial pillar drill. You could have a fucking bell saw that's a foot across. This looks so dangerous. <laughs> oh I, my I, god. I don't see any problems with what he's doing, okay? It's I... fine. It's for putting ducting uh, in and all that Look kind how of big thing. that thing you people are crazy. Do you know how wide you across a normal door frame is? Compare. Think. I the I guess perspective is important here, Polly. It <laughs> really <laughs> is. Yo, like, Connor, you're a tool engineer space? guy. Back me up here, for God's sake. I don't know if this is even an accurate size. I mean, we saw the okay. kitchen, and then we saw it with an the, island. Look at Think the handles that one for a second. on those drawers. Look, look at the knob handles on those drawers, right? They're probably, what, like an inch, inch and a half across tops? They look tiny. Yeah. The hey, Keeper Dam, how's it going? It, but, you know, maybe, maybe you're right. Look at the tiny little munchkin bench down here. Yeah, I don't think I don't that? think that TV is as big as you think it is. To be honest, know what it is? It's it's the wooden dash surround from a very large car. That's what that is. <laughs> oh god! This isn't the same room, is it? Uh, I think it, it is. It, I, yeah, it is cause the, the chair. The it's, chair. It's just the the color temperature is so wild from picture to picture. Oh it's my just... god! Why do they have a picture of a cow on top of a fireplace that is filled in? Not just a cow. I'm noticing, but not just a cow, but look at the grass on the bottom and the little trees. <laughs> it's an altar. And my God, oh my God. Altar, it's not a fireplace. It's just a mantle. That it's no, There's no fireplace. It's Polly? Just... <laughs> no, that's what I mean. It's filled in. Polly, do you think they're Mormons? And this is like an extension of the bull thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is that a cast iron I mean, chicken to be lamp? honest... Is that a I think it is. But to be honest, though, I would be totally putting up the cow thing if this was my house, just to confuse the fuck out of people. Because I have so much shit like that here. Well, it's just kind of like, why do you have that? It's just mm, inherited. And look, there's another chicken standing on it's top just, of the this, yeah. this wall thing. I would be doing that. Yeah, I would be putting up all the old shit, just in the most confusing of manners, and just have people questioning me. I'm like, why the is. fuck is this here? 
You know what this mm-hmm. is? I Nerd. reckon a little old lady, a little old lady that used to live in a city, right, and had never been to a farm in her entire life until she moved. To oh the my god! She loves farming. She's just trying animals, to get so into. Why. Yeah, she's just exactly. trying to get into the farm life, thinking this is like exactly. the easiest route. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna decorate my whole house with chickens and now, if anybody, cows. If anybody in chat uh, recognizes what I believe is a gaming table, what this is for, tell me. I'm really curious. Like, it's ah, uh, you, huh? You know what I think it might be for? Far like this wild guess. Okay, Ooh. we we both play okay, back. Wild we, guess. We both play backgammon. The backgammon. Oh, backgammon. Yeah, the backgammon board goes here, and this little circle. In dice. cut is yeah, is for the dice, so they don't roll off the table. That's all I got. I can't think of anything else. I'd be inclined hmm. to agree with that. What what the little yeah, squares are for? Work. I don't know because you don't. Like, I, the pieces. I, the pieces. Once you've taken them off the board, like once. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be what whether you store them, right? Okay. I mean, it's an interesting table because it kind of looks like toilet table until you think, no, it's a, yeah. Because it, isn't that like what happens at the end of backgammon, right? Like you slot them together in the rows. Like when you take them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it could be like two boxes for each of them. As far as first person I encountered that plays backgammon, so I was excited because it's, it's a. Sam, you're. you're I have you're, not really played in a long time. But though, you actually know how to play, and that's amazing. Yeah, yeah vaguely. I, like, I, mean, I grew up with a, a backgammon board, and no one wanted to play with me. It was the saddest thing I used to play with myself. <laughs> Look at the fucking. Every time you tell board. that story, it's, it does sound so <laughs> sad. Like, poor little eight year old farm. Really like, Why sad things. Play with me? It's I did a lot of really sad things as a kid like that. Obviously, it's like it's not that on her. See, <laughs> Sam, here's the, th- like, here's yeah, the thing. I just, I just play with myself. When I was a kid, I saw uh, the James Bond film Octopussy, right? And you got Roger Moore, and he comes in to where they're playing high stakes backgammon. And he, of course, wins because he's Bond, you know? Okay, just making sure you're still here. And so, from my oh, perspective, I, mean. I always thought of it as like, oh, this is like Baccarat. This is like, you know. When you go to like like the Montenegro casino, this is what they're going to be playing. No, they don't play it on the Indian casinos here. It's all roulette and one arm fucking bandits and and poker and that's it. Blackjack, that's it. You know, but yeah. but backgammon, yeah, they'll play high stakes backgammon out there. So like, I wanted to learn how to play it, and it, it's because of James Bond. And I did learn how to play it, and then subsequently found out no nobody else knew how to play it. And apparently, it was thought of as the game the grandpas at the old folks' home play. Later. Yeah. <laughs> I did, okay, I think I did actually manage to play with someone a couple of times, and I think it was solely at my Nana's house, which is not helping the case, is it? I remember when I said to my dad, like, not too long ago, I said, Dad, you know how to play backgammon, don't you? And he's like, oof, no, but your grandfather knew. He liked it a lot. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me, that's um, that, that's that's dominoes. Uh, like, around here, uh, the, oh, yeah, nobody dominoes. young knows how well. I mean, I say nobody young. It, this this is why the only time I really play dominoes is when I'm either with like old guys at the bar or um or, or my Caribbean friends. Yeah, it's Jamaican I friends of mine that I, I play might... dominoes with. That's yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. I think I might kind of know how to play dominoes. There's, there's about a thousand versions of it, man. Honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What kind? Yeah, is... like what kind do I know? Yeah. <laughs> you match the numbers together and you kind of do the ma- like the weird maze thing. Uh, Zelthor yeah, more or less. says, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Zelthor says, I miss dominoes. He says, Sam, want to play dominoes? You know what, Zelthor? If we can find out a way to play dominoes, I will play dominoes with you. Absolutely. Oh, God. That was that was one of the things that we struggled with, wasn't it, Polly? Trying to find a way to play, play fucking backgammon. Yeah. We could only find that really cheap version. Yahoo Games was dead years ago, uh, which was sad. Yeah. Uh, there's we not found a, lot- a way, but it was so weird to, like, yeah, what was the it, what, what was the was online hard. board game playing where if you want to play D anD D with friends virtually, and it was a yeah, a, what was it? Called? It was hard to set up though. I'm sorry. Sam? No, it was something else. It was something else. I think I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it, it there was a main uh, supporting piece of software that I uh, it's something like retainer, like as in like a retainer for uh, a warlord or to a, a courtier. It's a name something like that. Um. It doesn't matter. There's a main piece of software, right? And then you get ROMs for it. I have one for Washington's War, which is a card-based strategy game that that looks great. It looks fucking fantastic. There's D&D stuff. There's uh, all the board games that you see at your gaming shops, like the, the newer board games, uh, you know, the, the um, 
X-Wing fighter game and so on and so forth. They got ROMs for all that, and they all look great. The backgammon one, Far and I played it. It, it looked like shit. Jesus. It it looked like MS-DOS level. It was so it, bad. Yeah, and it was weird. It was so weird to play. So, because the, fu- the weird part is, right, uh, you could move your opponent's um, pieces. Like, so you could play for your opponent, basically. Yeah. It allowed yeah, it like, allowed too much. It, it wasn't set up for, yeah, way for too backgammon. Much. Like, any person could click anywhere and move anything. And it's just like, oh, well, this... So if both yeah, of you don't so know how to play the game... you're playing on the honor system. It, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. If the person gets up and goes to the bathroom, you can fuck them. It, which shouldn't be allowed. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no good. Yeah, it, it was just... Mm. It looked like garbage. You could, like, move it about yourself. It was just all kinds of... Just, if you uh, no. if you, if you remind me uh, this this coming Sunday, uh, either of you uh, drop a DM in well in my in my DMs, I will look into the rules of uh, backgammon and see if I can code something. Probably write oh. it in HTML5. That'd be awesome. Probably nice. shouldn't take too long. Let me know if you need sprites okay. for pieces and stuff. It's, I'll put I mean, shading and texture it's on quite them. Quite simple. Time. Absolutely. Like it's Absolutely. like backgammon is really quite simple, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that before. Like, it's not compl- <laughs> well, no, it's really not complicated. Like you just, you just, it's just rolling dice and moving pieces. Look, guys, the Munchkin shares continue. Oh my god, they do! <laughs> oh, there's another one well, right there. I missed it. it. The one beneath the lamp. I was yes. looking at the ones on the ledge over <laughs> here. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it, Sam. Just like, oh yeah, it's made for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have. Oh a my window. god, it's coming oh. from my witch window. Fucking hell! Sweet! I, I I know Valine knows these. It's great. I I we can talk- I just say I'm really concerned about the carpet. Look at the carpet. Oh yeah. What is oh, going yeah. on with the carpet? There's oh, a cat God. basket back there. I, or a dog no, basket. Yeah, back yeah. There. I did notice yeah. that. And like, apparently it's that but like look at the, the place. look at the like mark on the carpet like next to the like the cat bed yeah, I mean just look at the like dark front of it. streaks around here that carpet just needs to go it looks lumpy Ugh. how did how does a carpet pressure look no, lumpy it is. it's not the what? actual it's not a carpet all the way down it's like a it looks like they've cut down a piece of carpet into a rug probably for this very specific purpose Oh my god, it's like what we did for some of our rooms years ago. Oh my god. Hmm? No, 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 that's... no. That is the worst thing you can do. Don't do that. Holy shit. Just have wooden floorboards. You know what? In a room that is this interesting, in terms of the ceiling structure, the fact that it has an authentic, original witch window... And it is in Vermont. And you have it in this state angers me. You know what it is, though? It, it probably is a little old lady that's lived here, and they she's probably had a little dog or something, and this is probably her room. Oh, yeah, it probably is. I mean, I'm going to call it, this room looks like it smells really bad. Yeah. It does. Like... Yeah. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> this is Elbel's asking who staged this. Like, uh, I don't know, buddy. Whoever decorated this had no sense of fire safety. I just feel like oh my life. god, yeah, the, cable, the cables. Phone in the bedroom. This is definitely an old person's room. Yeah, that's Those a weird. Yeah, that is a weird one. I hmm. This I hmm. <laughs> I'm just looking at this dresser unit. These, it's got a lot of drawers. I'll give it that. I... <laughs> oh my god, there's a cow on the wall. Cow on the wall. Oh yeah, they really are trying to make this a farm, a farm thing, aren't they? I do like this yeah. door on a bedroom. That's old timey. That's great. Yeah, I I don't like how it, there's apparently a window on the bedroom though. No, I don't. That's a little I, if weird. I was, yeah, if I was the only person living there, I'd be okay with it. But like, it's uh... no, I would not be okay with that. No. No. No, they'd be getting covered up. Straight up. Does this room even have a door? That's a... I mean, it has like two doors, but what about the third one here? Yeah, it doesn't appear to have hinges. I'm yeah. looking. I... Yeah, where's the door? Uh, it's got old, uh, older 
style hinges, so maybe on the outside. Um, hmm. Why is every room painted a distinct color? Fuck, I hate that. In all these houses we don't I, look through, we see that again and again, and it's just... I wide. don't really care that much about that. Like, this... Here, it's like, it's fine. I'm more concerned about the fact that this bed is, uh... Well, look at it. Um, oh, what's bad. up with the carpet? Why do you have, like, this chair combo in here? That really does scream, old lady. Why is the bed so close to the door? And what when you can see like this amount of space, but is that even camera angles then? That's see that's is a that practicality a loot? thing far. When, is that when you're, when a you're... loot next to the heater? I was about Why to say, is the heater what, what, so close to the bed? What is that thing next to the radiator? Does, <laughs> that, is... does anyone know? Yeah, I'm, I am like, certain that is that the is original so to the house. Close to the bed? Just, Jesus. Because that's a fire hazard. Yeah, well. I... Especially if that radiator is original to the house. They didn't. I, nothing in this house says that anybody gave consideration of fire safety far to me no 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 it doesn't but at the same time it's like this bed right that close that can't be good w um what is this another what angle of the at? same room i'm trying to i um i don't no, think so i think, I think so. this Look might be another room i think it's another room the, cut, the walls are different is that a hole in the wall or a mirror's pasted to the wall i think it's a hole I think that, yeah, look at the strip of wood along the top. That's definitely uh, uh, behind the plasterboard there, or drywall. Okay. So this is random okay. storage room uh, with a, yeah. what is this thing? A, a, a cross-country rower? It's a uh, multi-gym. Uh, yeah, it's like some gym. kind of gym equipment. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's a rowing machine. I don't know. Oh, please tell me that's a dumbwaiter door. That'd be great. I love dumbwaiters. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I love the little office space. This is hilarious. I... This, yeah, I think this really is a little old lady's place. Like, those look like sewing patterns in the... I mean, think about this far. You'd be able to go in there, sit down in this, and do your little work here, and then as you shuffle forward, scorch your knees on the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> can't wait to scorch my knees yeah. on the radiator in my office. Yes. What? This is the fucking worst possible place for a desk. <laughs> oh Why did you have the table space here? What? No, what is the bed that they repurposed this room from something thing, else? Th and that's the only it. place they put the thing? Think about it. Little old lady, poor circulation, sitting down for a great length of time was one of the things that helps heat around the ankles. That's why it's there. Uh, yeah. Maybe. But yeah, I do. But yeah, I think this room really does confirm it is an old lady's place. Because uh, look at the containers on the side there. I'm pretty sure that's sewing patterns in there. In the blue it's container. A modern printer. Though. It looks like a printer. I was just supposed to say. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a printer we have actually. But I mean, like the blue container on the. I mean, I get the shelf. idea why they positioned it here. You're you're in the chair. You look up. You're out, you're looking out a window. I get. Yeah, idea. you're looking outside. And you want to look outside, but there's nice, a fucking but... radiator. Right. You can't have it. That is the, is, you know, it's like, oh, well, that'd be nice to look outside. Well, you're going to have to turn because we want your knees not blackened. I... <laughs> yeah, we don't want you getting third degree burns. Right. Oh, my God. It's just storage, but it definitely reveals the age of the home. Yeah. Look at the, look at the top of the window. Oh, yeah. Is that Look metal? at that. That looks fucking amazing. I'm not quite sure. That should no, be upstairs. Why is that hidden down here? Yeah. It looks it looks like filigreed wood. Also, why do you have all your cleaning stuff on the stairs? Excellent question, actually. I never stopped all to think about that. Like, there's do you, those stairs are clearly not used. There must be nothing at the top of them. Because this is crazy town. Look at that. I, yeah. You know, one of the things that's bothered me as well. Like, look at look at the banister or, or the rail up the side of this staircase. And if you if you go back like a bunch of pictures, the the, the one inside the house as well. The the rail is really, really low. Yeah, it is. Oh my, yeah, no, no, raise that rail. Oh my god. Right, the chat said to move something around there. Okay, moving along. Oh, the source of oh, all of the danger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we just want that picture of uh, the fucking. Now, oh my god. If you look around this, Here's original 1880s. Look at that yeah, stonework, that Sam. Yeah. Look at that masonry. It's it's. 
That God, this looks like such a nightmare. Awful. That is original <laughs> farm a foundation, baby. It's. <laughs> I even love the fact that they took a picture of this. They thought that this was worth taking a picture of. I, I think they're trying. Oh, my <laughs> my guess would be in trying to sell a home on Zillow that they're on some. Um... Oh my God. No, it does have electricity. <laughs> it is modern. Don't worry. I think that's why they did oh, this. You could tell. You could tell they have electricity though because of all the power cords and shit. Well, yeah, but they wanted to you assure don't need you to that. Take this. Well, no, but there's you don't need to take a picture of this. There's a modern fuse system. Far is what I'm getting at. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it... that's exactly what they're showing here. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, he has the fuse box, guys. Like. Don't... <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, nothing modern here. Oh, Holy oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that's um the floor heating. That's the kind of pipes we would be covering. That, yeah. Absolutely. To make sure no one got the third degree burns. We were reading I think Sam's dead on. That's the floor heating that they repurposed from the radiator piping already running through the house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, they would have had to. But I'm more shocked at the fact that none of these pipes are covered. None of them are covered. I mean, this is, that... the, this is the basement, right? Yeah, but even in saying that, usually uh, pi pipes like this, you would be covering with insulation and then a it layer is, of sheet metal. It is Vermont, isn't it? It is Vermont, yeah, it's, it gets cold up there. Well, I mean, just in general, like, that's what we do here. You know, like, this is, uh, and part of that is to keep the heat in, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But another part of that is so, like, if you're walking around trying to do general inspection shit, like looking at the little Dials. gauges there, yeah, yeah um, you don't accidentally touch a pipe and burn yourself. Yeah, one of the things I do like it's, about it's this picture is the, uh, uh, the crossover of eras represented in this photograph. You have a very modern, you know, functioning furnace or humidifier, what, what have you here. I'm thinking furnace. But it's going into a st original stone wall. There's even stones on the ground. Everything is, there's a giant puddle of humidity that's probably been there for God knows how long. Like, do you, do you people have fungus yeah, problems? No, and, then it, and, yeah. then it, and then it gets very steampunky with all the brass tubing running everywhere. So it's like modern frontier steampunk, all in one picture. It's <laughs> Yeah, like just cover your pipes, guys. Like if you have things like this, just just hire the people to cover it just jesus christ jesus fucking christ uh, and more of it wow yeah let, mm, mm, this is exactly the kind of shit we would be covering <laughs> this it is though unfinished as hell that's all i see and that's uh, we're not gonna judge yeah them. they just put stuff and things in here you know it, look at that look yeah. at that desk though look at the damage on the drawers if that is an antique desk, God. yeah, it's tragic. Yeah. it's It looks like spray paint is hit up on it and just fucking hell. I am inclined to believe that that is around as old as it looks as well because they just don't make desks that deep anymore. They don't. Deep as in the length of the, the, the front legroom deep. Yeah. Yeah, that's... yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's sad because I would like a desk that big and wide actually that's a knee cracker like i'm six two and i that is a knee you. cracker do you know what i mean when you're that would be a knee cracker for me come on <laughs> i hate i i smash my knees on desks all the fucking time do you know the thing i hate about desks more than any of the modern ones that still have the fucking keyboard um oh roll in yeah and out the keyboard thing? Slide thing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and yeah. it's like first of all I don't know many people that use them, but even if you do, it, it just it lowers the bottom of the desk and makes it even worse. I'm constantly smashing my knee on them fucking things. I bought a desk that had one of them, and I got under there with a screwdriver and a flashlight and took that fucking thing off because I'm never going to use it. We used them. We did use them because the monitor would take so much of the top part of the desk. Was it that shallow? But that's really it. Yeah. Huh. Well, just the screen would be that big. It's like if you ended up putting the keyboard in front of it, it'd just be way too close to the screen. I mean, so you kind of had to use the drawer. Zelda... Like this was like this was like a decade ago. Keep that in mind. Like we wouldn't do that now. We don't need to. Yeah, Z Zelda's saying that like fuck it, I'd buy this house depending on how many problems came along with it because I'd, I'd be very interested in in, in specters yeah. evaluation. But remember, it went for one hundred fifty fucking grand. That's like, oh, there's the prison. There we that go. Is the jail. The BDSM fantasy go. zone comes to life. Oh my 
god, it's so good. And I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> I think you found Sam his dream house Ooh, by yeah. accident. Yeah, they didn't bother renovating shit in here because why the fuck oh would you? Oh my god. Yeah, why would you? Oh, like, that just raises so many questions though. So it's a little old lady that owns this. So she owns the jail part too and just chose not to do shit with it. Does she just ignore it? <laughs> that that's even a part of the property? Yeah, I think, well, I think multiple subsequent owners probably did. Oh my god. I would be, like, opening that shit as a museum. I'm like, hey, come on, check out the jail. Like, a Halloween event thing. You know what? I understand Can... leaving his elders is like, oh, yeah, that part's got to go. I, I I, am not paying the person to demo this part of the demolition. This no, part of the house. no, 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 no. Just... You, you open it as a Halloween thing. Think about it. You could pay, you could get paid to have a jail and for people to do creepy shit with it during Halloween. You guys love Halloween. Yeah, but that's only once a year, Far. I... Yeah, and? What about the rest of the year? You keep it clean in preparation for the one time of the year that it will make you money. Yeah, you, you rent it out all of October, don't you, really? No, I... Yeah, exactly! Can, can we just appreciate for a second the rusty-ass fold-down spring cots? In the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is... <laughs> That's what hell looks like, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean, though. Oh, you rent it out for God. Halloween, all of October. People can rent the shit out. It's Look an instant moneymaker. Look at that toilet. That is fantastically horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Look at I, I, See what I, I mean? I can't get over the, the, the rusted spring thing. It's got a brick and a shovel on it over yeah, the barred this, window. This yeah, thing. that's a bed. Mm. That's a bed. Well, yeah. But, I mean, we just went from, like, home upstairs that we were criticizing on its aesthetics into fucking cursed photos, yeah, man. Like, it, people died and <laughs> suffered here. You know, that, wow. Halloween, I'm telling you, man. Uh, I'm telling you. Everything, like, I... Is this <laughs> dust or bug carcasses? It could... It, it's all over the floor, oh, yes. whatever it is. Fuck! It, Polly, Even the answer the is dust yes. dust has dust. Yeah, right. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just clean it up a bit and then, you know, we can use it for October purposes. People would rent it. Or the random fed. Yeah, it's just see how you like it. <laughs> 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 There's the outside. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like the House of Horrors is in the basement when you look at it from the outside. No, it doesn't. Oh, there's the meth house. Like Very nice. Yeah, yeah. There's the barn. I'll be right back with you guys. All right. Oh, okay. There's a little side shed. Yeah, it's got I, a little uh, side shed. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. But I, uh, yeah, Polly, I really do think you um accidentally found Sam's dream home. <laughs> not, not mine, not Vladdy's. So, uh. So these properties, I mean, really, like, I look, look how close enough. they are. It's just, I don't want really do to, I don't want to, like, work that hard on it. They've got to be real long rectangles, these properties. Because, like, the houses beside it. Oh, yeah, they it, would have it, to be. And it is, if it's an acre into the woods going straight back, it's got to... I mean, an acre is pretty long. Um, I'm amazed they don't have f fences between the places. Good call. Good call. I was like, don't, don't come over here. Don't touch my trees. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, but where's, like, the property line? Right. You know? Like, usually even, like, on the massive properties that I've seen friends of the family have right it, it's like there's usually like a barbed wire fence somewhere yeah, like you're... some kind of like shitty little wire fence out there a hedge some marking the property line yeah like just I, i'm just thinking of like the shittiest of shitty fences you know where it's just like wooden poles in the ground with like a bit of wire between them and you get into this thing where it's like okay i want to discover where the property line is and you're having to find a lawyer going back and f looking at like hand-drawn property maps from the fucking you know, 1803 yeah right there's the forest. Yeah, oh, holy crap. Uh, is, uh, is yeah, it... though, I think I'd be too concerned about the pipes, to be honest. Is this the back of the Way house or the concerned. barn? I think it's the back of the house. See, this is yeah, why. Yeah, because I don't think that's the barn. You would really want the inspection. I mean, there's an entire side of it yeah, that doesn't have like... siding finished. You know what I mean? It... Yeah, like that looks like it's just some. um. 
That looks like it's just tarp or something. Like, what is that? Uh, outside insulation, like ready prefab. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Moisture proof. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm looking at it, it's like it looks like it could be insulation. It could looks like it could be like sheet metal. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it comes with that plastic stuff over the top. Like, it, I'm just like, what the fuck? The one thing that I never noticed is where on the outside the witch window was. I n I never saw it. But if you do notice, they have yeah. uh, uh, um, the original prison um, bars that were you can see the outline yeah, oh of where they god. were. On the, on the, I feel like it's just like home. <laughs> it's my old room that had the bars over the windows. Yeah. Yeah. So they've just—I I love that they've just unscrewed the bars from the wall where you can see where they were, and then just set them down by the window. Very nice. Yeah. So that is it. That is picture forty forty. So they, they, there it yeah. is. One hundred fifty grand for that place in uh, Courthouse Drive, Guildhall, Vermont. Again, like I, I think it looks nice in the livable parts of it, but um, I think it'd be a, a bit too much work, just with the pipes under the house. It seems like there is a fuck ton of of work. Yeah, once you heard the inspection report, it would be like it needs this, it needs this, it needs that. Like, it would just go on forever. Uh, which... Yeah, like, and it's like I know it would be for the rest of it, but I can't not focus on the pipes because I know. Yeah, and I it... know. You know, like from stuff I've done, like job wise, right? Like I, I know better than to just look at that and be like, yeah, it's fine. Let's just leave it. Because no, there's a specific way those, like any kind of pipes like that, where you have stuff like hot things passing through it. Yeah. There's a specific way where they usually have those set up, and there's a reason why they usually do cover them in a layer of insulation and a, then the sheet metal covering. Right. It's because, like, one, it keeps the heat in, and two, it's like, Im again, imagine doing inspections on that shit. You don't want to accidentally get burnt. Because that is a real possibility with those pipes. And the the age of them and the fact that they had that, um, that puddle underneath. The oh, puddle yeah. means that it leaked at some point if it's not still leaking. I, I think it's in a constant state of leakage, that basement, like, from yeah. rain simply put yeah but mm -hmm. that's the problem is like is the leak coming from just rain or is it coming from the pipes themselves and that's why they're not covered because they would because that is another thing that is a possibility of happening and why sometimes sometimes this stuff needs to be replaced like not the only reason why you'd need to replace it because you do sometimes you do need to generally replace the insulation on pipes like that at some point but something that can speed the process up definitely is if the pipes themselves are leaking and getting into the insulation itself. Yeah, right? which so, is what, why they're running that moisture why... proof. Uh, that's why they're running the moisture proof insulation because of mildew. Yeah, and... but like, that only does so much though. <laughs> moisture proof only does so much. Like it's only protective to a certain point. Once it's around the pipes like that, yeah, it could last a little bit longer than you would expect, but not really. Like, once it's in that close proximity and that constant, nah, nah. Just nah? You're gonna want to replace it. You're going to want to replace it at some point. Sooner than you would think, as well. Which makes me wonder, is that why they're not covering the pipes? Because it's leaking. And it would be more expensive to continuously cover the pipes, or more expensive to even fix the damn pipes to begin with. Than to just leave it uncovered and go, eh, fuck it. Like, it's just, no. Like, that's why I keep going back to the pipes themselves, because I feel like that would be the worst part of fixing that place. Not the jail part, not the side... The side bit that is apparently only covered by, like, moisture-proof insulation. Right. It would be the pipes. Just, just because of the amount of, like, the specific people you would have to get in to fix that. You would have to get in welders, like people that know how to work with pipes, mm -hmm. specifically. Um, insulate, like just a whole bunch of bullshit for those pipes. It'd just be the worst part of it. Okay, so before we move on to something else, I think it's time for a little uh, palate cleanser and uh, you know, change up the thing yeah. a little bit. So we're going to, uh, uh, time for some keytar ladies. Oh, yay! Nice. You go, lady. Do it. 
Joe Melinda. Melinda. Yeah. She's just having such a fun time. And she's surrounded by smoke. Yeah. And flashing body lights. <laughs> oh, the seductive moves, too. Well, if you want to... Uh... <laughs> If you want dancing, more dancing, uh, ten dollars. Just saying. <laughs> She's just having such a great time. Like, look at him jamming out. <laughs> Do it! Do it! <laughs> Every time, 10 out of 10. Yep. Eastern Europe's finest. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I never Fantastic. tired. I never tired, Sheetar Lady. She's. Okay, so let's talk about bigamy in Perth. Uh, yep, yep, this guy. Perth man charged with bigamy <laughs> over allegations he had too many wives faces jail time. Uh, yeah, apparently he can go to jail for having too many wives uh, in in Western Australia. So, uh... should bigamy or polygamy be a jailable offense, Sam? That. Um. Hey, look. If you want to strap yourself down, <laughs> if you want to put on that many balls and that many chains. You go right ahead in my book. As long as everybody's consenting. I'm yeah, fine with okay. It. Uh, let's see. A Perth man has been charged with allegedly having too many wives in a rare bigamy case prosecuted in Australia's federal, by Australian Federal Police. Gary Henry White, 48, has been charged with bigamy and making false declarations after he was allegedly still married to his first wife when he wed a second woman in July of 2020. Police have alleged that in July of 2020, this fucking Chad here, uh, allegedly separated <laughs> from his guess. <laughs> allegedly separated from his first wife, but not divorced when he married a second woman in September 2021. He finalized f finalized the divorce with his first wife. 2022, he allegedly separated from his second wife, but there was no divorce. In November of 2022, he allegedly married a third woman. Oh I my God! He just keeps going. <laughs> he just keeps going. I, as when we said you're supposed to have a bit of overlap, we meant with girlfriends, mate. I, <laughs> yeah, right. I really didn't think there was a third woman involved. That's crazy. Uh, uh, dude. Uh, how, how, dude. Why do you want to quickly so... Why are you trying to so quickly get into another marriage? Like, as you said, Sam, put on another ball and chain. I don't get it. Like, the, the well, oh my god. Did you was, read the photo description there for that photo? Mr. White appeared in court dressed in his high-vis work clothes and socks, but no shoes. <laughs> Why no Why? shoes, man? Where did your shoes go? Were they covered in acid? Were they covered in acid? Because fuck you the societal tell. standards. This this guy clearly doesn't give a shit. No, because for look at norms. the way he's dressed. No, look at the no, look at the way he's dressed, right? That's his actual work stuff. It's a helmet, and then those look like safety goggles. Are are you working at a Are you working at a plant that you know, deals in acid. Come on, you can tell me. Man. Well, I just, I don't I understand. A hard hat, safety glasses, but no shoes? Uh, yeah. That's weird. Like, I, yeah. I, well, the glass, they don't even look like glasses. They look like they're straight up goggles. The yeah. Uh, yeah, wrap around safety glasses. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be the, the straight up, like, acid goggles for the looks of it. In a statement, Australian Federal Police leading senior constable Kevin whoever said allegations of deception and bigamy were treated very seriously. This type of deception and offending has long-lasting and negative real-life impacts on the victims and families involved, and the Australian Federal Police will ensure allegations like this are investigated fully and will take you down if you make a hole in your fucking living room, you bastards. I... <laughs> 
Police said at least the second wife was never told of Mr. White's previous marriage. In addition to one count of bigamy, Mr. White from South Guilford is also charged with making Guilford? false. Guilford. Yeah, that's Guilford. Okay. Is also charged with making false declarations on legal documents and application forms. Married me? What are you talking about? <laughs> of course not. I... There he is, chatting it up down at the local uh, coffee shop. Mr. White appeared before the before Perth. No. Met... What? I think that is like actually outside the court. I think that's the court. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he, he that was... looks yeah, that looks right. That looks like the court, the court building. He was not required to enter a plea. Uh, he was dressed in his high vis work clothes. Uh, it, it, although he had put on a pair of boots by the time he left the building, so he carried. Yeah, them that makes in. me wonder if like he's working on a specific site, right? Uh huh. And it requires, like, a specific pair of boots, but the boots had something on them. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'm looking too far into it, but... Eh. The fact that I was seeing, like, he was where he had the goggles and the helmet and stuff, that makes me wonder. Where's this guy working? Which source is, uh, yeah, a sociopath or a glutton for punishment? Now, Far and I have watched uh, uh, several document <laughs> documentaries. Psychopathic... <laughs> What is it? The psychosexual serial killer? Psychosexual serial killers, yes. But particularly, yeah, say that ten times fast. Right? I, I, even, I couldn't <laughs> even do it just then, but you know, I've been drinking, so I've got yeah. an excuse. Uh, especially that chapter uh, is the name of the channel uh, with a guy named Mike. Great content creator if you're interested in true crime mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, and how many times far have we seen uh, men that uh, were married to one woman and then go court another woman and then Instead of just divorcing the first woman, murdering her, I yeah, and they try to get like the what life insurance as well. Often, it's a like part that of it, bonus yes. on top. Yeah, here's my nest egg for my new marriage, the money yeah, for the death of which my led first to the, wife. <laughs> yeah, which led to the um life insurance dance. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can slow get it. Right? I, it, it's, it surprises me that that somebody would be so quick to get into another marriage and. But to be honest, it surprised me even more that somebody just couldn't divorce a woman. Rather, they would fucking murder them. How about the guy, Far, that, like, you know, he wooed the second woman. She was all into him. Didn't tell her that he was already married, had a home. Somehow was able to keep these lives separate, even though the women lived yeah, not that, that was far wild. from each other. Right? And then decided to stay with the first wife and kill the woman he was engaged Killed to. Killed the second one. Yeah. Yeah, instead of just like, at that point, it's like, Dude, you don't even have to go that far with it. You could just just break it off with her. Thank like, you. It's not the, it's like not even the in the same field as like killing the wife. You know, like at that point, you're just kind of like, okay, dude, like, you, just, just what break the off the engagement. You? Why did you even ask to marry her? Is the obvious thing. Okay, you're a philanderer. Yeah. You were, you stepped out on your marriage. You're a scum fuck. All right, but w why did you? Okay, and you got engaged. Okay, so you're an idiot. But then you decide, okay, this has gone too far. I have to end it. So obviously, the solution is murder. Murder. Yeah. I bet she found out about the wife and was threatening. She it was didn't like sort of blackmail him or something. No. No, she didn't. That's the thing. Yeah. Like she had no idea. Yeah, he did it Neither all of his own volition. Neither of them had like, any he, idea. He simply woke up and chose violence. Yeah. And like we've and like in that one as well, they showed like videos that she had posted to YouTube, right? Like the, the woman that ended up getting killed. And she was just like she seemed like the sweetest person as well. Like nothing really. Yeah. But just genuine. Like she seemed very genuine of like just like, oh yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And, yeah. and, and is like it, and that she, that she guy showed, like, took sewing her stuff to like, Disney dress on her channel. Oh, I'm right. pretty sure that was the same one she showed, like, uh -huh. wedding stuff. Like, she had sewn herself, like, her own wedding dress and shit yeah. on her channel as well. She, she was thus super excited about being engaged yeah, and whatnot. She was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was really just into it. And Sam, the amount of, of, of yeah. confusion that I had watching this, trying to understand how he kept these lives separate because he took the new woman that he was engaged to to fucking Disneyland. It was gone for three or four days. I just can't conceive of a situation whereby you can just leave for days at time at a time on your spouse and not have to ask, really answer any questions. Like it's fine. It's yeah. It was just it was a really fucking odd situation. Honestly, I don't know. Would like you a, would, kind of like a movie plot? Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. Would you would really you want to be in a marriage where your like wife that. was okay with you disappearing for four or five days at a time and posting pictures of you and your woman on your social media and you did, she's not even aware that you got this other Facebook? I mean, it just kind of, I don't know if I would even want that. Yeah, it was no. all kinds of bizarre. I wouldn't want to be that kind of guy. Yeah. I don't know, but call, call me old fashioned, but. <laughs> I, I don't oh. think it's being old fashioned. So I think it's just, you know, having common fucking sense and being a decent person, <laughs> just being like normal. But like the, the the murdering like the murdering of your of your first wife you know to to get the nasty it's like you know, divorce why pay just do her away <laughs> yeah it's like as as bizarre as like that whole thing is it's like you can at least understand that one a little bit more of like you know you don't want to go through the divorce still fucking strange as shit just just go through the divorce man but you know you can at least understand it a little bit killing the the second woman. Instead of just breaking yeah. it off. That's just weird. Yeah, that is just super <laughs> fucking weird. Your previous wife. Yeah, I can totally understand that, but just killing the killing you. <laughs> no, I'm not even I'm not even gonna dignify that with a joke. Maximum penalty for bigamy in Western Australia is five years in prison. Outside the court, Mr. White was uh, uh <clears throat> said he would uh, English. Outside court, Mr. White said he would be fighting the charges against him, quote, because they are false. Asked if he was married to two women at once, he said no. And then he was also said to be surprised to be taken in for questioning by police on Thursday. It's like, okay, so, wait a minute, were you married to two women at the same time or not? And apparently the answer is yes, but he's like, no. No, that's not right. It, they just didn't file it properly. Five years in prison. Hmm. I don't... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, ladies, would you be in a rush to marry this guy? It's like, well, he's got no. his problems. You know, he works hard. I mean, he's married, but, you know, other than that. I, I mean, he's holding both a coffee cup and a, a water bottle in the same hand. I don't know. Good with his hands. Is that the implication we're supposed I, to draw? I guess. I don't fucking know. Like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I can only really think, it's like, is it the money? No, because maybe he's making a lot of money, like doing so? dangerous shit. You think this guy's loaded? Well, well, I'm only guessing. Cause it's like I'm guessing he's working on a dangerous site somewhere with the helmet and the goggles. I get you. So that's, getting that, yeah, because that's that, danger that pay. looks like. Well, because if this is around the Perth area, right, I know a couple of sites in existence mm -hmm. that um, you know, they would require. I'm thinking of one very specific one, and I'm not going to say what it is, right? But I'm thinking of a very specific one that requires those two specific items. Gotcha. And I'm wondering if it's that site. I mean, I don't know how they would pay a specific employee that goes there. And not a contractor. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, but I'm willing to bet, considering the substance they happen to handle. Oh, come on, look at this picture. The guy's clearly just uh, Andrew Tate super charmer. It's... <laughs> It's all that's happening. At least this, <laughs> at least this guy's got a jawline. Yeah, he, he shows up with that bright smile and non-snaggled teeth and shiny head, yeah, and the ladies are just and, and the, the high vis and the non-boots. Well, not in this picture. This picture, he's got sea rocks go behind to, him. Doesn't yeah. go to bed in them far. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. Sometimes you feel tired enough. He's like, I just want to sleep. Right, before we move on to the next thing, I thank everybody who donated and our links yeah, are you. below if you haven't already and there and i can chat. post them in chat again and we really appreciate anyone who does that but you yeah, certainly don't have links. to because if you want to support the show by all means just uh lightly press that like button or or you can share us on social media which is no more difficult than going on twitter and uh retweeting the twit that i sent out earlier uh saying we're going live which would be great yeah. or you can leave a comment below and if you're listening in the future by all means leave a comment below because i get a chance to read them all and respond to most now moving on i do have a thing that i wanted to go through now i've only seen the first picture but the first picture is so good so good okay that i want to do this list and sam sent this list so thank you sam not a problem boom boom look at that Oh, wow. How did you, how did they even manage that? It's a burst cake thing. I love it. That's what I mean. It's it, like, how did you even manage that? That is great, is, is what you're looking it's, for. It's great. It's a cock cake. 
<laughs> I, I believe this is what's referred to in the business as a failed lava cake, because that is clearly an eruption. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it flowing lava in the whole nine yards. What? It is a good goddamn thing. Whatever the fuck was going on inside your oven, you had something for it to flow and rest upon, as opposed to just drip yeah, through the grate no straight down kidding. to the. You know what I mean? I, yeah holy shit 32 kitchen fails that were so bad people had to share online and we're thankful that they did because now we get to laugh at them uh the ladybug rolls I... god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i <laughs> i wow <laughs> and blobfish roll I'm trying to even see the connection. Do you know what oh, I mean? Okay. Like it. <laughs> oh fuck, that's great. <laughs> I mean, it's just. Oh my god. <laughs> had you even ever heard of a ladybug roll? No. Yeah, neither did I. Yeah. No. Have you seen? Them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made them before. What, what, are they honey rolls? What what are they? There's a couple of different ways you can go about uh, doing them here we're, when when we do that kind of thing. It's usually a um, brioche. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pedosaurus, is that Drunkle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's Drunkle's grandmother. I'm just going to go ahead. It's, it's his just... grandmother. Give me a sec. I'm just going to go ahead. Save that it's, image it's... for later. It might be sitting on a AAA couch. I don't know. I did. It's Drunkma. <laughs> Drunkma. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right. It's... <laughs> this was a poor attempt at making the tasty ladybug rolls most of us have tried at least once. Well, not me. This person is no, uh, surely I, horrified I to see the end result of their attempt. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, the foreign cuisine night. <laughs> I love me some char grilled meats. <laughs> Fucking hell. I. <laughs> it's barbecue. Yeah, I, I, I guess. <laughs> Let's try and recognize things. Okay, so sausages and hot dogs or whatever, right? I think that's a hamburger patty back there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. It was. Um, it's now ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there? Are these spring ribs? rolls? Spring rolls, maybe. Spring I, rolls. Why would you put spring rolls on a grill, though? I don't know. To be honest, I kind of assume oh, this came out of an oven burnt or something. Charbecue. I think those right? are ribs on the left. I think those are ribs on the left, though. God, so it okay. wasn't just hamburgers and hot dogs this person fucked up. They fucked up, like, quality meat. Ribs. You bastard. Yeah. I, you can't, as my dad would say, you can't walk away from a barbecue. Yeah. You can't. This is why. I, here's how an attempt to make something yummy turned uh, to could backfire massively. Oh, could backfire massively. Yeah. This person wanted to impress the guests with a meal, but ended up with pieces of charcoal. Well, yeah. I just... Well, no shit. Yeah. God damn. The homemade chicken stuff? Oh. You what asshole. You Did you drain what? away the stock and keep the stuff? Oh my god. I think he did. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And why did you put full drumsticks in there? That's not Aww. how you do that. They left it simmering for hours until they poured it through a strainer. Now, this is what we call a major disaster. The person left the oh, meal simmering for hours until God. they poured it through a strainer. They did not like what they saw afterwards. Oh, my God. I the, the bay leaf in there. They they followed directions. You see what I'm saying? Like they they had a recipe. Yeah, they followed <laughs> directions. Oh my god. <laughs> that is, I'm, I'm laughing at him, but I feel really bad for them that they yeah. made so stupid of a mistake. Like what? I, I... Here's the sad thing, right? I could easily see myself accidentally doing this, just going like, yeah, I'm doing this, and then not realizing until after the fact and looking at it, going, oh, well, I fucked up. See, I've, I've done some dumb things in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know it's probably easier to believe than I think it would be, but I have, okay? And But there are things like this, okay? I have my French press, and I put my coffee grounds in there with new beans, and I will pour the water over top. I'm sitting there talking to somebody on the phone or whatever, and then I realized I never turned the kettle on, and I just poured cold water over the grounds. Yep. 
Call yeah. Us. Let's go. <laughs> this is like, this go. is why though, partly like we just keep here. We just keep turning the kettle on if we forget to put, like actually pour it in. So it's like, oh, I don't think I turned the kettle on. Boop. Oh, it's heating up pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that water boiled fast. It's... <laughs> yeah, like it, th that is literally like both my mom and myself doing that. I, it, because we just walk away and we forget that we boiled it. It's but it, like, it, oh, it's, it's, it's that kind again. of mistake where it's it, <laughs> and the kettle that I have has got like, uh, it's one of the ones where you, it, when you pick it up, the it, it has a base that connects through. Um, like I can't English tonight. I don't know what. I, maybe it's because I'm working cordless. on it and like an hour and a half of sleep. Yeah, it's cordless where the kettle isn't connected to the cord. It's got the base that connects it through a. Yeah, a, yeah, a, you connect it through that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so it has a little switch on the side that lights up. And if you push it down too fast, it'll pop back up. You have to like, push it down for a oh, second what? and then it'll stay. Yeah. yeah. Spring loaded. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, and it is spring weird. loaded because when it gets done boiling, it pops on its own. Yeah. It flicks, uh, yeah. Right. It flicks off. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that's ours as well. Okay. So, and the little detent that it has, I'm imagining it's a detent on the inside, isn't as strong as it could be to click and stay down. You know what I mean? So if you if you hit it too fast, and that's what I imagine I did. I've never done this. The chicken stock. Like, that is yeah, a I, major yeah, fuck never up. Quite, I've never quite done something on this level, but like, I could see myself doing that accidentally. Just not thinking about it. Just, like, doing the motions, right? Yeah. You know, because I'm, I'm used to straining pasta and all that, right? Just thinking about it through there. And, and you know... It gets me though. It's like okay, so they've simmered that for hours, right? If it's just simmered and simmered and simmered and simmered, that's absolutely like there's still something salvageable to that stock. Yeah, but they've put the best bit away, and now they just have over blanched chicken. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, they could still kind of salvage this, maybe, but yeah, the chicken you'd have to probably remove. You'd probably have to get more chicken. Like the vegetables would probably be okay. The only, maybe. I mean, I mean. It, you could just restock it, so to speak, bad pun, but like just pour more water over it and do it again. It's going to be weak, yeah, but yeah. it'll still work. Or you could put in actual chicken stock, like just I would. go fuck it. Yeah, right? Like you just like put in like chicken bullion, yeah. store bought chicken stock. Yeah, just store bought chicken stock. Yeah, just I mean, look at all the. <laughs> yeah, I totally made it myself, guys. I don't know. It's like five, ten, whatever the fuck dollars worth of stuff there. Yeah, I would just reboil it and throw some fucking bullion in there. I mean, come on. It, yeah, it, it'd be like it's salvageable it. on that level. Oh God, cherry oh, cobbler! Oh my God, that has a tortured soul trap <laughs> within. Yeah. <laughs> I, it it with a nosebleed, then a deviated yeah. septum. I. <laughs> what is it you desire from the cherry cobbler, traveler? We guess this dessert uh, could make you have nightmares for many nights after you saw it even once. Uh, these things we want to achieve are not... The things we want to achieve are not always possible, I guess. I mean, I'm sure it tasted a fine. A, I, a cobbler for your troubles. Yeah, I, it's... <laughs> I mean, tortured souls are delicious. I, they are. Oh, they are. Can attest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen this before. I think I've seen this before, but it's always so great. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! I already did the Spider-Man thing. This channel is done. I this. <laughs> Del Four in chat says, "I need a copy of this, right?" <laughs> Screenshot it, man. Like, we'll just hold it on the screen for a moment. I'll, I'll shoot you the <laughs> link you if you want. It's authority. You can have it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I just like how it's like the hedgehog. It's menacing. Just the hedgehog. It doesn't. It, it, it don't look like no hedgehog. It looks like a person's head. No. Like, you, you know, it. I... Yeah, like, they just put a bunch of spikes into his head what are the spikes anyway what are they that I, that's what i was thinking any guesses sam chocolate rolls of some I variety i don't think uh, those twix? are twix i think those are chocolate fingers um oh, chocolate fingers? Do a, you know, oh, they're yeah. like a, like a very narrow yeah, they kind of, short twix yeah, they kind of do no like chocolate in fingers it. don't they yeah are those like like chocolate fingers so like what would that be like a chocolate coated lady finger like he used for tiramisu 
Not quite. No, it's 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 about half, probably about half the breadth of your uh, of your little finger. I would say, Polly. Okay. Um, uh, just sort of like malted biscuit types. So the same stuff that you get in a Twix, right? No caramel, and then just milk chocolate around the outside. Okay. It's shocking. Shocking. I I, I want to know what the teeth yeah. and and gums are made out of. Holy shit. They might. Maybe they're like. I almost wanted to say they could potentially be like the gummy teeth you can buy, but they don't look quite right. For that. Oh, those like are probably mini marshmallows. Slightly. The teeth. Yeah, they're probably marshmallows. Uh, like the teeth yeah. are at least. No idea what but the gums the are. Thing is, though, you can buy you can buy like gummy lollies that are like just teeth. I feel like Chris Chan's made this cake. <laughs> you, Sam, Chris Chan can't even fucking make his own meals. He goes to McDonald's. Or he did before he went to prison. Burger King, mostly. Yeah, Burger King. You know, it's like, come on. Like, do you really think he's going to make a cake? Fact for In you here, right? There is a fast food restaurant here that does burgers and fries and so on and so forth. That is called Quick. <laughs> oh my god. Petrosaurus. Lady figures are a thing. I didn't make that up. It's a it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, they're a thing. Yeah. Um <laughs> absolutely. I don't uh, think they're the best. Sometimes called trifle thing. fingers. Trifle fingers? Never heard that description before, but it, it, yeah. obvious it's kind of an operative name, isn't it? Uh okay, far. Um you just, yes. me you just mentioned lollies and there's lots of lollipops throughout Australia because they keep coming up. Have you seen the meme of Skeletor? saying um <laughs> a lollipop is just you swallowing your own flavored saliva <laughs> no, and, and, and then he, until yeah. next time and him running away holy shit i, I laugh know, but i hate it <laughs> thanks for that Paul. so the next time you have a sucker a lolly yeah yeah you're just you're just enjoying your own flavored saliva <laughs> I, isn't that what we're always doing though not like you are with a lollipop it's it's <laughs> Whew. Okay, moving along. Thanks, Polly. Uh, I hate it. Uh, the cocktail. Oh, <laughs> that's not a fail. That that's an achievement. I. You've used the wrong end of the banana. Yeah. It doesn't even look oh, like a banana. No. It looks it looks like they used a, a slice of pineapple or something. I think it is a banana. It's just look at the way they've got it in the glass on the left, and look at how they've like shoved it on the edge. On the right? You've turned, you've I turned don't think dolphin. it's supposed to be shoved on the edge like that. You've turned a dolphin design into a trout, is what they've done there. It's a salmon. <laughs> it's a salmon head. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, like Zelda so says, this looks like a fish. One person inspired by a cocktail on the left and decided to surprise his wife with the same set of needles to say he did a sloppy job and didn't get a sloppy That's nod for it. That's not a sloppy it. job. That's fantastic. It, That's a fucking fantastic thing you've done there buddy and well he, done i love how he didn't like Be proud. cut a split into it to uh, uh, situate it on the edge of the glass like he just actually cuts a wedge right out of it you know yeah. what i mean yeah be be proud of your salmon cocktail man it, it looks great and look how small that is that's not even a banana that's like a plantain no no i think like that is banana Aren't those mini bananas called plantains? Am I way off? No, plantains are I... the really big ones that don't taste sweet. Oh. What are the little mini ones called? Uh, pygmy bananas? That, sure. <laughs> Go with that. I think it's no just idea. a normal banana. It's just the glass is so big. And it looks like he's got like some <laughs> shitty old fucking cocktail umbrella that he's had from the 70s that just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is... oh, no, you know what that is, right? He's taken some plastic straws off of juice boxes, and then, uh, and then like a muffin. Um, uh, what what they called? Uh, the the yeah, paper I know cup what you things mean. for muffins. The paper yeah, cup, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's made one. <laughs> the muffin cup. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> the French fries. Oh my God! Is this Rich Evans? <laughs> right. This was his grandmother's house. <laughs> you gotta be cool. About fire safety. Look at the I fucking destroyed whatever ceiling was there Fuck to the point where they had to rip me. it away. That is so much. That is so much. Fuck. Either oh that or that God. was exposed beams. 
I, it might have been exposed, but I don't know because there's too much stuff. It looks like there's stuff actually hanging that could have been a ceiling. On right. It. it it doesn't look like the ceiling beams are scorched themselves. I think the ce whatever was there was just destroyed and they've ripped it all away. Yeah, that no. is impressive though. Looking at the damage around the rest of the room, I yeah, this has been an oil fire. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I mean the French fries, you know. <laughs> That gives you an indication. Yeah. And you yeah, see the ship. To... Sorry, go ahead, Seth. No, no. Go, go right ahead. I was going to say, you see all the uh, the splashing all over the cupboards and the uh, oven and whatnot. A lot of, it looks like a lot of water damage, too, from putting the, the fuck out. Yeah. Gotta be cool about buying a safe place. I think I recognize that. You recognize what? You recognize the. I think, I think I recognize the brand of water bottle there. Yeah, it is sold in France, so this might actually be an actual French picture. <laughs> actually, I just noticed something. How the fuck did those curtains survive? I... Made of asbestos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn luck. Ouch, this must have been a devastating fire, and we hope that everyone was okay afterwards. The person who, start, who shared this image revealed it was the aftermath of their sister's attempt to make French fries. Ooh. Did she do? Gotta Loves a whole cool potato in the fucking fat. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, I can't get Sam that went seriously wrong. I mean, uh, just don't try and put faces into pancakes. It never works out. I, I like blueberry pancakes personally. Uh, yeah, but don't make it a face. No. I did. I did. I did like blueberry pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> the apple. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see what's happened. It's an apple cutter core that broke in half halfway. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just stuck in the apple. That's amazing. <laughs> So this is a Halloween treat for all the children in the neighborhood, Polly. They just stick it's razor blades the one in an apple. Time you actually have to worry about razor blades in a fucking apple on Halloween. Right? It's the one time. See, so you don't understand. My oh mind was just reeling because I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, so somebody stuck a bunch of blades out of this thing. There's lady shoes there for some reason. Like, I, I you know, I, <laughs> my I mind was working. I realize what the things I, on the sides I, were at first. Either until I'm like looking at it a bit more. It's like, oh no, there's cuts on the apple there and there and there. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the it's the fucking cutter thing. That's what that is. It just broke. Made out of pure chineseum. Oh don't God. buy on Fish.com. Yeah, please don't buy off wish.com. Please. The bread pudding. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it has face. It has face. Look at it. It's just like, oh, I exist. Existence is Mother. pain. It's, like, it's just great. <laughs> Mother, why did you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> why did. Mother, why do I suffer? Mother, put me right out of my misery. This is what happens when you leave bread pudding in the back of an oven and continue using it for five days straight. Mother. Mother. I didn't ask to exist. <laughs> five fucking days. <laughs> I don't use my oven every day, but apparently these people do. I... Oh my god. I see, it, I couldn't do that. It doesn't look that. like it's smiling. That's like, the end result was something that looks like a, a smiley. Right? That doesn't look like it's smiling. That just looks like... <laughs> That just... <laughs> I'm trying so, to work oh my out God. how the face thing has ended up in it. Have they done that after the fact? I think I would if I did that. Would well, be pure yeah, char. Right. I, I wouldn't imagine that you could. I don't know if you could. Yeah. Okay, I got just a very small bell saw. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> en en enough of that. <laughs> the winemaker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. No. God, it just gets better when you scroll down. <laughs> no, why would you do this? <laughs> oh, I see. It's got, it, one of the kitchen wand things that you you dunk into something to uh, blend. Oh my god. <laughs> In a fucking bucket full of grapes. <laughs> oh, oh god. god, is that what happened? I I think so. Let's just read. Someone's dad tried to make wine in the middle of the kitchen. He is to say it was a bad idea from the start, but you see that it went off the rails at some point. That would be hard to clean. 
That is the most dad, ma like, making shit in the kitchen thing I have seen in a while. Honestly, just... Like, it just keeps going and going. Whoa. Like, I can understand it's, spilling what something. I mean. What the fuck, though? No, that's what I mean. It's like, oh, yeah, I can really make wine at home. Gets the fucking, like, hand wand blender thing mm -hmm. and a bucket and a bunch of grapes. Yeah, I could totally imagine dads everywhere doing that. It's just, yeah, the most dad destruction you could possibly family create. comes home and it's like look just don't go in the kitchen of course that makes everyone want to go in the yes. kitchen you know yeah exactly you see what i mean it's just yeah the most dad thing you could do make your own wine and it's a complete fucking disaster but you got it guys if you want to dunk a fucking blending wand whatever they're called i, I could actually use one of them things um but regardless yeah. uh yeah. do it in the garage where you make the meth. Yeah, right. Do it outside. Yeah. Do it outside. You could be like that wine stomping no, lady. Bell. Oh, God. Am I... <laughs> oh, gen wow, genuinely. Right. <laughs> genuinely, do it outside. The, the the fresh air is good for the grape. It is. Speak, listen to the Frenchman. Yeah, they know. We've got centuries yeah. of experience in this matter. It's, yeah. it's in our blood. Literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. They, they have a high alcohol level in their blood at all times. Uh, the spaghetti. Oh, the spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I love this picture so much. You don't need to cook in order to make a mess. Person wanted to reheat some pasta to have for dinner, and this is what happened. It's a real bummer when it happens. I don't. Oh, there was a line that he said when he posted that to him, originally. He's like, I mother fa fucking hate my motherfucking life. And it's just that picture. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the line. So, what? He has a pl he's So, he's got a plate of spaghetti. And he drops yeah. it, and it just so happens to land right on top of his open slippers. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, that's yeah. really bad and unfortunate aim. Well done, sir. Yeah. <laughs> H hence the point like i goddamn motherfucking hate my motherfucking life at least he won't have to add it i won't have to add any parmigiano <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be sad if he actually had added all the cheese right already on top and he's just getting ready to mix it all together <sighs> you know you know, the guy's oh, been dear. hungry all day long he's been working hard and it, yeah, yeah I'm and looking and forward to it yeah, and he comes home and he like just fucking does this. I'm gonna sit down, watch that movie I've been looking forward to for a while, and and boom, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and then afterwards, he goes over to his little little decision maker and he and he flicks it and he goes, "Now can I kill myself? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! I want to die." The spoon. Oh my god. <laughs> You, you asshole! Were you mixing like banana bread or something and dropped a spoon in it and didn't know? I he's trying oh, to smuggle no. weapons to the to the French resistance. <laughs> oh my! This is the no. This is the Ottomans trying to sneak like you know weapons into Western Australia, Western Australian <laughs> independence and all that. <laughs> Big Dro asks, uh, "Is Sam really French?" Yes, he absolutely yes. is. Yep. Well, en fait, en fait, oui, c'est la vérité. There we go. See, he, for all I know, he told French. me to go fuck myself. He's absolutely French. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I said, yeah, I said, yeah, in fact, that's the truth. Can you tell, can you tell us to go fuck ourselves? <laughs> Va vous faire enculer. <laughs> what is that? There we go. I'm actually legitimately curious because I, 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 I'm certain there's cuss words that don't really have a meaning. Like, fuck doesn't really have a meaning. We apply meaning to it, if you know what I mean. So what, what does that literally yeah. mean, what you just said? Like, does it literally mean go go have intercourse with yourself, or is it just cuss words? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, so you would use you would you would use aller uh, for, for for the plural, um, it, which is um, when you when you put uh, aller before vous vous meaning you plural or uh, formal you you know so to a to a superior. Okay. Um, when you put when you put aller first, it uh, it's referred to as an imperative. You're not you're not describing a situation. You're not inquiring about a situation. You are commanding the situation. So allez vous, and then faire is the uh, infinitive of the of the of the uh, uh, form of the verb, which means to make or to do. Uh, and then enculé is also the infinitive form of, uh, of enculé, which means the uh, ass fuck. Go to fucking the ass to bugger. <laughs> oh, so you're not even like saying like go fuck yourself. You're just saying like get yeah, go fucking ass. 
<laughs> yeah, you, you, it, it's one of those yeah, things like go. For... Yeah, like you can't quite one hundred percent translate something like go fuck yourself. You have to yeah, like, that... come up with like the equivalent. It is kind of a verb that kind of works for fuck. It's uh, foutre. It doesn't. It's not. It's not the same as fuck because we've got different. We've got different fucks for different situations, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, if you want to say um, that something is fucked, as in like it's fucked up, it's damaged, it's broken, it right. would be nike. Um, which comes Careful. from a verb, and this can also be. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. He's speaking French. He's, he's teaching us French. Oh it's no, we we it's we fine. have that word too. We have that word too, and it doesn't sound like that. <laughs> it sounds much closer to the original Spanish, and I'll say no more. Um... <laughs> I, you know, you know, it's funny. Um... A friend of mine who's Chilean, right? It is. Uh, uh, they don't have the race issues because they don't have people fucking stirring the pot the way that we do. Um, the, the, the blancos and the negros. And it's not, it, that, oh, that person, mm. negros is the way you'll say it. It, it, mm. it just means black, right? Because they have like a whole range of skin tones in Chile as they do throughout yeah. South America, right? And somebody who's like a, a light skin, not white, is it blanco? And he goes, and there's this other word that we use, et cetera, et cetera. I just, I find it funny where it's, it's like, he goes, yeah, we've got, there's of course racial like racially insulting words but it isn't negro and he goes when i first came here that was really hard to wrap my head around that the word negro was yeah. a bad word and i'm like why and that's when i began to realize that anything can have baggage hung on it you know what i mean and i'm like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's an interesting insight you're not wrong man it's <laughs> yeah it's like how over the... here we call it the english palms but it's like the rest of the world it's kind of like not even really a thing right I'm sorry, Sam, so you, you, you were saying, in case you can't tell, Sam's also a linguist. It's which, yeah. 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 So when you ask him yes, a question about language, you get like an actual fulsome <laughs> explanation. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we, we typically, I mean, like, it, it, it's not actually all that common to refer to, to people by, by race here, uh, oddly enough. Um, I mean, we're with the, with the crossroads of Europe, right? We have people from all directions coming in and, and we're, we're the most visited nation on the planet as well. So it really, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, something like 180 million people a year. Fuck. Like, I, I get the history and the tourism and the whatnot, but I wouldn't have guessed that yeah. number. Holy shit. A, a lot of them, a lot of them are, are, uh, Chinese tourists. We have an awful lot of Chinese tourists, huh. a lot of Vietnamese as well, and yeah, Vietnamese very, very makes sense nations. in a weird way. Yeah. Like, no, we, we've got Vietnamese quite... makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, so the Middle Easterners um, come Chinese. and stay, but the Chinese come and go home, huh? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's why we like them. Um... <laughs> 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 they bring money as well. I mean, our tourism industry is, is massive, truly really massive, yeah. but um. But yeah, no language. It's so so so. It's it's not that we don't have words for black people. We do. We we you know. Um, in a more polite setting, you would probably refer to them as les noirs, sure, literally okay. the blacks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in a colloquial sense, we also use just use the English word les blacks. J'ai vu un black. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually okay. So I'm curious. This uh, I've never thought about this before. Now, as a native French speaker, but someone who's very very familiar with English. When you hear the when you first heard noir bar, does it strike you as black bar or noir as in the way that English people use noir as in film noir? No, oh, it struck it's it's one of those things, right? The I, I suppose in order to kind of explain it, I'd have to kind of explain how how the language is processed in my mind, right? Um, yeah, it's when like when I'm speaking English with you guys, it's not. It's not that it goes into my brain and then my brain translates it into French and then I understand it. It's more along the lines of, uh, how can I say this? Um, you no, know, you, you you hear the word car and you hear the word automobile. Uh -huh. It means basically the same thing to you in your mind. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which yeah. one somebody uses. It it just the the image is conjured in your mind. Exact same thing. If I hear voiture or, or car or bagnole and ride, yeah, they mean the exact same thing in my mind. More of a thesaurus situation. So back to huh, right. uh, noir bar, black bar, film noir. So how does that? So yeah, when it when it when, when it when it comes to noir bar, because noir has got these various different meanings, and in does and indeed does in does in French as well. And French is a very contextual language, right? We've got much less words, but we can say just as complicated things as you can in English. Right. No, when I heard noir bar, 
it, it was it was the 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 sort of the um the the English understanding of noir that that, that came to mind. Yeah. Again, from from purely from context. Yeah, because what would because obviously it's an English speaking show, so it would have that context to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's um yeah. The, the, the way the way I think about language and, and, and it's actually very beneficial for learning other languages as well um, I don't have to learn every individual word and what it means in a language that I understand I can derive what a word means in a language using other words that I know in that language from context yeah so, so yeah, I mean, one you know, of those things you pick up what's funny to me is it's a, a lot of people here I'm sure know um, Scribe Light uh, and I've streamed with them a number of times Scribe's great He's got this series, or used to have, I think. It, yeah, it is used to have the series called uh, "Familiar with the Matter," where we would just interview somebody who's familiar with the matter, what whatever it might be. I don't know anything about the industry of trucking, so he asked somebody that he knows from the audience that has been a professional truck driver for X amount of years, and you find out all these fucking things that you wouldn't know otherwise. I'm like, that's actually a really cool idea for a series, for an ongoing YouTube series. Uh, it, if somebody with a, with a much larger channel had done it, like Scrap's a good interviewer and a good speaker, it would have been hugely popular. That's one of the problems with the algorithm. Yeah. It doesn't push forward good content. The reason I bring yeah. that up is I would love to do that with Sam, not to be doxy about him, and I won't be, but it's like when I, when I think about it, it's like, so Sam's lived in France, the UK, the United and, States, yeah. France again, and he's been all over military service. He's a and tech Belgium, guy. Romania. Yeah. Okay. He's a tech guy and has a military background. And it's like <laughs> just the anecdotes, man. I've only heard like a smattering of them. And it's just like, all right, you know, <laughs> let's <laughs> let's find out about Samuel's history. Let's start with that name. What the hell? Let's you know? <laughs> right? like, begin with your name. What the fuck is up with that, man? Yeah, what, what, the, what, um, Sam honestly, I mean, I I know honestly, it, but that's by I, accident. I know, I you know, know why, but it's just yeah, it's just funny. It's like, Sam ah, I, hmm. Not not to, I'm not going to state specifics about it, but uh, it's it is a familial name. It, uh, it's absolutely a familial name. Black bar would be in bar noir rather than bar bar. Would oh, okay, would. That, yeah, fair enough. Can see the point. I see what yeah. you're saying. So what you're uh, saying is those are our French competitors. Got it. Right. Now let's see how these <laughs> bastards got a spoon in a cake. I... Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn. Le Bar Noir baking a spoon <laughs> in your cakes. Oh, that poor spoon. It's been battered. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it sums up my feelings. <laughs> When cooking, you must keep an eye on every detail if you want them to have the best results. Losing a spoon and making a cake is a problem, but you will eventually find it, we guess. I like to think that this person was trying to help somebody break out of prison. They're just absolutely incompetent and gave them a spoon. Yeah, right? It's like, what are you going to do for the fucking spoon? Dig your way out of the prison? You know what comes to mind when, I was, when you were talking about that? There's... Uh, a certain book that went by one title and then another and noir was in there and so on but it was in a particular contextualized manner so you know film noir and it it gets its name from um the fact that it's in black and white but more than that it, that the heavy heavy use of shadows from german horror films it's mm -hmm. we're, we're going to film a mystery story in the style of a suspense slash horror film and that is what creates the bedrock the groundwork for what film noir is you know, um, so if you had a this is noir bar, like after, so mystery, cigarettes, detectives, uh, uh, people of uh, duplicitousness, uh, a lot of uh, miscreants and ill intent and so on and so forth. That, it, that word noir comprises all of those things. How would you oh, so. name something in French to try and get close to that? What would it be? That's a very good question. That is a very, very good question. Noir I bar? Don't, <laughs> don't rightly know. <laughs> like I'm well, what's the word It's a very good question. I'm assuming like is, it's is sometimes it the case that uh, I, I lose patience with people that, oh, well, it loses something in translation and then use more words. Or like try and find a similar 
thing for it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, you can't yeah. describe it in that. There, a there, simple it, analog. There is no word to describe this one thing. As it gets, and it, then use more words. And if it takes you a paragraph to de describe that one word because it's culturally contextual and requires this explanation, then provide it. Like I said, I lose patience. I'm on campus where people say, oh, it's in this language and you know, you'll just never get it. And it's like, fucking try. I... I, I don't believe you'll get 100% of the way there, but you can try for 80 or 90, man. Give it a fucking effort, for Christ's sake. So anyway, you were saying so. Yeah, I, I, I think there is there is a word that comes to mind. It's kind of an old word. Um, and yeah, I, th I think I would probably go with Gredin. G-R-E-D-I-N. It basically means like a rogue or a vagabond. Okay. What was and that again? Gredin? Gredin, yeah. G-R-E-D-I-N. No accent. Yeah, yeah. Good, good luck trying to maybe say that yeah, with a French accent. Great on. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, <laughs> le, le bar Gredin. Yeah, the rogue bar. And bar. That really, bar. You, you cool as shit. In French, you don't that go with the cool full cabaret. Shit. You just the bar is also a word. Oh no! Yeah, just 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 bar. Yeah, just bar. No shit. Um. Huh. Yeah. Uh. There there are also there's also words that get used relatively commonly for for bars that also double as like cigarette shops, which is a comptoir. Which is just like a counter. Literally translates as counter. Huh. I should take my shot at French YouTube and uh, <laughs> re, yeah. re, rename the bar <laughs> yeah. that and put up French fucking closed captions and uh, there you go. Huh? I just... <laughs> Moving on with people in their food <laughs> fuck ups. Um... <laughs> That unironically though sounds like such a fucking cool name. Like, what was it? it Le Bargredin? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Le Bargredin, yeah. It does. Le I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. It's got a panache to it. Panache. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. Was, that. You're welcome. The pasta. Oh my god. I love how the lid is blurred. It looks like this is in mid-occurrence. Like, it's falling and it's blurred, you know? It... Oh my god. Here's how cooking pasta for dinner can end up. The person spilled the first batch of it, it's mac and cheese quit saying pasta you, you're clearly making mac and cheese here uh is loaded with a second pot only to break the handle fuck that's what you're holding up doing oh no see that is reason enough what? to throw shit across the room I, dude, when your apple cutter breaks your fucking pot handle snaps off and distra the, the, the disaster results yeah you're just fine throwing something across the room not at someone across the room The egg. Is that, oh. is that macaroni oh, or is that um? What the oh, fuck God. is that? Why does it and why does it look like it's like a little dude with long hair just kind of leaning on top of the egg? I... <laughs> it looks like the inspector from the Pink Panther cartoon <laughs> with straw in on his head. What oh the my fuck? God. It looks like form deliberately like plastic. Yeah. So is this a micro? I'm guessing because I haven't read below yet. This is a microwaved egg that burst, and it happened to come out in this really interesting way. I think oh, maybe microwave but... eggs. Yeah, sadly they do. Yeah. Why? Whole that's, eggs. That's, the only re... that's worse than microwaving your tea. The only reason that I know of it, and context in which I know of it, is it. So you got weightlifters, right? Or whatever, anyone exercising to bulk up and they need to take in protein, eggs are great protein. So right. it's I'm not going to break out a pan and oil and whatever and scramble the egg. Best bet, take a Pyrex mixing cup, crack your three eggs in there, stir it into the microwave and oh, yeah, boom, no, scrambled eggs and then eat it right out of the mixing cup because you're trying to get the protein fast because I'm off to the gym. That's the context I heard it in. Fair enough for scrambled eggs, but like, like this? No, never like this. No, no. Oh, God, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> That was penne. It was. Yeah, it looks look at like that. Wait a minute, hold on. If you look at this one, it looks corkscrewy, like fusilli. Uh, no, it could be fusilli actually. I, uh, I think it is penne. Then how do you I explain the corkscrewies? I don't know. Maybe... It's a melange. Yeah, mixed pasta. You could do that with certain pastas. Uh, well, if, if 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 you get your fusilli thinny uh, thinny enough thin enough, you could put it inside. Thinny enough. Penny. Uh, no, no, th thinny. <laughs> I, we we heard it. You, you it. own it, thinny. Yeah. <laughs> thin thin and thin thin skinny. Enough. I was thinking skinny and thin at the same time, and it came out yeah, like that. Yeah, so it's thinny. I'm not saying I have a problem a with pasta. it. I think thinny is fine. It's <laughs> thinny is a great word. <laughs> okay, oh, let's read what happened. That's, that's my rap name. Boiling an egg. 
is easy unless something goes wrong. In this case, something went very wrong, and we cannot say exactly what. It seems that we will never see such a result, and we're fine with that. So this is... Um... I a line fracture in the egg, I guess. You ended up with a poached egg. How? Okay, but how is it that just the yolk in majority came out and just a little bit of white? Yeah. Why is there so right. much yolk? <laughs> is it a double yolk, yolk egg? You know. Yeah. But I. But then. That's what I'm thinking. Usually the yolks are half the size when that happens. You know. This is creepy. Oh, with my chickens, Polly, I make them suffer for my double yokers. <laughs> Are you the corn? <laughs> it's corn. It is certainly corn. Chat, this photograph is not in black and white. Uh, this... It, this is not noir corn. <laughs> yeah, right. It's... It seems that people can easily get distracted and make a huge corn. mess. Never leave a barbecue. Okay, like my dad said, you can't walk away from a barbecue. <laughs> Not to mention that they could uh, create a dangerous setup. Grilling corn for a couple of hours is such a situation. You want to know what gets me? I think they've left the cover over the barbecue while they've been doing this, right? How the kernels have not started to pop. Grey on corn. <laughs> That's a good point, Dr. Functional. It would be. It would be. It's, it's funny, no matter what you Sorry. do to corn, it still looks like corn. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what you do, it's still corn. <laughs> and grilled corn can be so delicious too. It, and it doesn't take but a few short minutes. <laughs> oh, just enough so the butter will melt over the top. <laughs> That's hilarious. The pie. <laughs> the racist, <laughs> racist pie. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Big what was crap. that supposed to be before? That's the tank engine's new face. Yeah, it's oh just it's just a pie failure. There's that's there's nothing more to say. Blueberry, I'm guessing. And I'm a guessing. big big fan of blueberries, yeah. so this is particularly horrible for me. And it looks like a, uh, a homemade crust, tragically. Oh no! Oh, so it'd be good crust as well. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like it's irregular. Well, so I mean, it's at like... least it tastes. It would probably taste fine. It's just has a freaky face. Is that Kalu? It doesn't look like Kalu oh or Kayu. Yeah, Is I guess. Kalu. Fucking, fucking bold piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, far? What's your problem with it? <laughs> Have you never seen Kyrie? Yeah, I have. I, I mean, I've yeah. I've never watched a whole episode, but I've flipped through the retro cartoon channel and it yeah. comes up, so I'm aware of yeah, it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so you know. He, no, like, it's just... What does he do? What's your problem? Does he owe you money? What's the... Because you're just, mad. No, What's... he's just... No, he's just, like, a really bratty kid in the show, so it's just a fucking, you know, that piece of shit. Is he? Is that the shtick of the yeah. show, that he's a brat? He's pretty fucking bratty. I don't. I think it's supposed yeah, it's to come off as almost charming, but it just it never does. I legit thought that that show was. I, I you know I don't know why it was obviously an incorrect assumption, but like I thought it was just like a, a, a this guy, this kid who's well-meaning and doesn't know very much goes and gets on adventures because he's curious. I thought that was the whole thing of the show. Well, that probably is the thing of the show. It's just it's not handled very well. What's the name of the show that you were playing the video game for like four years ago? The girl and her dog and she goes around the world. Oh, Madeline. Is, is it just Madeline? See, I thought it was on that level. Did he just like this? I think it's supposed to be. Like, that's the thing. It's supposed to be. It's just, yeah, it's just not handled very well. Well, that's, that's not good. When you write a character to be no. like, like the central protagonist and they're supposed to be likable and, and uh, identifiable with because they're just a general nice person, they turn out to be a fucking prick. Hey, that's a pretty bad failure. Yeah. This, this isn't this isn't just Caillou. This is Caillou Goes to the Orient. Yokato, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Far Hates Children confirmed. Yeah, well, yes. That is the final confirmation, although I strongly suspected it up until now. Uh, I don't hate children. I just hate annoying children i like it, anya 
If Sinatra were here, I think he would be the first one to tell us that that's all children. <laughs> you could love them and find them annoying at the same time. I, I that's Look, what I've heard. I, I do like child characters. I'm saying, like Anya, come on. Yeah, but she. I'm not annoyed by all children. <laughs> yeah, but she's an Anya. Doesn't act like a a little bratty kid. She's a per, she, precocious no, she and hilarious. Act, yeah, but she does act like a little kid. In an adult way, if you know what I mean. Not really. Really? No. I thought she was the one that was like, because she could read people's minds, she was like able she to... She can, but, that, but she's still a child. That's the funny part. It's still all up for interpretation on her part. <laughs> that, but that That's actually a terrifying thought, and it would take the Japanese to bring such a thing to us. <laughs> Like was was wasn't the child like, that can read people's minds. The guy was a adults. spy, so he went to adopt her, and she could read his mind, so knew what she want, what he wanted, and just went along with it. And he thinking that she had no clue. Was is that right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. I can't believe I remember yep, that because you told me that like lies. four years ago. Yeah. I just... <laughs> which is why she lies about her fucking age, because she's definitely not six. What is she? She's, no one really knows the exact age, but she's definitely not six. She's she just she's seen as like hmm yeah like she doesn't look that old. Well, what is she four or fifteen? Like basically, what... probably four. She's probably okay. four, but it just adds to the hilarity of the whole thing. Although it's, like, it's yeah, Japan, she's, she's so she could be twenty five. <laughs> hey, Carol Soto <Sultan. laughs> and Eric, how you doing? It, uh, oh, and Frankie, new people coming in. Great, glad to see it. Uh, yeah. The strawberry cakes. Oh my god. Oh my those are cakes. Oh those are cats. I thought they were bears. I don't know why. I just Yeah. Th those are cakes. They do. They do look bearish. Are they jelly cakes? They're to create cat shaped you know, like... cakes in special pans. I I don't... The only time I've ever I... seen this work out and work out well are the super giant gummy bear molds and yeah. This awesome channel on YouTube made a bunch of ballistic gel gummy bears and they shoot at them all the time. It's the only time I've ever seen that okay. work. Okay, hear me out on this though, Polly. All right. You take a bunch of gummy bears and you take a load of vodka and you just keep like mixing them and melting them down and all that kind of thing. And then you pour it into one of those casts and then you put that in the fridge so you end up with a giant vodka bear. That's not completely crazy. It's not, is it? No. <laughs> No. Hey, Grisella's here too. Yep, you made it before last call. You certainly did. Uh, glad to have you. Always happy to see you here. Uh, Grisella's like... Yeah, let's one, get around him. One of the people who's been like here since like episode 20 of Kung Fu Curation. So, you know, gotta love a long time. Indeed. Viewers. And hello. Or I was well. Sorry, how are you? I wasn't reading chat for a second. The stove. This person loaded uh. a whole pot and put it on the stove. After an hour or so, the pot still kept on the person. Oh my. Okay, I get it now. Why isn't the pot getting hot? Hmm. Oh my god. A stove has a burning ring. You asshole. I don't have natural uh, natural gas stove. I'm not happy about it. I'd like to have one. This person has one and look what they do with it. That pisses me the fuck America. off. America. I just what that is. Oh, that, that that angers me. It really does. It's... <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That's... <laughs> A fucking hour, you asshole. I... The spill. <laughs> oh no! Now that's not just in a kitchen. That's in a, that's in a like... Restaurant? A restaurant yeah. chicken. Like, kitchen, you know? restaurant chicken, chicken. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? but yeah it's like a fucking like charge it horse except the chicken but it's a restaurant what's so funny with no, restaurant it's chicken a like... uh, 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 kitchen <laughs> but yeah that's like that's like some restaurant kitchen you know <laughs> this that is... just makes it even better it's like holy shit uh this person uh the person caused the mess you see Five minutes before they went home after a long 12 hour oh, shift you know what oh. we can forgive that then i think yeah that's all that, that's bad buddy that's rough oh uh second issue for project shadow breed 
dropped on Wednesday. Do you want the link? Uh, hell yes, I do. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, if you could, um, like if it's out in like public, uh, link it to me on Twitter and then I can, uh, not only will I have it, I can retweet it. So that'll be good. Yeah, there you go. A lamb shaped cake. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Mmm, <laughs> Baker Senpai. Paint me like one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's pretty fucking bad. Oh, man. Fuck, it's no. not just bad, it's bad. <laughs> ba, ba, not boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean what I said. Boo. Holy shit. What is even making up the top right lamb? Was that coconut? Uh, Shredded coconut? Maybe. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, possibly. Either that or that really flaky, very white chocolate. Oh, yeah. Shaving, shavings of said chocolate. Yeah. Whatever it is, you fucked up on the bottom. Nice try. Jesus. I... Yeah, holy crap, did you fuck up? <laughs> it looks like it has a name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Florence, why did you do this to me? <laughs> oh, I'm just yeah. delighted to be here. The pie. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, I've done this. No. I've done this. <laughs> Look at... <laughs> Oh my god, look at the detail of the pie crust. I'm just noticing the flowers and what I was just looking at the lattice, oh, how well it's no. done. I, I just Oh, that's just really sad. Is beautiful. That's yeah, when it, that is That is so sad. Gravity has come for revenge. Fuck. Imagine how amazing that would have looked once baked. You know what I mean? I just oh, right. Oof. It would almost be a crime to eat, to actually eat the damn thing. Oh, God. Wow. All right, that's just tragic. Let's move on. The Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. BDSM turkey. I want this picture. Not turkey. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. What was, the, what was the word for rogue again? Sam? The good aunt, hey great, great aunt turkey. It's so shiny. Yeah, great aunt turkey. <laughs> if you got... If you could see my face, I... <laughs> Sam, what's the word for turkey? Dand. Sorry? Dand. Dand. Great on dand. I... There's dand, only... dand, dand, great dand. There's only one thing to do dand with a picture like this. There we go. Dand, great dand. <laughs> kind of rhymes almost, doesn't it? Thank you, Zelfo. <laughs> Just... This... There it is. Off on Twitter. No context. Just, just take it in. Take it in. I will say that over and over because I find it that fucking funny. I'm going to compose a song and that will be the title of it. it One person's I will, I will sister decided to bake a turkey for Thanksgiving. And you can see that the attempt did not go very well. That explains nothing. Yeah, play Dr. Zach. Bring out the gimp. Right. Why is it so shiny? I don't... I can see burning a bird, but... I think they've like they've basted it at some point and then walked yeah. away and forgotten about it. Basted it with what? Sweet crude? Yes. <laughs> America. <laughs> <laughs> That's just shocking. I because you can see the splits where they're like, yeah, it's not a fake turkey. That's a real bird, if you know what I mean. It just whew. <laughs> the homemade bread. Oh, it, Ooh, it, it, oh. It, it was rising and will not be stopped by anyone. <laughs> how do you spell, how do you spell done the great on again? D-I-N-D-E. It's down D -I -N -D -E. to Turkey. And then great yeah. is G-R-E-D-I-N. E-D-I-N. Yeah, done the grain on. It does not look at all how you say it. Okay, then. Did they leave it in the plastic? Done the grain on. 
<laughs> Possibly. I'm the, I, I mean, that's a fair suggestion, <laughs> Frankie. I'm, lo I'm looking now. That's why I'm looking back. Yeah, like, that could do it, could, wouldn't it? Like, if it was less no in the plastic. Well, it doesn't look like it's one wing here is bonded to the side. Like, there were... I don't know. Yeah. It's a better explanation <laughs> than anything I have, but fair enough. Maybe the plastic. I. And what's what is this? Like, has it retracted off of its own arm bone? Yeah, it looks oh, that way. Oh, God. It's making a last ditch attempt to escape. It's flat. Actually, that's a weird thought. Look how far it is to the back of the pan. Was this bird like twice this size? And this is like a shrunken head bird? Oh. Do you know what I mean? No. Uh, yeah, I know what you oh, mean. Oh, you know what, no, though? I don't it think was. it is plastic. If you look at the leg that's closest to us, right? Or, wait, which way around are we? <laughs> I genuinely yeah. can't How tell. do you say shrunken rogue rogue turkey? Shrunken rogue shrunken. turkey. Shrunken. Yeah. Um... Shrunken rogue rogue turkey. Yeah, again, we've got different words for that. Uh, in the um... meantime, Jeff, thank you for the $3 and the Weebo legs. You eat it, you otter shite. I will not eat it. At uh, no. Remember the donation I had from uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when... Griswold goes to cut open the turkey and it just splits open its hollow inside. <laughs> you think that's what would happen if you cooked a turkey too long, but no, it actually turns into BDSM turkey. Yeah, shrunken yeah. rogue turkey. You know? <laughs> Platty flex seal. <laughs> <laughs> The, the immediate word for this turkey and flex seal. Immediate <laughs> word for, sh for immediate word for for shrunken Sorry. would be like from from to shrink, which would be reduire, which is to reduce. But that doesn't that doesn't fit. That doesn't like quite that work, does it? It doesn't. Right. Uh, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Uh, all right. What are the words? The pancake. Got? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Got it. Ratatine. You got it. Sorry? I I am not picking that one up. Uh R, R A T A T I N E I with the with the with the uh, open accent on it. So ra ratatine or ratatine. Ratatine ratatine yeah. ratatine A shriveled. Ratat <laughs> <laughs> shriveled <laughs> yeah. I kind of prefer that shriveled room <laughs> This obviously doesn't look like a pancake. It looks like a pita or nan bread, perhaps. Uh, this is a different kind of kitchen fail because the person actually succeeded in making a pancake, but they did something unexpected when they tried to eat one later. Oh, right through the plate. That's what they're showing. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. It, it looks like a tortilla, though. Not a pancake. Absolutely. It's got cheese yeah, in like the middle. Just... It looks like it's got cheese in the middle. Yeah, is it and cheese on the outside, like sticking off, like yeah. This cheese is pancake. Pancake. yeah. That's why it looks like a tortilla. This is what do they call that? I'm not into. Uh, like well, a, I'll avoid racial uh, epithets. Mexican food, uh, where it's just cheese and tortilla uh, in between two layers yeah, of tortilla. Uh, I know what you mean. Um, enchilada. Perhaps it's just missing the sauce. But why they try and cut it in half? But it certainly looks like there's cheese in the middle because it's stretching. I, I didn't notice that before. A quesadilla, perhaps, Elthor says? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, words. Yeah. Okay, the birthday cake. Oh. I... I... Oh. What? What is... Tried. I tried. Oh. <laughs> so oh I that's, tried. That, that's kind of adorable, actually. <laughs> I like how they tried to stitch the cake back together yeah, with icing. That's, that's, that's a nice that's, cut. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's well. You it, know what? I I would accept that cake, I, thankfully. I really I would. do. I'm I applaud grateful. your efforts. You tried, you screwed yeah. up, and you owned it, and you made it funny. You win. <laughs> you didn't do a bad job with the with the with the frosting. Look 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 how neat that 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 frosting is around the outside. They they did pretty good. Yeah. It, it, uh, I... Is that the name supposed to be on the cake? Like, that's their name? And then underneath it, it's just, I tried. Oh, like up at the top here? Yeah. No, I think they just, uh, I think they just leaned, I think that might be the name. I think they just leaned into the mess of it, it hard. 
Like they just squirted a whole well, bunch of things. Just... I realize it's a mess. I'm just gonna squirt a bunch yeah, of shit just... here and then stitch it and then write just... I tried shit. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> they, they tried to do uh, one of those little delicate flowers or something like that, realized that they were getting nowhere with it and just went, you know what? Fuck it, Tangela. <laughs> this reminds me of something <laughs> that uh, Eve sent me that I want to show you guys because it relates directly to a cake. So let's go take a look at it. This is the Star Prize Entership. Ah, uh, <laughs> the Star Prize Entership. <laughs> <laughs> Space Treks. It is so well done that is a great rendition of the enterprise 1701a after the refit you have done a very good job of doing the, the 1701a well done but jesus christ star prize entership i <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck i see more cakes like this on fiverr today <laughs> Star Prize and a ship. Yes, yeah, Space Treks indeed. So, and, but it goes on. And that's uh, some of the most entertaining what stuff. What do you mean it goes on? Th these are the voyages of the Star Prize Entership. L long live <laughs> and prosperous space. The fronty front frontalier. These are the voyages of the Star Prize Entership. <laughs> it's five year to sort out new light and new symbolizations. To badly go whence no men has before gone. <laughs> The Star Trek theme starts Star playing Trek. off key and performed by a kazoo <laughs> band. <laughs> it's not even it's not even the Star Trek theme, it's just Red Dwarf at that point. It's just a completely wrong shark. Dun 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 so this is the fantastic. shit I miss from Tumblr. <laughs> the shit postiness where it comes like this, but no, now they're all, they they no, they they didn't lean into this. They leaned into being hot, like, just miserable. Yeah, well said. They just leaned into They leaned into being miserable. They, they woke up and chose but sadness. The, <laughs> exactly, but it's like this is this is like the shit posting I love from Tumblr. Where they just keep building off the joke like this until it's just this masterpiece at the end. <laughs> It's such a yeah. well-made cake, and they fucked it up in the best way. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so moving <laughs> along here. Uh, yeah, this one is okay. almost done. When we get to there, we'll do last call. The jelly buttons. Oh, no. Oh, jelly buns. Oh, wow. oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, well that, looks like that looks like you shoved a brain in there. Oh, well, yeah. I know, but, but for Halloween, that would be a... That would be oh, great. That, yeah, if that was just a Halloween thing, that'd be great. But we all know that wasn't a Halloween thing. We all know they were trying. I I'm trying to work out what they used. Yeah, I, I mean, this so belongs as part of like, is it Jello? The answer is obviously oh, yes, but you just want to yes. show the picture. I, you know what I mean? Right. I right. Yeah. Is it Jello? Um, yes, probably. Uh, Jet Team Axios, is that the terrified. one being flown by Kirk or uh, Patrick? Uh, by James Tiberius Kirk. You know, I would be terrified if that was meat in there. What have they done? I Yeah, I, I am at a loss myself. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's, it might be some sort of, like, strawberry cream filling. Nice. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, for the five dollars. Far. Hey guys, come and enchilada yourself to my feet pics on on only. O F. I'm also a bitch on the cold spaces limited. Huh? I don't know what he means by that last bit, but um, thank you for the five dollars. I do not have an OnlyFans. Please stop. Please Jeff see. needs a coffee. <laughs> you know who does have an OnlyFans? Sinatra. Subscribe today and you can look at his hairy Italian feet all you'd like. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm not giving you my feet pics. No, he really does have an OnlyFans, but there's... Uh, uh, there no, might, I know he does. I've, yeah, I've never been there. There might be feet pics. I, I doubt it, but <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> I'm picturing hobbits with Italian accents. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf, you're late. <laughs> I made myself laugh. Oh, 
Holy fuck. You, you know what this, excuse me, what this brought to mind right away? Um, the alien brain hemorrhage shots. Ooh, yes. Look you need to have a delicious snack with, with, your, with your beverage. Well, let's, let's find some good ones. Yo. Yo. <laughs> uh. That looks like a nuclear detonation and a shot glass, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, the, the, the fantastic stuff. Insta curdle. Yeah, they're great. Like they actually taste interesting because there's so, there's so many different things in one shot, and, and they look just mm. horrifying. Wildly expensive. So what is it that goes into them? Uh, so the bottom is a uh, grenadine, and then uh, yeah. blue curacao is the blue. Mm. The clear is um, not Goldschlager. It's thick clear liquor. It's very sweet. What would it be? I mean, there's a couple. You probably do it with simple syrup, though, right? Yeah. Whole... Yeah. The reason why... It... And then the top is Bailey's. The reason why yeah. it works is because of the varying densities of it, right? Yeah. And so, you know, the grenadine is going to go to the bottom and then the curacao right after it because they're the, you know the least buoyant and then you, yeah. yeah and then you the the middle one i forget like the thicker jesus what would it triple sec thank you it is in fact triple, triple sec there's clear triple secs yeah so that mm. and then bailey's on top which is the thinnest in the cream and it slowly like bleeds down into it in that way uh. i am drunk so drunk i cannot get up Far's only feet. Thank you for the two dollars. I'm waiting. Oh God damn! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, far, far. You know what's funny about this? Did you see that Caroline Consnar dropped a video today? Yeah, I did. I did vaguely see that. It has it had the like feet pic stuff of it? Doesn't it? It's a song about why would you show your feet online for free when men will pay money? That's the theme of the song <laughs> which is her of is course it... <laughs> mocking herself because like as a dancer and she was online is like at 16 17 she's just there in her shorts not wearing socks because they're not comfortable or whatever and online sickos were taking pictures of her feet and or freeze frames of her feet and sending them all over online which she wasn't expecting because yeah. who the fuck would and so it's like the, yeah the... who the fuck would expect that if you weren't like made aware of it in some way right and so if you listen to the song, the joke inside of it is really, like, aimed at her own stupidity, if, or naivete, I guess, really, it's, which is funny. It's like, oh, why it's like, get an OnlyFans, make people pay for your feet because dudes are dropping loads to them, and that's one of the lyrics. It's, it's funny. It's good. It's just nice to see Caroline back. Hopefully <laughs> she doesn't delete it. Uh, right? Just save it now. It's a good thing there's an archive channel. Yeah, so that's the alien <laughs> yeah, brain habit right? just came to mind because of the jelly buns. Number 28, the sweet potato. That is smoldering. Look at that. It that is, is a, that. It is that still a light. Is, yeah. Holy shit. Fuck. How did you even get it to that point? I am amazed at the um heat differential that you had in your oven or on your grill that one side is still intact and the other side is still a light i yeah, that is quite no impressive, yeah. fucking kidding one per oh wait excuse me air fryer one person bought a new air fryer and decided to try it out the cooked potato does not appear to be a successful first try <laughs> how did you do that in an air fr how long was it in there and my god it was, was it at christmas there? Oh my god. Because, like, you don't need to put things in for a long time in an air fryer. How dare she? <laughs> I wanted that cake. <laughs> Not the cake we saw if she didn't. Oh god. Jeff donated $3. Thank you. Uh, stop being an Aussie bitch about the cold. Grow some hair on your kangaroo pat. Have I even said anything about the cold this entire street? Grow some hair on the what? On your kangaroo pouch? 
Why are you being a dick, Jeff? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Like, what? I'm confused. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, thank you for the money, but okay. Well, in any case, we got uh, a, 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 a smoldering potato. Yeah, it does look like a cigar, yeah, actually. We... Mega joint, it... honestly. <laughs> it looks like a ruined, <laughs> ruined cigar. Uh, yeah. It, Don't light it, it in the middle. Just look... It kind of just looks like a lump of shit on fire to me. <laughs> it has somewhat desiccated. Oh, shit. It, Wrong yeah. scroll. Here we go. Uh, the flower cake. A flower cake. Hmm. I. Hmm. You looks like an hmm. amoeba. You seem to have reversed <laughs> directions of... Okay, wait. Yeah. Um. The one on the left is like... Okay, like... a. Not as much of a failure as the one on the right. Like, what did you do? I don't... What did you do? I mean, I think they were going for a contrast thing. Die in the petals, die in the middle. Yeah, do you know I... what I mean? But uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's probably what they were going for, but... It really seems that uh, people often have the best intentions want to prepare a special meal for someone. These flower cakes don't look like flowers, but the effort counts. I guess... I... It looks like they would seem fine. They just don't... The texture seems off. One, the one on the left that looks like it's about to undergo mitosis. <laughs> yeah. Like it makes me like I get the cake in the middle. What's the outside part made of? What what, what is that? Like a uh, uh, pie crust? More cake bits, I think, just different colored. Alpha Betty Spaghetti. I... <laughs> Very German. Okay, Thank you. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of that. I was giggling the whole time of like compressing it to fit in the same space. <laughs> Thank you, C. Thomas, for the two dollars. Penis. That's all he said. A Deadwing Dork fan. Yeah, I, I see. Or, or, yeah, I get that. Penis. And then Nemis. Penis. Ne Nempis. And then I'm attempting to say it as they fucking mix around the words, anagram style, or letters. The pot. Yeah. I... <laughs> oh, my God. She has given up on life. I, I, it's her the in the cat. background. Look at the, the, cat. Yeah, the, the cat's just like, oh, what's this? <laughs> the cat's just like, it's not so bad, Mom. I can take care of a bad half of this. <laughs> yeah, she just sunk to the ground and I'm done. That's great. Just... Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, my efforts to learn Italian cooking. In a single photograph. No, I haven't dropped sauce on the floor, but... Uh, but, uh... It, it, any day now. It, well, knock on wood, grace of God, that doesn't happen. But it, the picture does, you know, get at the level of failure that was met. <laughs> see, now, this is this is just how you test the sauce to see if it's ready. You know how yeah, you can throw the spaghetti at the wall? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, this is what you do with the sauce. You throw it at the floor. <laughs> and then what? What's the test? <laughs> Get a cat. Does the cat want it? Is that the test? Is the... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, kitty, do you want some alphabetty spaghetti? <laughs> Second <laughs> last. The spaghetti fire. Oh, yeah, this is a classic. Look at that. Yeah. It's just on fire. Your pot is rather small <laughs> for your... <laughs> Jesus. Italians everywhere are screaming and urinating themselves in displeasure at this picture. <laughs> See, this is why I like I like penne, I like tortellini, I like stuffed shells. Uh, yeah, if I have to go with a lengthy pasta, it would probably be linguine, but you don't have these problems with the ones I just named. Well, I mean, you don't have this problem with fresh, uh, fresh spaghetti either. But uh, that's also true. But use a bigger pan, or, you know, if you really only have little pans like this, break the law and break the spaghetti. We imagine that the spaghetti touched the hot stove somehow. Gee, you think? Yeah, you, you <laughs> fucking think? I think that they had a gas burner, the bastards, and uh, they totally wrong size pot. And it, I, yeah, I mean, can't even see those Also, why there. didn't you break, also, why didn't you break the pasta in half? Great question. Why are you just, because you're just tossing the whole long thing in there. Dark sideism. Exactly. Where's the water? It sincerely does not look like there's any water in there at all. 
Yeah. Hey. Uh, Jeff, thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, I'll give it a second here. It's a coming. Hold on. Come on, Streamlabs. There it is. I am drunk, so drunk, I cannot get up. I'm not quite there yet, but close, Lauren. Close. Uh, Jeff, thank you for the ten dollars. I do what I want with fifty dollars, you otter. Well, did... your money is your money. Fair enough. Yeah. Capitalism yeah. reigns supreme. Uh, C. Thomas, thank you for the two dollars. What's the difference between communism and a pencil? Pencil works more than just on paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, well done, C. Thomas. I, I, I didn't laugh because I'm like, pocket that one for later on campus. I just. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 I was actually in the middle of committing that to memory. That is really good, C. Thomas. <laughs> and it, it fits in nicely with uh, Jeff's uh, capitalism uh, incarnate of what to do with one's own money. See? There you go. It yeah. does. Yeah. It absolutely does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the final one. The horror. The horror. Okay. The horror. My finger That's is hovering over title. the scroll wheel. It's that not wanting to touch title. it. Yeah. Um. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. What is that? What is that? I, Holy, what is that? Uh, is that an attempt at Sam? Heart making hard candy that's boiling sugar that overboiled? I'm that's guessing it's like oh, taffy. Caramel? Why would it have inflated so much? Expanded, whatever. Oh my god. I what is it? I don't know. It's venom. Brian Walters is correct. You have a symbiote oh on your god. stove and it's getting away from the heat. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Aaron, I require chocolate and tater tots. <laughs> is there. <laughs> I require chicken nuggies. If a penis Seriously, starts coming what? out of it, I'm running. Yeah, I've seen a lot of penises right. come out of black goo, but never like that. <laughs> yep, yep. Well done. Well done. <laughs> that is great. Duh. Is that chocolate right, or caramel? A... I don't know. Is there anything you need to cook on a stove that, like bread, will rise? That it's, it's a rising out? Because again, yeah, what... what's with the overflowing? That's a... I mean, there's there's a particular a type of um, there's a particular type of cake that you cook in a small pan like that. And it's kind of, you know, like the microwave cupcake. Yeah, yeah. Microwave yeah, yeah, mug yeah. cakes. Similar sort of concept Made to that you do in a pan. Yeah, if they if you add too much baking soda into the mix, something like that could happen, okay. I suppose. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see if there's any explanation given. We guess this was the worst thing that could happen to someone who is trying to cook something for the first. Period. Oh! Don't do this to me! Don't leave me in suspense. I need to know what this is. So they got <laughs> no, it from Reddit. You know, okay, credit to Reddit. Like, do, do we get, like, image source just that link to Reddit? Because there's no way someone uh, just posted this without the context on Reddit. I mean, the people probably have, but, like, if this is from the original thing. Okay. No? You just link... Okay, it's just Imga. Yeah. Really? Ow. I was just wondering if it had a description associated with it or something. You I sometimes they do on Imgur. Yeah. Alpha Betty Spaghetti! <laughs> I really do love that one. Thank you, C. Thomas, for the $2. Uh, sorry, I just I just read ahead on that just to, just to check. Just to check. A man without feet tries to enter a bar but is denied entry. He asks why the doorman why and the doorman tells him sir we are a lactose intolerant place lactose intolerant really yeah we are a lactose intolerant place my God. thank my you gun. for the two dollars <laughs> <laughs> well you might need that gun in a minute if if we find out what the hell this uh alien motherfucker yeah i'm off to tin eye i i am not satisfied yeah. with just not knowing i a hundred and two results. Oh my god. 
Yeah, see if you may be here for some time. Okay. Uh, okay. This app, this app. Come on. Come on. Can we have a non suspicious looking website? Uh, yeah, dot BA dot. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell is that? I... Yeah, what, what is dot BA? Bali? Um... <laughs> Bali? Yeah, <laughs> dot com dot BR. Yeah, that's not suspicious as fuck. I... <laughs> Isn't that just Brazil? <laughs> I mean, possibly. Oh, right. Yeah, we gotta go to images All right. first. Oops. Let's go to images for Google Images. Mm-hmm. It just, it just, I like how you type in images and it's all scenery. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Uh, you're trying to do Google image search because you're on DuckDuckGo. Yeah, but you're supposed to, I, 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 done image searches by reverse image searching before. That's weird. Okay. All right. Google images it is. All right. Let's see. Come on, Google. Do your thing. <sighs> no results. Find image, oh, find image source at the top there, yeah. Uh, this lens thing, it's a bit silly. Which your worst kitchen fails, funniest kitchen fails. Oh man. my god, and look at the visually simple images. Oh my god. <laughs> Holly, I think we found some lists for next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at those similar images. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, Sam. Look what they've done oh, to no, your no, people. No. Where is my gun? Where is my gun? <laughs> this is a war crime. <laughs> Or the I turkey can't. Or whatever the fuck that is, the bird. Look at it. Wait, I'm sorry. I can't expect God to do all the work. <laughs> it's just, it's... Oh my god. But they didn't get that nice black sheen like that <laughs> other lady did. I. <laughs> Look at that thing with the eyes and the teeth. Oh yeah, somebody tried it's again. It's another... How many they people have tried this the... horror? <laughs> no, but they used the gummy teeth this time. They actually they didn't use the marshmallows. It's actual gummy teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> I will continue on, ladies and gentlemen. I will find out the source of that symbiote goo escaping the pot. Yeah, we, we I, need to know. Oh wow! Look at the poop. Look, look, look at the fucking. Oh uh, my Gordon god! Gordon Ramsay, get your fucking face off my stream. Look at the fries and nuggies. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, honey. I don't think chat can see that. Oops. Sorry, guys. No, no, I don't think they no. can. Look at the fries and oh. nuggies. That's amazing. This, this is this is, is Zelthor's, you know, uh, uh, carbonated croissant. <laughs> right here, that's what that is. Oh my god! Whew. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I did. I am. Um, I promise to you, we will. Uh, I will find the source of the uh, symbiote goo. Uh, because I want to yeah, know. Yeah, please. All right. I want to know. I, I, we all want to know. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yep. And I, I won't give up until I locate its uh, source. The sauce, you know if you will. I want to make some. Which is a terrible <laughs> term. Again. <laughs> the one true sauce. The, the black shiny. It's it, the turkey, the this, this symbiote goo. I. Do, oh, do you think the turkey is covered in this <laughs> That's why it's so shiny. I think I've got it. I think I might have it. You see the type of pan that they're using, yeah? Yeah, the pot. Sort yeah, yeah. of. It, look, yeah. it, looks, it looks like a milk pan. Yeah. Uh -huh. Normally, okay. if it's, in, in milk pans, if they've added concentrated milk and sugar and they're trying to make... Um, caramel? Is it? No, not caramel. What's it called? Um, oh... Treacle. Tree oh, oh, really? Oh, They're trying to make their no. own yeah. molasses of a sort. Yeah. 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 And you think, think it would? I think they burned oh. it, and that's what's happened. And you think it would inflate in that way under heat? It does. Molasses it does. Treacle probably expands. could, right? Yeah. God damn. 
Fuck, that's horrifying. If that's if that's what it is, that's even more horrifying. Yeah, you gotta be really careful not to get that shit on you because that is culinary napalm. Yeah, that would burn you. Whew. Yeah, that is something else. Somebody had mentioned earlier that the turkey, um, the BDSM turkey, was so shiny. It's like that whatever they were basing it with must have had sugar in it. And it's like right, it's a good suggestion because you know to get that shine on it, that glean. Uh, yeah, it does look like it's sugar based. Same here. Whatever it was, one would think that that was sweet as fuck. I don't know. I'm fascinated by whatever the fuck this was. I... Huh. All right. Well, Jesus Christ, that brings us to an end of a stream with a mystery, but this is Noir Bar, which is intimately associated yeah. with mysteries. So, yeah, it all works out. <laughs> oh. And that does bring us to last call here at Noir Bar, live from the shadiest district of Noir City. And I see that Pat just walked in. Sorry that you're catching us at the last minute. Pat, always love to have you here. But you're welcome back anytime. And there's always a stool reserved for you, should you like to come on. Uh, hit me up. Uh, and so, yeah, live from the shadiest district of Noir City, I would like to thank everyone who uh, came out for our own little brand of 1940 booze fuel banter. I'd like to thank Far and Sam for keeping me company at the bar. Finally, I'd like to thank all the very, very generous people who tip the bartender and Sam and Far, because that's how we keep the lights yeah, on. Thank you so much. Yeah, much appreciated, guys. The cops here in Noir City are extremely corrupt, and paying them off to keep open and illegal speakeasy is not cheap. So your efforts are greatly appreciated in that regard. So as we always say about this time, you don't got to go home, but you got to get the fuck out of here. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming again, everyone. Have a good night. Later, night. Bye. Thank God. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh